Hello, 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 folks. How are we doing today? Ah, oh, folks, we are going to be playing some F1 Manager. Did I update what game I'm streaming, chat? <laughs> I'm now thinking, did I update what game I was streaming? I probably didn't know me. How are we, folks? I did update what game I'm playing. Well, that's good. It's a professional streamer, by the way. How are we all, though? We're not going to be doing the save game I was doing on YouTube today. No, no, no. We're going to do something different to the Alpine save game. Uh, I'm doing really good, thank you, USA list. When you play this, you work the pit stop. I think I'm more work the race. For more, more work the race. Oh, folks, how are we? How many people are... Um, how many people are looking forward to F1 Manager tomorrow? How many people have checked out the content today that's been on Twitch? And obviously, I've done a video. I've seen a few other videos floating around. Has it made people more excited or less excited? I feel like it makes you more excited. It's really weird, right? I think back to before, like, I did YouTube like I do now. And, like, feeling so envious of people who get the game early. And I don't, certainly don't take for granted the privileged position I'm in where I get to play the like games like Football Manager especially early, but also F1 Manager early. It's so, so cool. It was really awkward talking about it for the last week chat where you guys were like, hey, Jack, F1 Manager, you gonna, have you got it early? It's like, I've not had it early for a week. <laughs> um, but no, I have been enjoying it a lot. I'm not sure there's much scouting through nations we can do in F1 Manager, to be honest. Yeah, it comes out tomorrow. It's going to be very, very exciting. Yeah, what do people think of today's YouTube video? I guess we can talk about that to start things. Because I feel like if you're here, you're probably someone who's pretty interested in the game. I appreciate there were actually two videos today, but you might not have seen today's F1 video. Or the transfer special uh, at Atlanta. But the video, the F1 manager video has done really, really well, which is great to see. But um, it was a bit weird doing the video. I recorded that video this morning. There was a day one patch... Um, I was I was gutted. I sat and recorded the entire race. There's lots of stuff that I just cut out the commentary. But I did the entire race. About an hour I was playing the game. And then I realized there was no audio on the race. And it was like, do I re-record a race, which I know is really, really good? Or do I bin it off uh, and just not have audio? In the end, I decided not to do audio. Because I wouldn't have been able to get the video out today otherwise. It's a bit unfortunate, really. But yeah, we'll get the sound will be working for next time, chat. Don't worry. On the whole, though, I was pleasantly surprised. I, I knew there was going to be a bit of pushback. People were like, this isn't Football Manager. But in general, people were pretty receptive to it, which is cool to see. Um, who's my favourite driver? What's my favourite team? I don't really have a favourite team. And my favourite driver is Danny Rick. So I, I'm feeling fragile today. If it wasn't for the fact that I, I've been able to do F1 Manager and obviously play F1 Manager, I'd probably be feeling very sad today, to be honest. But yeah, I am allowed to acknowledge, folks, I have F1 Manager and I'm allowed to stream F1 Manager, which is what we're going to be doing today. Where is he going to end up today? Uh, well, I don't, mean, I, I don't know if Danny Rick will stay in F1. I'd like to see him stay. I just don't see where he lands a seat unless he replaced Mick, which makes absolutely no sense in my, in my mind. Right. Who are we picking? Good question. Good question, Keith. I actually don't know. We've got a few we've got a few um a few options actually for what we can do today. Hadrick, dude, thank you for the resub. Danny to NASCAR, let's go. I mean you they're, they're taking everyone else. I, he'll land a seat in a series, won't he, somewhere, it's just a case of if it's F1 or would he rather do something else? Has Seb's retirement uh, replacement been announced yet? Yeah, it's Fernando Alonso. <laughs> He's leaving an Alpine after one year. Well, I say after one year. It's obviously a couple of years now. But high drama. Aston Martin and Sack Stroll. We could do that. I should load up the game, really, shouldn't I? I realised I went live and then I didn't load up the game before I went live. I was like, I don't want to have all the game launching sounds play over music in the background. I think for today's stream, by the way, chat, I'm going to go musicless. So let, let's fade out the music. The game audio is so good. I was so good about the lack of race audio um, in the race for today's video because uh, genuinely it adds so much to it.
Did anyone else just get their ears blown out by the intro? Bloody hell, that was so loud. Oh my word. Turn that down. I am fixing that in a second, folks. Is anyone else deaf? Why is that so loud for me, but not for you guys? I'm so confused. Sorry, it's the intro for the game. Actually, I need to show you something, chat. I need to show you something. I need to set this up quickly. So this is mega awkward. So there's a setting in the settings for like a streamer friendly audio thing. So this music plays over the F1 intro. I feel like I'm watching like a soap show rather than the F1 intro. <laughs> I'll turn the audio back up so you can actually hear the music. Can you hear it now? Chat, maybe you've lost your hearing because that intro bit was so loud. I can restart the game if you want to hear it. I am going to quickly... I wonder if there'll be a mod or something that disables that intro audio because that is far, far too loud. I'm, I'm turning it down so I can then turn up the rest of the audio so we can still hear alerts. My ears just got blown out. Do you want me to do it again? Do you want to, I'll do it again for your chat. It's, it's worth enjoying. Let me, let me restart the game. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, because there's like you can't have the dun, 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 dun. it's copyrighted. Um, there's a setting that you can tick as a streamer that's like, hey, do not play copyrighted music. So you get the alternative soundtrack, which I mean, it, it's a doozy. I don't even know. Is it an actual song that I've just never heard of? It feels like a soap intro. Why is that audio bit so loud? That rumble specifically. Why is it so- why is that interfix that? My ears! I feel, does anyone else feel uncomfortable? I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel- <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> Surely there was a better temp track out there. Surely there was a better track that they could have picked. I feel like I'm watching Hollyoaks. That's exactly how I feel. What is this? Frontier, I love you, but please fix. Also, chat, I've just realized I'm streaming off the wrong profile right now in OBS. Is everything fine? Is the video quality okay for you guys? I think it's actually fine. I'm, I'm on the wrong profile, but I don't actually think it makes a difference. Um, right, dilemma time here, folks. So we're not playing the Alpine save game from YouTube today, but we have two options. We could start a new save game, which is what I think a lot of people are doing today. And I appreciate a lot of you are probably bored of seeing Bahrain. Or I have a Mercedes career that I played a little bit over the last week. I've not played it, I don't think, since the patch came out. And I'm at the Canadian Grand Prix, so I'm about halfway through the season. I appreciate that it's a bit of a weird point to jump in, but I don't know about you guys. You've probably seen so much Bahrain today. And it's probably nice to see a different track and to see something else. What do you guys think? Can we get a poll set up in the chat? Mods? Ryan, Ryan or USA list, are you around? Do we want a new save? Or do you want to see Bahrain again for the millionth time? Mods. Mods. All the mods appear. People want new. New save. New. I've seen a lot of people doing uh, Aston Martin. Right, chat. There is a poll up. Yes or no to the new save. I'm happy to do either. I, I just think it'd be nice to look at some different tracks, to be honest. So the Alpine thing is just for YouTube chat. We're going to do a different save game on Twitch that I stream from time to time. But we'll definitely be streaming it all of today and tomorrow. If new do has. I saw a few guys doing a Williams save game and it just looks sad, right? The overwhelming majority of people want new. So new it is. Can you change the circuits a bit? You can't change the order of the tracks, which is a bit disappointing. Who could we do? Let's have a look. Also, 
the intro, the, all, all the little, one. all the little presentation bits are so nice. Hearts, minds, and nations. I, I can turn my, I can turn my headset down, and you guys can still have the audio. The Chat, how is the audio balance between me and this like now? Can you hear me over it? If I pause, the twenty twenty one like it's still an okay volume from start to finish, and twenty twenty two is set to be even better. New I kind of want a middle ground, right, where you can hear it on a pause, but at the same changes. time, like, you can New tell what I'm saying. Alongside returning champions, we'll be dueling it out to the Lower it a end. bit. I can lower it a little bit the for you guys. Will be on the team principles in the upcoming season. Is that better now? Their drivers, their cars, and the whole team I will say the audio bit is a this bit. Is the audio bounce is a bit weird in this game at Mercedes times. returned to F1 in 2010, and since 2014, they've won is the that championships. Good. Back to Sound. back every year. In 2021, they took right. The oh, this is really nice. Well, so okay. I wish I could pause the audio, the but I can't. So if you've never played or watched Formula One before, you get these really nice contextual intros where you click on a team and it tells you about the team. So if we go to like Aston Martin, 2021 was Aston Martin's first full season. It's quite nice. Imagine if you got this at every team in Football Manager. That would take a while, wouldn't it? Legendary four-time world champion in one of those coveted driving seats. Despite some teething problems in testing, Aston Martin gave a solid showing and finished the season in Is it 12 FPS? Overall. Is the FPS Heading bad for you guys or does it look fine? And Fettel behind the it wheel, should look, it looks smooth to me. The potential to become regular podium I've not had any issues, Bobby, with the optimization, but I have got a pretty good rig. To get uh, there's no custom teams this year. FPS not great. Let me try. Why, why is it bad? Have I left something running by mistake? Chat, we're going to get this moved together. Is it because... Maybe it's because I'm doing window capture, uh, game capture. Let's try window capture. See if that... Is this smoother? It helps if... You... <laughs> that look... Wait, it's... When I tab out, tab out, it's smooth, right? Is it it's smooth now, right? But then if I click into the game, I think then it starts to lag, or is it smooth for you guys now? Is it smooth now that I'm back in the game, though? Back to lag. Whenever I click into the game, it lags. That's weird. <laughs> and it's fine in the videos. Okay. Let's close this. And go to this. We'll see if it's just these scenes. I can see it in OBS. Why, when I click out of the game, is it smooth? Like, it's smooth for me all the time. Will there be a day one patch? There was a patch that is considered the day one patch that was put in the game last night. I, I don't think it is the wrong profile. Because the weird thing is it's smooth for me everywhere. Let's have a look, chat. Let me... Let me fix things up. Meerkat, thank you for subbing with the tier one. Welcome aboard. Uh, what could we do? What? Like The weird thing is, it's not lagging for me. Like, at all. I've had no issues with it whatsoever, but whenever I click out the game, it's lagging for you guys. Like, in OBS, every day it's been fine. Nothing has changed. Weird. Yeah, it's smooth when I tab out. Was Aston Martin's if I know I could play tabbed out. One, they roared onto the Some streamers have had this problem. Fettel, Interesting. Do you know how they fixed it, Scott? In one of those coveted driving seats. Take off borderless. Some I don't want to ha click on has, but I've clicked on has. Let's take off borderless and see if that works. You know what? We'll just we'll just try different stuff. Has joined is it smooth now, chat? And they've had a good or is start it? to their team career. Peaking at I can't tell. Is that smoother? Last season, they finished 10. Chess restarted his PC. And focus on Said it was taken up. That, worse. It's worse. Oh, God. It's been fine with me recording, which I'm a bit puzzled as to why it would now be bad. We could try turning on V-Sync. Let's try that. We'll just try every setting chat. Like, it's smooth here, right? The This bit in the background is smooth right now. Like, I'm turning. This is all... It's smooth. I can... Has joined F1 back in is it smooth now? And they've had a good start to their team career. Peaking at fifth place... I guess it was V-Sync causing some weird stuff. That... Last season, weird. they finished 10th. 
but they spent a lot of time. Thank you to the guys who said turn off the heating. I wonder why that's the issue. That is really weird. That's definitely a streamer issue rather than a game issue, though. In terms of like, it wasn't lagging for me at all. Hey, does I appreciate it? Right, chat. And strong leadership. What do we do? Where do we go? I've seen people do Williams, and it looks miserable. But I don't really want to do a midfield team because we're already doing Alpine. McLaren is Alpha Tauri and McLaren. They too close to Alpine? Do, do should we do a poll? Let's do a poll. Alpha are pretty good in game, by the way. Alpha Romeo. Now you can see the ratings of the teams here, history. and then it ranks them on the grid. Alpine have the worst drivers in the worst headquarters. It's kind of funny looking through this stuff. So Alpine, Alpine are actually name, pretty good. Bringing F1. Ferrari. Alpha Tauri have been a name in Formula One since Should we do a poll? Who, what do we do for, for the uh, for the poll? For talented new F1 so the two teams behind my head, by Last the way, are Mercedes and Red Bull. Overall. Driver Pierre Gasly also earned them an impressive podium finish in Baku. Heading into 2022, the team uh, what teams to the poll? To Let's do Haas, of Williams. And They'll want to continue scoring regular points and begin and their way past the other hmm. midfield contenders. Bottom three in a poll. Are these the bottom three, though? I don't even know if they are. These teams, like, the teams here aren't listed by how good they are. Apparently, oh, maybe they are. Are they actually listed? No, they're not. Because Aston Martin are apparently a bit better than Alpha Tauri. Uh, David, dude, thank you for subbing for four months. Oh, it's listed by last year's positions in the constructors. Ah, that's right. How scare me because they have no money. And they have the worst headquarters, and I'm worried it'll be a bit miserable at the bottom. I think Haas could be fun. I do think Haas could be fun, but would it be bad if I just sacked Mick immediately? Would that cause World War II? We've already had World War II. Would that cause World War III? Maybe, maybe World War II was caused by a paradox where I sacked Mick Schumacher, and then Mick went back in time to start a war. <laughs> That's the only that's chat. That could be canon. That could that could be canon. I think we'll do has. I like the idea of doing has because I think they won't be quite as bad as some of the other teams. Uh team right, so in my other save game, the Alpine one, I'm called Work the Space, but do we just go with work the race here? Oh, I've hit the screenshot button because I can't type. Work the race. Work the pace. I think pace is better. Work the pace. I don't need first time guidance. So there is a tutorial system in game that will explain lots of the basics to you guys. What's wrong with K Mag's eyes? I didn't know. Was there something weird going on? Work the first place. That's quite good, isn't it? Although when I'm not finishing first place for six seasons, that's going to be awkward, isn't it? Work the first place. I, th I, th I think work the first place could be the one. Yeah, what are wrong with these? It's very bloodshot in these eyes. I think it's the red lighting in this, like, game. Because you can see, like, the red highlights. Work the pace is better. I think work the pace is better, isn't it? Work the pace is better. I agree. Because it's only one letter difference. Work the back. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't think that one's going to catch on. Also, chat, I might need to move my face cam around. In fact, the more I think about it, maybe we should make a new scene here. Uh, let's duplicate. If I duplicate a scene in OBS, then move the webcam. Oh, actually, no, wait a sec. I think all my face cam stuff is grouped together, so I can just drag. Oh, look at that. We can just drag my face. Right. Once we find out where a good place to have my face is, we'll do that. Is bottom middle a good spot? I've seen lots of people umming and ahhing about the best place to put it, because... There's not... Screen real estate is quite precious in this game. We'll figure it out together. So Mick is 76 rated. 68 defending. We're not going to be in front of people very much. So that's fine. We've got Fittipaldi as our reserve. 
how much money do we have no money do i want to even invest in facilities or the car first the expectation is sixth place i think the best place to actually put the face cam is the thing is there isn't really a good place to put it but i think if you either have it here over the um I'm, I'm gonna put it here chat and the reason i'm gonna put it here at least for now is because when you go into like all the development stuff loads of info gets listed on the right side uh, do i do plan to have a cam on for future videos your own races probably not to be honest jack just because i feel like it's really awkward finding somewhere where it's good and i feel like it actually improves the video also, there's periods of time where I'm just sat gormously, like, thinking in brain farting face mode, and it just doesn't look very good. Right in the middle of the screen is the only place without info. Yeah, I think, I think I've seen people streaming with it there, so I think that'll be the option. I'll do that once we actually get into a race. Sign Mbappe. I lost the board. Wait, we don't have a team hub? Oh, God, you literally start with no facilities. Wait, is that... Oh, wait, no, I'm an idiot. I mean, we still don't have a staff facilities. So I've not actually de like deep dived into this stuff too much because I've done a save with uh, Mercedes in my free time and Alpine. Like, all this stuff is already sorted. Team attractiveness. Do we want team attractiveness? Probably not. Uh... Okay, a race simulator is a good addition because that weekly experience gain is actually useful because we are going to have to start from the bottom, I think. Uh, <laughs> everything is just a one. And also, we should probably upgrade the factory. Seven million. Are we only on 14? Well, we are going to have to upgrade the factory. That has to be done because otherwise we can only develop one part at a time. So that is like a thing that we just need to do early, I think, ahead of everything else. I mean, is there even much point in trying to develop parts? I feel like we're going to get absolutely shrecked as the season goes on and our car gets worse. Yeah, this is like starting at level 9 in FM. Okay, new project. Let's get something built. In fact, before we do that, let's actually look at our car. Y usually a good place to start. So... Where are we good? Uh, actually, we're not terrible anywhere. We kind of have the same thing as Alpine, where our speed is bad. High speed corners is bad. That is not good considering the start to the uh, the the kind of year. Uh, I kind of wish I could do the chassis and the front wing at the same time, but I can't. Razzle dazzle! Thank you for subbing with the tier one. Welcome aboard. Yeah, to be fair, that's true. They have only had one upgrade this season. Um, I think... Do I go with the chassis for all-out pace? Or do we go with a f new front wing to help with all the cornering, which we're bad at? Uh, I don't think it's going to make a difference. We're still going to be pretty bad. I think... I just feel like speed is important. Am I, am I the Jeremy Clarkson of F1? Also, we can only develop one point at a part at a time. So we, we might as well just put loads of the hours in here. In fact, I don't even know if we'll have time to get another part done. Actually, we should do. We should be fine. We'll still put a lot into this first part. How many? Okay, we get loads of wind tunnel time, though, because of the team. I, th I think speed, right? I'll do the chassis. What I've noticed is the upgrade numbers seem so minute when you're playing the game. It's like, does this actually make a difference? Or does this actually help when it's um, 0 0.02 kilometers top speed with DRS? Does that really help? Is the winter or time of the whole season? So no, it's in that same period of like 56 days. So you have the ATR periods, which are the, I think the aerodynamic testing something periods does it say oh it literally says uh aerodynamic testing restrictions that's what the r stands for i think we go with that now i have our calling's quite good i think i'm literally about to do what i've done at alpine which is i'm gonna kind of kill the calling a little bit to give more speed chat do we just go all speed and just have the car overheat a ton it's not like we're gonna be running in traffic this year i'm not gonna be able to keep up Oh, 
maybe I should find a balance. That'll do, right? That'll do. Uh, how many... We have nine engineers. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no. We do have ten engineers. That's fine. We can only develop one point at a part at a time anyway, so all the engineers might as well work on it. <laughs> uh, can we... Is it a ma Wait, can we only... Is it designing parts or manufacturing parts? Let's just check this. Uh, oh, it's manufacturing. So does that mean we could design multiple... Ah, okay, we can design two parts at a time. We just can't build two parts at a time. If I remember correctly, the manufacturing is actually kind of quick, so we can actually set up something else to, to happen. So let's design another new part. Chat, what was the thing I said about doing? New front wing. New front wings. New front... We'll do... We'll, you know, best of both worlds, Hannah Montana and all that. We'll, you know, we're an American team, so they must all listen to Hannah Montana. People still listen to Hannah Montana, right? Um... Something like that sounds good in terms of front wing. It's going to take us 11 days. Oh, wait, no, that's the races in 11 days. How long is this going to take to actually develop? I think we see it in the next screen. Wait, chat, how do we... Where do we see how long it's going to take? I think it's usually like three weeks. Actually, I think it's like on the next bit. Uh, we don't need cooling. When all our cars are overheating, please don't think about this moment where I said we don't need cooling. I'll be honest, chat. I'm so new to the game, I don't really know what the optimal things are to develop when it comes to, uh, you know, tweaking all these things. We're going to learn together. I think it's going to be a lot of trial and error, and there's going to kind of be an art to it all. Does that look good? I have no clue. It looks good to me. Right, okay, so yeah, the design on this is going to take 48 days anyway. 48 days? Wait, it's, hold the phone, hold the phone. Well, that's, that's the rest of this period over, isn't it? Have everything. Put everything into it. Why not use... Wait, is there... Pre Someone said, why not use a preset? Oh, my... Bloody hell. Turns out, but everyone... There's there's a... There is a... I want high... I want high... Uh, I want balanced. Oh. Well, that's not as fun, is it? High speed performance? Oh. It's educational. So, like, if we wanted optimized for cooling, we'd go that, but we don't need cooling. Right, so optimized for cooling, move to what? That stuff, but we don't need the cooling. So we'll move this stuff up. That doesn't seem to be doing what I want it to do. Wait, but the cooling's going down. I'm so... Chat, is anyone else confused? Can Zealand do a guide on this, please? Zealand Shannon, can you do a guide for me? We've brake cooling down. But that's lowering the brake cooling. Oh, okay. And then it increases Does that. But that's not really increasing the other stuff. Oh, it is increasing the other stuff. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. So, we already have good low speed cornering. New foot. Oh. You can literally click show on grid here. That makes a massive difference. Now I can see what difference it would make. We'd become the fastest speed team in low speed quarters. Oh, go on then. This when will be the worst team for brake calling. You know what? That's a risk I'm willing to take. Obviously, everyone else will be bringing upgrades. Oh, that looks... I mean, that looks great, doesn't it? We'll go with that. By the time we've manufactured this, because our facilities are crap... <laughs> but they'll still be the worst. But at least it looks good, doesn't it? And the chassis will be done a little bit sooner. We'll win Monaco, everyone. We'll win Monaco. Brakes are going to overheat. Like, we'll cross that problem when we get there. In six races time, when I'm in tears because the brakes overheated. Chat, remember this moment. Now. Chat. He's probably not going to be at the team next year. We could we could just... Only 200k to break the contract. Who... Can I get... Can Hulkenberg come in? I want Nico. Is, is Hulkenberg good? Show me the right ratings of drivers. Oh, look. I mean, Mick is literally as good as Hulkenberg. So that's not, it doesn't really make sense. 
Um, who could we get in? Is anyone here a reserve driver? No, they're all actual drivers. We could get in. We could get in Piastri. What about? Oh, Giovinazzi. What about we sack Magnussen and get in <laughs> Piastri? Why don't we go super young? Why not? Or get in Pacher. You hear Lewis Hamilton's a decent drive. That could be the shout. I think I think we keep K Bag. Oh. Is Mick good? Let's have a look. Growth potential is average. That's not good. Uh, hey, Jack and Chat, some advice, please. Going to be playing this tomorrow. I feel like I have a lot to learn. Should I go top team or a Williams or has? I would recommend uh, Mercedes. Mercedes want to finish third in the first season, and their car is probably the third quickest. So I, I feel, I know it's a bit of a boring answer, but I think you're better off going with a top team. Like, if you don't want it to be too easy, I feel like a Red Bull or a Ferrari where you're going to be winning immediately, it could be quite good. Right, chat. I think. Should we, well, you know what? We could scam or we could just buy him. Let's, okay, we're going to scout. We have two scouts, right? Scout Piastri. I'd, I quite like Pacher. So let, let's get a scout report on him as well. Why not? Okay, can I sort by nationality? Why is it not like football manager? I want to look for Americans for my American team. Was Kibitza in there? No, no, no. Yeah. No, he wasn't. You're joshing me. Oh, he is. 30. We could just get in Kibitza. P probably, probably shouldn't. I want to do... Does anyone else just want to do some racing? Wait. Gary Gannon. He's paired with Mick. I can see why Mick's struggling. I feel, I feel like... Oh, he's got good affinity, though. We could look for a new race engineer. How do I how do I scout for key players? I want a race engineer. Uh, is there a realistic button I can tick? That one. Ah, I mean Gannon's our current one. He's not very good. Getting Jorn Becker. Ed Regan. He's wearing it. Oh wait, that's because we're looking at him as has. He's, he's already wearing the shirt. He's turned up to the interview wearing our outfit. That is... He's quite eager, is Ed. Wait, do all of them show up wearing out? Oh, no. Okay. Wait, is Ed already our team? Ed's already our... Ed's our other engineer, isn't he? I knew that. I knew that. That, that doesn't work. You know what? Let's race. Let's bloody race. I know how this game works. Now I know why he's wearing an outfit. He's just after a pay rise, isn't he? He's just after a pay rise. He's turned up. He's like, I'd like to apply for the open position. It's like, what's your experience? <laughs> I don't think there's that many, like, actually good staff then. That at least we can attract right away. Obviously, contracts and stuff will expire. Pit crew. I've not really looked at stuff like the pit crew. So this is like, you don't have specific individuals. But you can like focus your training into a certain area of your pit team. Interesting. Scouting team. We don't we don't need a good scouting department. Maybe I'm wrong here. I feel like scouting isn't really that important. We could look at interested drivers. I don't feel like scouting is that important. Wait. Chat. I don't know what he wants. I don't know what he's currently on. What is Magnuson currently on? No, no, no. Not to rep not to rep car one. I'm. I don't know what, what. How much am I meant to pay him? Right. Let's check real quick. 
How much is Magnuson on? Because whatever Magnuson's on will match it, right, chat? You've got to remember these numbers. This is very important. We're just going to give him the same amount of K Mag. It'll be fine. Chat, did you remember the number? Oh, Bottas. There's no way we could actually sign Bottas who's 87 rated. We don't, don't need to scout. Don't need to scout. Don't be so, We don't do scouting. I don't, I'm above scouting. Right, car one. Alex, look, you are the future of my team. It was 4.3 and 44 for the bonus. Now, Williams are quite poor, right? So they're probably not going to be paying him that much. So we'll start, we'll be cheeky, we'll start low. I don't know what he wants, I'm not scouting him. I don't play video games properly. Starting bonus. I'll, get, I'll give you 50 as the starting bonus. Should we just offer it? I have, I have no idea. 3.5, let's go 3.5. Look, it's not, it, it'll be fine. Rage. Oh, he doesn't like the money. He doesn't like the money. Can we have another chat? He didn't like that. He did not like that. Chat, we don't we don't need to scout. But when Al Bono is on the on the top step of the podium in two seasons, this will be the moment that won us it all. I tell you what, if you finish in the points, I'll give you 35k. Oh, a paro. Oh, he's a. Gr he's very greedy, isn't he? We'll try. We'll try again. What is the downside to doing this? What is the risk? Like, is it will Mick get unhappy and not renew his contract at the end of the year that I don't want him to sign anyway? Right, I'm not going high on this. Oh, oh. Turns out, you know how early I was saying, what's the point in scouting? Turns out, very important. Spending too much money. Nah, nah, we have money. This is going to be fine. Right, this is the last one I'm doing. Didn't want him. Didn't want him. Get me out of it. I want to race. Mash escape. We're going to race day. Oh, the race simulator's built. Now our drivers actually get experience. That's good, isn't it? Testing results. There's lots of red there. Red's usually bad. Why don't I like Mick? Mick is probably going to get replaced in real life. His growth potential isn't very good. And his actual ability isn't very good. He's just not a very good driver in game. Who else was available? <laughs> we could just sign Piastri right away. Or Latifi? Get Buemi out of Formula E? I mean, Joe's quite good. Or we could go big on Bottas. You know what? I'm going to give Mick a chance. You guys have convinced me that we should give Mick a chance. And if he's bad, ch chat, I'm blaming you lot. Should we upgrade that? We could upgrade this again for more experience. Although the money is going quite low quite quickly. Hmm. I think it's probably useful, but not with our current drivers. Because we don't really have... Well, K-Mag isn't going to get that much better. Okay, look, chat. I've decided willing to give him a chance. All right, Bahrain. I've done Bahrain twice already. I'm an expert in Bahrain. I know all about Bahrain. Performance target. Could we get someone into Q3? Trust me, I played this game for years. Drivers do not matter. Save your money and buy Latifi and Kibitza. <laughs> I think Q2 we can do. Q3 is very ambitious. When I do it, chat, you all have to bow to my genius. I'm going to strategically send my cars out to block everyone else. Also, should I do practice or not? 
Welcome to the archipelago of because Formula I, One. I might have a small land I, look, it's showing its big someone got very upset in the YouTube stands. comments today when By I way, suggested that practice is very boring. Weekend of Grand Prix racing. The Bahrain International Circuit is, is practice a worth track, doing? And the cars routinely have to break from high gear do to some practice. To the okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. The need for downhill braking, the risk of locking we'll do up practice. Drivers will need to manage. Do you love Crofty? Some balance to get victory here. We might still be uh, You can season, sim practice. But that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs and nothing is certain at this stage. I'm going to get bored of this after like 10 times of hearing it. But it looks really nice, doesn't it? The whole presentation of the game. Right, chat, I'm doing a practice session. In terms of in terms of practice, we know nothing. I'm not doing a practice session. Well, actually, no, I did a practice session and then I closed the game without yeah, saving yeah, because I wanted to test in mid-session saves for a thing, which they're not. So if you're in the middle of a race and you have to go do something, pause it and leave it running. I'm going to assume this works like F, uh, like, uh, what you call it? I'm motorsport manager. So we have to trial and error, tweak these things. Like this. Oh, chat, where do we start? I always like to go from, like, at one extreme to the other. Because then if it says bad, you know, you need to go the other way, like, towards the centre. I feel like you're better off starting at the fringes and working in. And then run plan. 15 laps. People are saying don't use hards. Surely I should use hards for the first session. Also, chat, is the stream lagging again? Why? What? It was fine before, though, right? Let's try to shut turning VSync off and applying. The game is still running smooth for me. Is my face lagging? Oh yeah, I can. I could see. I can. I can see the. I can see the issue, chat. Ah, ah I know what the. <laughs> I know what the issue is, chat. Let me do this. Right, chat. Is it smooth now? Have we, have we fixed it? If I wave... No, oh, no, no, no. The game's running... Everything's running smooth for me. Encoding overloaded. Why is OBS having a fit? This is because I used the wrong process, isn't it? Is something running in the background? Good idea, chat. Good idea. This is an OBS issue, not a game issue. The game is actually running fine for me. I've been I've recorded videos with my face in full screen and the game in full screen, so I don't think that is the issue. Uh, I don't even know what the bottleneck is because I don't think there is a bottleneck. If I click back into the game, what happens? Oh yeah, it did, it, it, is it just a menu? For, if I'm not in a menu, is it fine? Chat. If I do nothing here, ah. What? Why? Why is? You know what, chat. We will lower the graphics, I guess. Maybe I'm running F1 Manager twice. Maybe that's what's happened. Right, chat. Is that better now? Is it smooth now? Is that have we? I think that's literally. But why would the? I'm in a menu. Why would going from ultra to high work when there's nothing in the background? It's just a static scene. I don't understand technology. Someone explain. That's weird. A few people had this issue today. Okay, maybe it's just an OBS thing with the game. It, the game is running fine, to be clear. It's, it's, it might just be an OBS with the game thing. Someone said not to run on hard. So I think, are you not better off running on hard than running like a longer plan? For the opening session. How, how how long do we have in the session? And how long does it take to do these laps? The game said 15 laps. You know what? Just go trust the game. Also, let's put the face cam somewhere. Chat, do we put the cam here? Is that what we're thinking? Put 
put the wets on. You know what? I don't feel like that's a smart idea. So like I said, the way I used to do this in Motorsport Manager is basically try and get it onto the extremities like as best you can. There's no, you won't be able to do it for everything. But by doing that, it, you then like work towards the middle, which is easier. But it looks like they've actually made it, so that's more difficult to do in this game. God damn it! They've big brain to me. Uh, we'll go with this. Run plan, 15 laps. Soft. Confirm. Chat, this is... Wait. Oh, God, it has to configure... I mean... There, there is a fast forward button, but we could just sit here for an hour in real time and wait for the car to configure. What do we reckon? I'm just going to sit here and wait. I'm just going to put my feet up. Oh, I've just cramped up putting my knee, my legs up. Here we go. Real, we are doing quality in real time, folks. Right. Get, get, hurry up, pit crew. I need, I need a, I need a whip or something so I can. Get them into shape. Can the can the <laughs> Q and A while we wait? I'm doing a great job. I'm a great team principal. Four minutes the configure takes. Well, I've got four minutes. This is this is the real gameplay, everyone. If you don't sit through uh, quality sessions in real time, you're not a real player. You're not you're not a real player. You're not playing the game correctly. For real, for real though, for real, we probably should just fast forward it. There is a, there is literally a fast forward button. Thing is, even on 16 times speed, this takes a while. All right, I'm going to send them out. We're learning. I've never done a practice session before. So someone said on the practice sessions, you should literally, I should just sit like this and just wait for them to do what I need them to do. Is that correct? Is this how it works? I think this is what you're meant to do. I just don't... I, I said on YouTube today, like, the, there's a reason why the tutorial, when you start the game, encourages you to skip practice. It's a very hardcore way to play. Magnuson locked up. Brilliant. Right. Don't do that again, K-Mag. Looks like there's been a lockup. True watch it. What did he do? What did he do? Kevin Magnuson here. That lockup could have cost them. Did he lock? Did he? I didn't. I didn't. Oh no! Bloody hell! Be questioning. Get the, the data. Get the fucking data off the laptop. What happened? Sorry, sorry. It's very intense. It has HQ right now after that lockup. Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Sorry. We got very emotional. We got very panicked there in the office. We need to know what the fuck happened there. So wait, how? what time are we going to be in? So car park knowledge, park knowledge goes up. See, chat, I've not done this before. Do I, do we, 15 laps, I said, right? Oh, I'll be fine. He's locked up again. I've, you know what, Mick? I'd like to apologize. Mick, I've been trying to replace the wrong driver. Also, the alerts are now being covered by my face, the aren't they? Apologies. I'd like to apologize to Yellow LA, who just served with the Prime. Thank you. Where do I put the alerts, chat? We'll, we'll put it over my face. Alerts are going to just go at the bottom. <sighs> you know what? I think I've, you know, I've had enough of K-Mag. Is it, can we get Al Bono on the phone? Can we sign him mid-weekend? How do you know how many laps the drivers have done? Because I've told them to do 15 laps. I think someone's run wide. How's the balance? So it falls off with the car. Well, you have fucking locked up twice, so that's probably the issue. Oh, we can see our laps How's here. They're about to go in. Uh, something's uh, weird. Something Sorry, but well, it's you, mate. Understood. Alex Albon could drive this car. 
Right, we're going to have to have conversations. Mick, what's the situ? Okay, good, 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 bad, bad. But I'm sure there are some people who find this aspect of the game mega engaging. It just... I don't find it that ent entertaining. Basically, just trial and error doing stuff, then waiting ages for it to go. How can I get the bottom ones to move, but not the top ones? This is like I'm doing a Pokemon game puzzle thing. Oh, is that... Oh, we're getting there. We'll go with something like that. Uh, how do I move the oversteer, but without knocking the others? Hmm. Hmm. Should we go with that? I don't know what the difference between good and great is. Helps if you try and do it properly. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. You don't need to send them out for 15 laps to judge the setup. Chat. You're meant to be, you're meant to, you guys are meant to know. Right, lads, you're doing five more laps on the same odds. Good luck. Have fun. Also, I went to drink and I finished my drink. Do we not can, can someone from the garage fill up my drink, please? I got managing to do. Uh, there probably will be some fuel near at the, the weekend. <laughs> right. Oh, God. Everything is bloody awful, it turns out. All right, in that case, tyres. We're going to stay on the same heart. Wait, we went out on softs. Why the pissing hell did we go out on softs? What are we doing here? Are we amateurs? Don't answer that. We are hars. Uh, uh, how do I get these where I want them? I feel like I should probably learn what impacts what, but it's quite fun just shuffling them. Uh, I need to get the bottom one in range straight. That's going to be the rear wing, wing angle. What, what if we go for that? Although, then... Actually, no, that makes sense. Right, chat? If it's a bad set... We'll just go back to the old one if it's bad. I don't think we can go out on the same softs. They won't let me. Well, uh... uh we'll go out on the, the mediums. Not for 15. S seven on the mediums. Confirm. Now, to be clear... I would not normally do practice, but people wanted to see what practice was like, and I'm a man of the people. Will this VOD go up on YouTube? I'm not sure. Imagine me doing this on YouTube for the Alpine sake game. We would have been bored. The worst thing is I'm going to do all of this and still end up with like 70% like setup competence, which is basically what you get if you skip the session anyway. These do take your tyres for the race. Alright, come on, vamos! That sounds like someone's gone wide oh, there. does it? Alright, I think Mick's going to be coming in in a second here. Mick? There we go. Mick, what's the situ, mate? I'd like feedback, Mick. Oh. He didn't go out for long enough. He didn't, he didn't, he did not go back out on the same bit for a while. Was it good before or bad before, chat, that middle one? Hmm. I can't remember. We'll do, we'll do that. That looks good. Confirm. Run plat. Just do as many laps as you can on that one, Mick. Good luck, mate. We're learning together. Oh, the green line is your best setup so far. I should read. I can't read. Right. Ma K Mag's heading in. What do you think, K Mag? Cancel. Wait. Setup. Good, good. So, wait. Is green the best I've had? Highest confidence set up, 24%. It's not great, is it? So is that as good what it is now or what it was? That's my confusion. It 
So is it saying that that was better? That, but then it said good here. Oh, green is the last setup you had. Okay. But then what's the, what's the white one then? Oh, chat. I should read. I'm pointing at the screen. I'm like a grandma. So white is current. The arrows are previous and the green is best. But then what is this? Is he saying that the last setup was good? That's my confusion here. Is this bit. So like the best setup is outside the range. How, ba how bad are we with our car? And then the previous best here versus our previous. Why is it saying this is the range, but the green was the best? Because the green was the best combined. I hit myself too hard in the head there. I'm sure there's an art form to this, and some people will get off to it. It's, it's not my idea of fun. But then I, I still don't understand what the good good... This is like Motorsport Manager, but less clear. Oh, you have to wait for five feedback points. Oh. Chat, just to be clear, not not doing this three more times, two more times. We've had our fun in P1. Switch K Max tires. No, 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 it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, this was a bit in Motorsport Manager I didn't really enjoy either. Just because half it, you just sat sending them out there, just watching them speed around on max speed for 10 minutes and then tweaking it. I forgot to send them out, chat. I forgot, I forgot to send them out because I was too busy reading chat. You guys are a bad influence. Oh, so when this bit feeds up, fills up, when they're five out of five, they've, they've got feedback in all the sections. You know what? We have no idea what our best setup is, and I'm okay with that. Checkered flag. Good work, guys. I've done about 20 races in this game. I've never felt at a disadvantage not doing practice. Who's got a grid penalty already? No one. That's a shame. That would have been us up a few places. I'd assume that actually doing it makes you get to a high percentage than the sim does. I mean, when, I, when I've done it with the sim, it's ended up usually being between like 70, 65 and 75%. And based off my previous showing, I'm not sure I could do much better. I'm going to simulate to qualify and we'll see if it goes better or worse. Chat, what predictions for what knowledge they'll have? Before I hit next, what are we reckoning? I reckon... 71%. Also, our drivers are bad, so they're probably not giving good feedback anyway. 73, 65, 69. Might have been right, 69. You guys are just memers. So when I've simmed everything before, it's usually been around 70%, like 5% either way. Pedro Gomez, dude, thank you for subbing. Welcome aboard. Set up cop seat. When I, I, whatever I did in that last session was literally more effective than when I've simmed it before. So if you really want to optimize the game, you are better off paying like a complete Papega for every session than letting the AI do it. But I'll let the AI do it. Would I buy this game? Yes. I just wouldn't do practice. Chatting, chatting insisted on me doing practice, but I, I've never found practice fun. But the game itself is really, really fun. Like, I just don't enjoy practice. Like, I never enjoyed it in, F in um, Motorsport Manager. It's basically what press conferences are in uh, <laughs> in uh, Football Manager. Okay, I'm going to get the drivers out early here. I think, because like... I mean, if you saw today's video, you already saw it. But the traffic can be really bad. Why is... What you... What you... 
Why could I not use that tire? I don't know. We'll, conf we'll confirm the other tire. I assume it chooses the optimal setup. Oh, look at that. Great, great. Yeah, that's the one. Of course, you do better in practice versus suing it. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like, I feel like if you do practice sessions, you should gain an advantage, right? Oh, I'm not saying that. It's just for me, it's just not something I enjoy. In the same way that in Football Manager, you can choose to play the game 100% optimally, or you can choose not to do everything, and you can still have success without doing everything. Uh, watching the motion capture side of things. Um, it's cool. I'm a train motion capture uh, like a director. And the mocap mo is good. I, I keep forgetting to send the drivers out. I wish there was a way you could queue sending out the drivers after the configuration's done. Jack, mate, Rick, put some loadouts on each course out in the Steam Workshop. Oh, I might just steal those. Uh, I'm not going to be geography job, job just because the review videos, they became a bit of a pain in the ass to make. And they, like, whilst they, people watched them, it, they, they just didn't really justify the amount of work that went into them. So now this definitely shows that SI need to up their game with the graphics engine. Uh, the issue with Football Manager is it's not a licensed game, so they can't show player likeness too much. And also, it's infinitely harder to animate a human versus a car. Uh, okay, Mick and K-Mag going out. Is Verstappen about to block them? I don't want to give spoilerinos for the YouTube video, but if you know what I'm panicking about, you know what I'm panicking about. I want, I want to interact with you guys in chat a lot, but this is a game that even when I was doing videos on it, I had to concentrate so hard. Why is there a yellow flag out? What did we do? Who locked up? Who fucked it? Was it K-Mag locking up again? Up. No, it was Stroll. Game's realistic. I'm a bit worried about this Red Bull, but I think we're going to be okay. I don't think we're going to catch them, even though they're not on a flying lap. Or are they on a flying lap? Oh, they are. Okay, it's, it's Verstappen. That's fine. Right, chat. We just need, we just want to see some okay times here. We are a second behind. I'm fine. I'm calm. Uh, there is no replay system, Bash Bros, which makes videos a bit tricky. You have to do everything live. Right. I, we'll have to wait and see if they're okay. Okay, look. All I'm saying is quicker than Lewis Hamilton. Always back to K Mag. Always back to him. Also, chat. I'm going to move the alerts off my face and put them at the top. Is that a lockup? It is a lockup, but it's Latifi. We're going to have to go out. Well, we knew we were going to have to go out again, really. Oh, do I want to burn another set of softs just to try and get out of this session? I kind of would like two softs for the race. Although, actually, no, no, no. Screw it. Or, no. I need one soft for the race. It's fine. Do I... Do I... Do I... I don't want to go out yet, but I got shafted in the YouTube video by not going out earlier. If I send them out now, they could avoid all the traffic, but the track's not as warm. Now, we'll take a chance. I mean, look, we're not in the elimination yet. Chat, are we going to get both drivers out of Q1? I'd take small dub to start. I'd take it. I take it. I hope I've not sent them out too late. Although we're quite far down the pit lane, so we should be fine. Oh god, they're getting blocked in. Get out there, lads! Oh now the It's a bloody if we don't cross the line in time, I blame it on our position. We had to wait for everyone else. It's a pissing disaster. It's a pissing disaster where we are on the if we don't cross the line, I'm gonna be livid. Fletch, thank you for subbing, mate. Danny Rick in 17, the game's realistic. Sad. Sad. 
Right, please, please cross the line. There's a yellow in sector two. Who's f Leclerc has fucked it in the oh, warm-up lap. Well, I want to watch Let's it. How did he do line. this? Watch this. There's Leclerc. Who'd spin? Who'd spin off there? If you know, you know. Um, that's funny. Oh, oh they're in. They're heartbroken. heartbroken. Check the data. Will Check the data. Recover? We'll see. Right. Are we going to cross the line in time? We are. Good news, everyone. We're on laps. How are our sectors looking? Looking for greens. Greens? Green? Greens? Good. Good. We're going to be fine. But everything's going to be fine. I wonder if Leclerc fucked his tyres by spinning there. I mean, he's not going to drop out the session. It's Latifi out. Strolls out Latifi. We're good. We're good. Hamilton's in danger. Hamilton is going out as things stand. Can Lewis Hamilton save his race, folks? He's coming to the line now. He went green in sector one. He went yellow in sector two. He's... he's He's Mick's in danger. Mick! Vamos, Mick! You've got to get in there, Mick! He went yellow in sector two. We're in danger. Reggie Cray, dude, thank you for subbing with the prime. Mick! Do it for me, Mick! I'm firing him. I've decided that I'm firing him. He's not, he's not good enough. Not fit to wear the shirt. So Mick there had 10% more... Um, kind of confidence with the setup and was that much slower. It was half a second slower. There wasn't any traffic there either. Half a second slower and he had like 10% more setup knowledge. I feel like the setup knowledge isn't that important. Hot take alert. k Mag 8th, by the way. Although, sorry. Why are they doing their times on hards? I've watched a lot of Formula 1 you don't do any... <laughs> oh, wait, that's the practice session. Ignore, ignore, Jack, Jack, Jack. Play it off, play it off. No one saw. That cool. No, no one mentioned it. No one... I, I, knew, I knew it was practice. I knew it was practice. Just, just slip away. Slip away. No. Played it off well, Jack. Jack, you've played it off well there. Right, we'll just stay down here for a bit, for a while. They'll forget soon. If I just stay down here, no one will remember in a... An hour. Right. You know what? I feel, I feel like I need to stand up. I feel like I need to stand up. Half a second off, by the way, with that 10% more confidence. Not good enough. I mean, at least... Um, if we... Uh, chat, should we get a prediction going of will K-Mag get to Q1? Or Q3, even? Will Mac Mick get to Q3? Maybe K Mag's the real prodigy. Do people do, do we want a prediction? Will K Mag get points? Pause the session. Uh we're gonna use some use softs for the first run. He'll get Q1. Yeah, you know what, chat? You might be right. He might get Q1. Right, I'm gonna if is there any of the mods around? Or should I do the prediction? Mods? Start. I'll, I'll do it, chat. I can do this. I'm an adult. Will K Mag get into Q3? Question mark. Yes. No. Spend your digital currencies, my lovelies. Spend them. Will it happen? Lou boy, dude, thank you for subbing as well. 38 months. That is actually mad. I think, Lou boy, you and Selling Shate, who was around yesterday, have both like got some of the longest subs on the channel. Can I just say massive thank you for the support, mate? Like, that is mind blowing to me. I feel like, what was I doing 38 months ago? Was that over three years ago? I, I still had a job. I mean, I still do have a job, but you know what I mean. Right, chat, prediction is live. We've got lots and lots of channel points on the line, which is something we love to see here at Work the Space HQ. 
Spend your digital currency. Ah. Oh. I need to get the next Alpine episode recorded as well. I didn't really plan around the Alpine episodes. I didn't think that today's video would do as well as it has, chat, but it's popped off. I think people enjoyed it. Rangers are into the Champions League. Damn, that's pretty sick for them. Okay. Are you ready, everyone? Are you ready? The predictions are in. There are some believers out there in UK, Mag. Do it for the people. Radio check, Kev. Do radio check, Kev. Radio's good. Radio's good. Excellent. Can I talk to the drivers instead? They should have a little button where I can have conversations. And it actually calls up the drivers specifically at home and they have to answer it legally. That should be a thing. I, I don't think it's going to catch on as an idea. Right, K-Mag. Looking for a good time. Chat, what was the time's last session? Uh, can I look at previous session's times here somewhere? Chat, am I blind? I feel like there's lots of new stuff to learn. If I click everywhere, eventually we'll see something. Circuit info? No, it doesn't help me. I think it's like a... what is it a one two? I'm trying to remember the time. Is it a 132 is good? I think if you get quicker than a 132, you're in a good spot. Alright, K Mag. Oh, he's got traffic! They're blocking him! They're pissing blocking him! Get out of the way, Ferrari! I'm going to steal your side pods! Oh, did someone run wide? Oh, there? now Here's Russell's the run wide. Let's watch it. That'll now cheer me up. This. Here's George Russell. Oh, they that curb in F122. Right if you've ridden on that curb, you know. Everyone's ridden on that curb at least once. The get the data. Today. Get the data. I want to get that set up there. Photoshop myself into it. Ferrari absolutely biffed our lap. Although only just behind. Okay, never mind. Poor sunoda has been mugged off the most there. I will say the blocking in this game is brutal. Like, the AI is not great at getting out the way. Like, K-Mag here is blocking Bottas. Bottas is on a fly lap and K-Mag's just blocking him. Rate it. Sabotage him. Sabot don't get out of the way, K-Mag. Actually, no, Bottas has done a lap. Never ignore me, chat. How is he that close behind us? K-Mag, can you go quicker on your in-lap? Bloody hell, was even slow on the inlap. Right. We have fresh softs to go on. Oh, do I want to burn my only pair of softs? Are we realistically going to get out the session? I mean, we could. Is it worth it? I'm going for it. Chat, you know what? I'm a gambler. There's a prediction on the line here. I'm doing it for the believers and myself. There's an ego boost if you get to the next session. Right. How soon do we go out here? Because as we've discovered, we're in a bad spot in the, like, the line on the grid. I'm going to send... Why can I not... Why... Chat, why would it not let... Me... Oh, do you... you could have to have a set for the race. Oh, bloody... Oh, no! Chat, I might have made an error. So you have to have a sa set safe. Oh, everyone else is going out. Hurry up! Why is that... Why, why is that greyed out? Chat, why... why... Someone tap... Why, is... why can I not send him? There must be... Is it because there's cars coming? Fuel? Surely not. No, no, no. It's not fuel. Is it? I've never had to add fuel before. Chat, am I being a dum dum? Where how do I how do I add fuel? I've never had to do this before. Everyone's like, add fuel. I've literally never had this problem before. What what's happened here? I've selected a tyre. The tyre selected. Then the run plan is flying laps one. That's additional fuels there.
Oh, if I move it up and down, then I can hit confirm. I hope that this is going to be done in time, otherwise it's going to be a very sad end to the session. Oh, I've got the game paused. <gasps> Bloody hell. Now I can send him out. That's a bug. That, that was a bug. I've not had that bug before, so you just have to add an additional lap, then remove it. Can all these cars hurry up? Okay, we found a gap. Who are we behind? Who's that there? I wish I could click on them. Oh, he's on the used softs now. Chat, it's all gone wrong. I panicked because I was sorting out the other stuff and now this has happened. No, it's the game's fault. It's not my fault. I want to make that clear. Not my fault. Jericky, dude, thank you for the resub. Almost a year pod. Thoughts on F1 manager so far? I've been enjoying it a lot. Have I had a retirement game yet? I think I had a couple at Monaco. Is that a red Mercedes ahead? I can't tell. Doesn't matter. Chat, we're going to do it on the U Softs. It's going to be the greatest lap you've ever seen. I feel like as part of the prediction, right, you have to factor in for my incompetence. Like, that's almost part of the art of doing a prediction. A red Mercedes. I'm talking about the red rear wing. The red rear wing of a Mercedes is red. Because of the sponsor. True story, yo. Do you get to see durability on engine parts? Yes, you have to replace stuff as the season goes on. So you have, like, the wear here. Oh, chat, I'm so upset about the tyre situation. Oh, we're not even going quick. See you back here. We're not even going quick. It's just a great big shame, innit? I don't even want to see him cross the line. I'm too upset. Could he do it? Could he do it for the believers? Oh my god! What about what about the McLarens? No way. Hold on, K-Mag, please. Oh my god! Biblical, see, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I, I believe in K-Mag. I was saving the softs for Q3. I was saving I was saving the sauce for Q3 chat. That's the truth. He's made it by two thousandths of a second. <laughs> Tactical. Tactical. Two thousandths of a second chat. I I guess I have to play out the prediction now, don't I? Will K Mag get into Q3? <laughs> Some yeah, yeah, somehow. I'm not sure how he's managed it. People doubted my ability. I, I act dumb. It's to lure you into a false sense of security. I'm like Boris Johnson. Not that I'm literally like him, but, you know, like he kind of plays a character. I play a character being an idiot. I'm not a dumb idiot all the time. Uh, yeah, we'll manage this session. Come on. Right, we'll send him out on some old softs. Oh, wait, do we get, like, another set of soft? Oh, you get an extra pair of softs, don't you, as you go through sessions? Is that right? I think you do. Our softs are very well used. Now, from my own experience, you can kind of use a set of softs twice and actually still improve your time. Why can I not confirm that? There's something weird going on in-game with the uh, picking. Bloody hell. Can anyone else believe it? Because I can't. Right. We're going to go out early here. Is Mick okay? Mick's watching in tears. He's like, it's the car. I swear it's the car. I had 74% setup knowledge. Oh, right. Let's do this. Come on, K-Mag. Don't get blocked. If he gets blocked, oh, he's about to get absolute. This. If you've watched today's YouTube video, you literally know what's about to happen. Don't do it to me, Leclerc. Shawl. 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 Get out of the way. I've handled that well. I've handled that well. That's it's ruined the lap. Get me out of here. Get me get me to 
Right, you know what? Call, call him in. Save the tyres. Save the tyres for another run. I want some softs for the actual race. K-Mag, I'm sorry, mate. It was, it was Charles' fault, not yours. Right, go on the new softs. We'll save those softs for the race. It's not right, Mikey. Or Michael. Did you say Mikey or Michael in the clip? I, I like the idea that Toto says Michael. Oh, or Mikey. It's more friendly then. <laughs> it's like childhood friends betrayed him. Uh, oh. Do I go out now? We're only 10 seconds behind. All right, you guys, you all go. We're going to go at the end. I'm waiting. I'm going to wait them out. It's a game of patience. We're going to we're going to get P4. I can feel it. That's a very ambitious. Which I say you need strong F1 on to enjoy this game. I think you'll enjoy it more with the context if you watch the sport. But the game itself is very, very fun in itself. Like, there's certain strategies and stuff that you do that, like, you would know to do from F1. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, the last car. If anyone, if anyone crashes, our lap is ruined and we're starting P10. I'm okay with that. It's a risk worth taking. Right, this is it. This is bloody it, folks. This is the moment. K-Mag on his lap. Yeah, P10 is already good. This is a free hit, isn't it, really? This is a free hit for us at Haas. Also, I'm going to click here so I don't accidentally hit the call-in button. That button right there, that is the resign button of this game. I can't believe the lap he did previously, to be honest. Come on, Kevin. Green sector one? I mean, if he doesn't get green there after he was blocked at it before, that would be a concern, wouldn't it, really? Go on, Kevin. Keep an eye at the top as well. The Ferraris are doing very, very well, actually. Perez must have got blocked, right? No one's gone off yet. Our lap isn't being ruined yet. Everything's fine. I'm calm. Is everyone else calm? I feel like when I'm playing this game on stream, I don't have to fast forward as much. So I can actually sit and chat with you guys. Whereas when I'm sat on YouTube, it's like, I don't want to sit here watching it play at real time for too long. It looks like the driver's watching Jack during his race. Maybe he is. Purple for Verstappen. Purple for Leclerc. It's probably going to be Verstappen and Leclerc. Of oh, Verstappen's got this, surely. Six thousandths. Six thousandths. I knew Russell can go bare. Chat, where are we coming? Where are we coming? Come on, my son! Anything, any improvement is good. Why did we use those tyres? Why did we, why did we use that? Th why did we use those tyres? Um, that was very anticlimactic, wasn't it? We should, we should have just taken temp. Tension continues to build here. As race day begins. Get warmed up, everyone. What technical difficulties, dude. Thank you for the 15 bumps. I feel like temp's okay. What do you mean we? Chat, you're part of the team at this point. And if they can keep this up, they'll have a good race ahead of them. Hey, Alpha. Right, get me out of here. Now, I'm tempted to do the strategy I did in my video because I think it's a pretty good strat. I'm tempted to go double mediums. Softs into double mediums. Thoughts, chat. Sam Bradley, dude, thank you for subbing with the Prime. Chat, I appreciate all the love. I know there's a lot of people watching right now. It's really cool to see so many people hype for F1 Manager. I think that, I think that is the play. Medium hards? Can you get away with a medium hards? I don't mind splitting the strategies. What if I went medium, medium, hards on Mick? He's starting so near the back anyway. Oh, sorry, medium, medium, softs. That's what I meant. 
Maybe that's the play. Uh, so we go a bit longer first in. Oh, I think that could be the play. Something like that. One stop, one stop in medium to hard. Can you get away with a medium to hard? I don't think you can, you cannot do that. You'd have to drive so slow that you compromise your whole race. I'm going to... Everyone else likes to go... Me, they go soft, hard, medium a lot of the time. Or soft, me, hard, soft. I'm going to go medium, soft, medium. Is what I'm going to do. I feel like this is actually the one bit that I'm usually pretty good at having a plan for when I play this game of Motorsport Manager is the actual strat. I'm going to go with that. I want a longer initial stint. And yeah, if there's a safety car, we can maybe look at doing a hard then. If we start on the soft, which is what I think everyone is going to do, it doesn't really give us many options with Miku's car. It's not great anyway. And for K-Mag, I'm thinking soft, medium, medium. Thing is, you can see here, K-Mag is not as good on his tyres. It's going to be a harder strat to do. Uh, hi, Jack, I understand you wouldn't read messages on Discord, but it's uh, help on this game. Uh, and if it's uh, worth for my laptop... Be great if you can help, if not understandable. Liam, my honest advice would be if anyone's ever unsure about like buying a game like this and seeing if it works, to buy it on Steam and then you have two hours to try the game and then if it doesn't run, you can just get a refund. I think that's the play, chat. I think that's the play. So I learned you can click here and see the tires. So the ones he's got of 92 condition. Oh, that might be why he can't run as long. I think the graph takes into account um, that situation. Oh, yeah, this was a nice thing I realized, chat, after today's Alpine video. You can click on the compounds and see your tires there. Is there a free beta? now? Nah, there isn't. It, the game is out tomorrow if you pre-order, though. Put when, wet into wet. You know what? That is a bold move in the desert, but it could pay off. Chat, do we want a prediction? Do people do people fancy a prediction? Mick has a set of softs. Could he go soft, hard, soft? I think that's what a lot of other people are going to do. So I want Mick to go longer in his first stint. So we're going to overcut everyone running on softs. And then we're going to undercut them when they go onto hards in the middle. What is the prediction though, chat? Will we get points? Is that, is that, I feel like it's going to be difficult, honestly, to keep K-Mag in P10. I think that's going to be hard. We're just going to make it a simple one. Will we score points? If we score points with Haas, kind of first race, that is not bad. I'm not expecting us to have many weekends where we score points without a lucky safety car or some weather in our favour. Okay, chat, prediction is live. Prediction is live. Bloody hell, I'm nervous. I feel like I want to play this game all night, chat. Is that a problem? If I go and get an energy drink now at 10pm, is that a bad idea? This is the kind of game I could be sat playing for four or five hours because I, I genuinely just love playing it so much. I could do it. It's not wise. Get four. Can't possibly go wrong. How many people have taken tomorrow off work to play the game? And so will be staying up with me if I play. Maybe that's like the important question to ask now, I feel like. <laughs> Chat, I'll have an to drink if you all promise at home to have one too. <laughs> hey, Kevin's got today off and Friday. A man of culture. Chat, I'm getting an energy drink. I need, I need to, you know, focus. I need to focus. This is this is going to help me focus for the next five races that we do tonight until 4 a.m. 
Okay. I think... I think this is what we go with. It's going to be tough. Like, this is going to be a pretty brutal season where if we get points, we party. It's a cloudy night tonight, but otherwise, the weather looks good for the race. Why? Did you notice how half the people on the grid are all bald? Makes no sense. Oh, chat, I opened it. I'm a bit worried I'm going to get animated and absolutely knock it over and burn my PC setup. So let's move all the electronics to the other side of the desk. And this is it. Oh, bloody hell, we're racing. I'm not ready. Okay, come on, the boys. That's football. What do you do? Do, a, do an F1. Come on, Mick. Good start, please. Oh, he's getting gobbled alive by an Alpine. Actually, that's K-Mag. K-Mag, what's the situation, mate? Bloody hell. He's down in 11th already. What's happening? Oh, chat, it's a write-off. Cancel it. Can Stop the count. P12. I've just realised something, chat. I've just realised I was too excited to do the prediction that we didn't we didn't tell the drivers to get a bit aggressive at the start. I, w I don't like to pause, but I will pause Let's when I forget them. to do something. Also, cl close the extra boxes. There we go. It matters less for Mick, to be honest. Mick, oh my god, Mick's, Mick's just done a move on Danny Rick. Have that, you Aussie reject. Great job, Mick. Good job, Mick. Love that. Wait, K Mag's got Archon. K Mag got Archon. See you later, alligator. Job, that's one. Right. Let's do, let's do it on the Alpha as well. Go on. Back straight here is the moment. I'm going to micromanage this a little more than I normally would. We're going on to deploy on the straight. We're going on to deploy here. Right. To burn it. Fuck the battery. Fuck the battery, just go. That is the, the official workspace strategy, by the way. On this next trip, bloody hell, I thought he was about to go in the back of him. Right, do him, do him, do him. Pedal faster. What place is a point? Top 10 are points. I can't keep this this high. Because we're in traffic, we're actually okay on fuel. It's really weird. Like, even if you off. run aggressive with the fuel, you're usually okay. I want Mick to run longer here than everyone else, so he can kind of save his tyres a little bit. We're going to settle into this now. Have I done a wet race yet? I've not had a wet race yet. Actually, I had one race where it was predicted to rain, according to my forecaster, that was only 70% accurate. So I built my entire strategy about around the rain and it looked like it was going to rain for ages and then it just didn't. I was both annoyed and kind of enjoyed it. Who locked up there? It's one of the uh, Alpha Tauri's art. Sinoda. Oh no. Yuki. Oh, lock up there. Let's take a look at the replay. Now let's look at this. The focus you can Sinoda see what other tyres the teams this. have. You can also see the yes, wear on the tyres, which I, I kind of wish wasn't a thing. I wish there was a way you could hide the life on the tyres. So Mick is the only person on mediums. Chat, we've done a bold strategy that might not work. But it might work. It's one of those moments where you look around and go, no one else is doing what we're doing. Does that mean we're doing it wrong? Liverpool got Derby in the, in the uh, Carabao Cup. Excellent. I have a few Derby fans. By the way, we're just looking at Yuki here. What's going on with Mick? Mick's up to 14th, by the way, I realise. K-Mag. Still close behind. DRS enabled. Could I undercut with K-Mag? I probably could get in a lap earlier. If I want to push harder now, we'll do that. If you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Got it. Go on, K-Mag. Do it for me. Is he going to get him here? It's DRS now, right? Yeah, DRS is active. 
Right, chat, we're getting into the long haul bit now. I, I need K-Mag to make it through. If he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. There's a yellow flag there. What happened? I'm not Someone's sure. Albon ran Let's wide. What, what happened? happened? Now watch this. Here's the moments involving Albon. They've now, if you're playing F122 and wide. you go over that curb, you don't get away price. with that. You are grinding like a skateboarder on a rail. The team are really oh, disappointed Williams. with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back. Oh, yeah. Is he bad. okay? Is that boy going to be... He looks very upset about it. He didn't even lose a place. Come on, K-Mag. What's the equivalent of de demand more? It's definitely up in the fuel mode. Has Mick got air in front of him? He hasn't. I'm a bit concerned about his fuel. Try to do some lifting coast and then focus on apex speed. Go on, my son. Does this game have ultra wide support? I actually don't know. I don't have an ultra wide monitor. <laughs> Love that, Mick. Now he's just racing with the McLarens. He's having his own little event with the McLarens. Um. There is a gap ahead of Joao here. Let's go into overtake mode. Try and get this move done. The car's ahead are out of DRS, so I feel like Joao is just a bit slow here. The key now is to get a nice second work, ahead. So for people who don't know, if you're within a second of a car and going into certain sections where there's a line on the track, you can kind of see how there's like an opening on his wing. I don't know if you saw that for a second. It's called, it's called a drag reduction system. So essentially, the wing opens up, which allows air to go through, which allows you to go quicker in a straight line. It's not... I was going to say it's controversial. I feel like it's not as controversial as it was Position once upon a time. But, um, yeah, it basically means that if you're a second behind someone, you can catch them up and potentially overtake them. So trying to get a second ahead of someone is almost as important as overtaking them. Rose, um kind of opening season so far has been really impressive, I feel like, as a rookie. I feel like it's gone under the radar a little bit. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not been incredible, but he's not put many a foot wrong. So, yeah, Mick here, look, he's now a second ahead of Danny Rick. So, because our driver Mick here has that gap, he, he's in a pretty good spot now. So, hold on to this position, which, considering we're going longer here, this is fine. Like, everyone else is on a faster tyre, so the medium will last longer... Not by a massive amount, but it'll last a little bit longer. It won't degrade as quickly, but it is just naturally a bit slower. So the fact that Mick's going to run in this clean air now is very, very good for us. Go back into overtake. I think they can both up that a little bit, to be fair. Uh, yeah, this is a separate save um, to the to the YouTube one. K Mag softs are going off so quickly because we've pushed him, but that's Alpha kind of part Romeo of the plan. Just moved I, for, the I forgot to change the mode down. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I got distracted, chat. I fast forwarded too quickly. The battery's empty. Balls. And he's still not past row. It's not good. Yeah, everyone else started on fresh softs, whereas K-Mag started on used softs. That's why the, the wear is different. There's a big gap now there. And Ocon's right behind... Oh, he was right behind, now he's past him. That's okay, though. We're going to pit sooner. We're going to be going for an undercut. Alpine just we, don't, we don't need to panic. Everything's fine, chat. What's the battery thing? So it's called it's ERS or Energy Re Recovery System. And essentially, um, you have different modes you can put into. So it's a battery. It harvests energy off the uh, the engine, like at, at surplus energy, and stores it in a battery. You can store up to four... Is it megajoules? I don't know what MJ is. I'm not going to pretend to know. But you can store up to four MGA of it and then you can use a certain amount. So, for example, if you use it in neutral, you burn as much as you gain. You can harvest, which means you're charging up the battery, or you can put it in overtake, defend, or deploy. Overtake encourages a driver to use the battery at certain points in the track where the driver thinks it's the right thing to do to make an overtake. Defend is the same in reverse, and deploy basically tells the driver, hey, use the battery now. So if you want to really micro things, you can actually go mad with this, like these controls and basically drive yourself Is in terms of the battery usage. Mackerson got an overtake there. Now. 
All eyes on Kevin Magnussen here. That's a good move. Could be tough for him to hold on to it. Did he make that stick? Okay, he did actually make it stick. Uh, yeah, the car basically just gives the car... Um, the battery gives the car a bit of extra power, essentially. But obviously, you want to stick it in neutral most of the time. Do you know why the teams aren't all uh, made to make their own engines? Because it's how it is in real life. Although I agree, it'd be kind of cool if like teams could, you know, develop their own engines or go their own way in the future. I think mean, that's the kind of thing that will come. Okay, Mick's in a really good spot here. With our strategy with Mick, we are, we are Gucci right now. Magnussen is a bit more of a concern, but... How's his tyre life? Uh, he's fine. He's on course. So someone asked about data. So you can get all this extra data here as well. So if you want to look at sector times and previous lap times and stuff, you can look at all of that. You can look at it for specific drivers. If you really want to micro it like crazy, you could do all of that and pause it and stuff. But ain't nobody got time for that. Are you looking forward to a rainy weekend as well? Is that what the weather forecast is for the Grand Prix this weekend? Honestly, I've, because of the summer break, I'm not in the habit of like checking the weather forecast ahead of the weekend. K-Mag could get gobbled up here. I'm not feeling optimistic about K-Mag. It's all going to be down to the undercut, and if you can just hold up these cars long enough. But we'll see. Mick's in a great position, though, now, chat. Yeah, we don't want as much rain as last time at Spa, though. I don't want it finishing under <laughs> the safety car again. I'm a bit worried that K-Mag's just going to get gobbled up here. Yeah, that was inevitable. Mick is good, but Danny Rick is right behind him now. I was about to say, it's not necessarily a bad thing if Rick goes ahead of him. Because with Ricardo ahead, we can put him on the overtake mode and he'll still be conserving. And we're on the mediums. What's everyone else's deck like? Still pretty good. We're probably burning a little quicker than I'd like, but it's okay. Can you disable the commentators? You can. At least, at least I think you can. Should we check? Let's check. I think you could just disable. I have it set so there's the subtitles. I don't know why I have it set so the subtitles are on. Uh, audio, yes, yeah, so you can have the race commentary down or the co audio commentary or the team radio. So you, you can choose exactly what audio you want to have on or off. I'm going to turn off the subtitles for the actual crofty bits. If Mick can stay behind here, it's fine. Sometimes the plus and minus on this, by the way, is really weird. Like, how has K-Mag suddenly shot up? I don't understand. I, can't, I don't know if that's a bug or if that is just a case of... I, I, oh, are they going free wide there? Hello? That's not a spot to go free wide. Why did I record the audio in the video? I didn't mean to, Lazy Tell. The audio was all gargled. So I just had to mute it. It was either re-record the entire race that's into a new a race or um, have no race audio. There is no multiplayer. For the intro bit of the race that did have audio in the in today's YouTube video, I actually basically made a new save with Alpine, played through qualifying just to get the drivers in the right bit. Um, and then, yeah, that was how I did it. Oh bloody hell! Have no management required, so push as much as you can. We are we are really really going to push with K Mag here because we are going to pit. I think we're going to pit earlier than planned here. I basically want to go in a lap earlier than these guys. There was a remove license button for streaming. Yeah, I've already ticked to turn around UK. He might not clear these. It's not really the end of the world if he doesn't. 
It might even be better for us to harvest here whilst we're behind. So I think we're going to pick K-Mag end of next lap. Which is early. But I think, I think he can make the mediums work a bit more. And these two guys are fighting it out so much anyway. They're just ruining each other's races. Uh, so we're going medium, medium here. Fox, Kevin, Fox. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do not crash. Do not crash. Do not. That mm. I should have picked a lap earlier, potentially. How's Mick looking? Okay, Mick's still just trailing Danny Rick, which is exactly what we want, really. McLaren, gain a position. I don't want them squabbling, ideally. Box, Kevin! This is big. Pass with right. Overtake. So he's going to pit here. I'm hoping he's going to come out ahead of Ocon and Norris. I think we had to do this to turn a chance because we, we, we've not got the pace, it doesn't seem like, to actually do them. Otherwise. More lifting coast, please. More lifting coast, please. said that so sassily. <laughs> Anyone else feeling a bit sweaty? That is a crap pit stop, by the way. Holy crap. We lost half a second there. That is really bad. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I've not heard Wow. And right. McLaren with a great overtake. Chat, remind me to tell K Mag to deploy on the straights. And I'm only set to overtake, so I don't think he's going to use his battery. Um, because he's not got anyone to overtake. Is it Owen Wilson who did the whole like wow thing? I was getting flashbacks to that. Right, Kevin. Great Ke job, Kevin. In a second, mate, you are gonna. Right, Schumacher is still just battling Danny Rick, and I don't really like it. Right, deploy. Go, go, go. Mode push. Cover that. Go, go, go. We're gonna deploy on this straight. Then we're going to harvest here. Then we're going to deploy on, again. That, so this is the thing I'll say about how you could just stupidly micro it. And I have done that on closing laps before. This is big. So what's the situation elsewhere? Like, Russell has got a train and a half going here. So Ocon... Ocon and Norris are the two that we were battling before. We could come out somewhere in here once the stops happen. Depending on how many much longer these guys go... The big thing for us is clearing the Tifi. Unless Williams want to pit, that would do us a favour. Mick's in a good spot though, chat. Chat, we're actually, we're, we are good right now. This is a good spot to be in. Considering that we lost those places. I just realised we left um, Magnussen in deploy. Fresh mediums. Get, are going to get Latifi done. Signs is pitting, so this is big. This is the lap where people could pit around us. So we are going longer here because we're the only people on the mediums. We are still... I mean, both our cars are now on mediums. So obviously, Mick started on those mediums. Where is uh, K-Mag going to come out here after the pit stops? Oh, they've still not pitted, actually, I don't think. Yeah, Danny Rick's not pitted. Good job. Wait, who was it, chat? It was just battling who I was talking about. It was Ocon, wasn't it? By Haas to gain a few places. If we get Ocon in, this worked. Although he's on hards here. He's on the hards. We could still do this. We could still do this. Deploy here. You. It was Danny Rick and Ocon, right? Load push. Cover that. Uh, the, the reason I'm using the Harvest uh, Major Muesli is because it stops him deploying it. It just stops the energy use. I'm not using it for the Harvesting bit. I'm just using it because it's the only mode where, besides Neutral, but even then, Neutral, obviously, it will still use a little bit of it. Or at least that's my understanding. I've not tested it extensively. But because every, every mode bar Harvest, you're using some of the energy you gain, whereas I'm basically saying to cut it. If that makes sense. As I said, I've not tested. Like, the game's so newly out, right? Like, I feel like those are the kind of things people will test and figure out. 
That's big. That is really big to get ahead of Ocon on these mediums, but... We were, how many laps earlier were we there? Okay, Two good, laps earlier? Well. It didn't make as much of a dis difference as I was hoping. Pass with an overtake there. Uh, okay, everyone else is pitting around us. Has Danny Rick still not gone in? No. Now he's still keeping up with us on the softs. I'm currently usually pretty bad on this first track of the year, so this is kind of concerning. What's the tire life looking like? Oh my word, Mick, you Perfect. can push, Let's mate. Back up the pace. You can <laughs> push, son. Have a go. No push. Copy. So who who are we going to be worrying about here when Mick comes out chat? Who is Mick racing? Obviously, Danny Rick. We're a little bit behind Norris, right? Alpine just advanced. What happened? Wait, what happened Let's to K-Mag here? K-Mag was... Watch of this. Looks like Ocon. Oh, he got... Got done on the straight. And then Norris has come out of the pits immediately. So that strap with Magnussen hasn't really worked. But these guys are all on hard. So we are going to be pitting sooner than them. I think we're okay. Nice work, Kev. I'm not sure the one stop is worth it on Mick. But we could definitely consider it considering how much life he's got left. I need a safety car. Okay, back off. But I need the safety car to come in the pit window. Hey, well done, Kev. Oh, I could try and eke that out. Then we can make a decision later. That might be the play. Hey, K Mag just got past Ocon, though. Thing is, we're not dropping Ocon. It's just constantly just trading back and forth. Do you have an overview of all the lap times? So you can see um, last lap times here. So Magnus is running a 139. So we're closing on Alonso and Gasly, who I think are... St yeah, that well, obviously, actually, they've just pitted, so that's a terrible... Actually, had they just pitted? That might be the lap after they pitted. I'm not sure. I think it's, there's this gap. Does the game deserve to be bought? I think if you're an F1 fan, there is a hell of a lot to enjoy. I feel like if you're someone who's curious about the game, maybe you watch a little bit of Formula 1, or maybe you've never watched it at all, but you like management games. I think you could... It's hard for me to say... Would, like If you're an F1 fan, I think you'll enjoy it immensely. If you're not an F1 fan, but you're curious about management games, and it looks like you'd enjoy it, I'd say give it a go. I think the thing to remember, chat, is this is the first game of a yearly franchise, so the game is only going to get better. Like, the, the, you can't put everything into the game for the first year. There's, like, little things that I kind of wish were better, like the blocking can be a bit annoying in qualifying, and um, cars, I don't think, can lap themselves under safety cars, which is a bit annoying when it happens. I think the Mick one stop might be the play. Although, Danny Rick's only now coming into the pit. Mick's tyres are pretty good. Chat, get a screenshot. We're in fifth. Get a screenshot. We just tell people it was the end of the race. We'll Photoshop a 57 in the top left. Do tyres take time to warm up in game? Yeah, they do. So you can see the temps here. Oh, this one's run wide. I'm not sure who it was who ran wide. Look at that. Oh, run Albon. Wide. Doesn't affect us. Is there still the Russell train, by the way? Is the Russell train still a thing? The Russell train is still a thing. Okay, good job, Kev. That's one. Are we in rate? Are we in danger of hitting that train? Is that the K-Mag? I feel like the rate at which we're going... We're going to catch that train sooner rather than later. Mick might become the train. <laughs> Which would be kind of funny.
What was the last lap times here? So 139. Some of them have just pitted, so the numbers are a bit funky. I don't think we're actually going to catch that train. Mixed times are slow. Do I one-stop him, or do we go soft? Mediums. I think we have to one-stop at this point. His mediums are in a really good window, though. Like, how's his tyre wear? Let's, let's have a look here. I also like the fact you have you can have it so you don't have to... Uh, I was going to say, you don't have to pause the edit strategy. You do actually have to pause the edit strategy. Oh, chat, is that... I don't think we can do that. I don't think mixed, mixed tyre management is not good enough for us to work that. The drop-off is too steep, no? Hmm. I'd have to pit around. You don't want to be going too far below this line, but obviously it depends on how much he can manage this. I think we have to one stop. I think that's the only chance we get points with him. I think is the issue. We're almost too deep, aren't we? I wonder if I should tell him just to manage his tyres more now. There's no one around him, and he's fine for race position. We need a back off. Understood. We're going to eke out for as long as we can. There's no point in pushing here. Like, if anything, it'd be in our interest for these other cars behind to catch up, which they are doing very, very quickly. And we're actually helping out Kevin by doing this because Kevin is going to pit for mediums when a lot of these guys are now going longer on hards behind us. Oh, sorry, not behind us. Well, Hamilton Bottas are. If we hold them up, we're actually in an okay spot. Could go medium, medium, soft to attack at the end. Well, that's why I was going medium, soft, medium before. I think we go with this. I think we, by by having, Mick, we're kind of sacrificing mixed race here, but it may give us a chance to get Mick a place or two if he can, be, if Mick can become the train. But it's, I, he, he doesn't really have the pace to be able to maintain it. Thing is, if I put the Urs on defend, we're just going to burn for it quickly. Oh, someone just spun. Who was it? Then spot it on the radar. It's a spin. Albon again. Albon's not having a good race, is he? Hold cars behind back. I'll put him on defend. The thing is, he's going to burn through this so quickly. We will go to high fuel now. Copy. Joe's just overtaking Magnuson as well. Things we didn't want to see. We really could do with a safety car, please, game. Park it on every apex, Mick. Just get this train going for K-Mag. We need Joe to close the gap on these guys once they catch Mick. Mick is basically sacrificing his race to try and compress the middle lot. Has Albon just gone wide again there, or was that Latifi that time? Someone's like gone... Been a lock oh, it, Williams are not having a good day, are they? Oh, bloody hell. I mean, he is defending. He is defending like a lion. There's unlimited seasons. How many se uh, races have I had? This is the first one of this save game. I've probably done about 20 in total. So he's burnt through this battery so quickly by having it on defend. Try to do some lifting coast. Mick, you've done your job. Round of applause for Mick. I don't really. From my experience, defend isn't that good of a mode. That was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. Okay. The harvest for half a lap, Sorry, so we can go neutral whilst yeah, we're in traffic. How quickly are we getting dropped by Bottas here? Not that bad. 
Yeah, there are regen drivers. Wait, Joe. Oh, we're actually losing ground by battling with Joe. Mixed tyres are actually looking really good. We're going to be okay, I think. I was watching Magnussen whilst uh, I just did mixed stuff. Shouldn't defence slash overtake be maximum used for a few corners? I'm, the, the game doesn't really guide you on that. Like, because the way it says it, it does it like per lap. You can do charge off. I feel like it's one of those things where people will find the optimal way to play, but I think you can micro it as much as you want. What's just happened there? Is that one of the Aston Martins, I think, went off? We keep getting absolutely shafted trying to make a move. It was one of the Astons. You can't change the car livery in-game. I don't know how moddable the game's going to be, to be honest, chat. K-Mag. K-Mag. It's just a great big shame. Mick's still not pitted. Mick's going to drive forever, chat. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Okay, more lifting coast, please. Our car is not quick enough. Copy. There's no editor with the game as far as I'm aware. I mean, Mick's making this work. He's still holding them up behind. Only Bottas has got behind in all of this. Chat, the train is happening. The train. L train. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, he's still good. He's still good. Come on, Mick. Hold them up. A new race position for Haas. Mick, you're doing, the, you're doing great, Mick. Oh, Russell's got past him. It's, a, it's, a, it's just a shame. It's just a great big it's a shame. Race position gained for Mercedes. We could still be okay come the end of the race with K-Mag. Because you've got to remember, we're going on mediums to the end. At the end, whereas I think some of the other guys will be going... One. Will they be going on to hard? We're still not even halfway through the race here. There's still a lot of racing left to be done. That's Fire Magnuson. I mean, look. I'm considering it. Of course, once, once Schumacher pit, Magnussen will then move up. Oh, sorry. Once Schumacher pits, Magnussen will move up. Is that what I said? I think I said it the other way around. You all knew what I meant. We've done okay here. Because Mick has definitely compressed the field up. Like, we were four seconds behind Gasly with Joao. It's now a second and a half in it, and it's getting closer. This is good. Mick is doing doing the business right now. He is the cork in a bottle. Okay, nice work. Alpine just advanced. No more lifting coast. Right. Copy. We're doing okay, chat. We're doing okay. Right, wait, pause. Mix lost all his spots, chat. He did his job. Don't fight teammate. Hold cars behind, though. I assume that means he'll let Alpha Tower, he Magnuson through. Okay, he will. Good. Right, Mick, you know your job. Park it up. You are now buying You are now buying time as much as you can for K Mag. You are you are now you are now you are now Look, Mick's falling like a stone chap, but it's okay. He's still doing a job right now. I've not... But look, I've perezed Mick because we're not Red Bull. We're, we're not a quick car. Is that the... No, Joe's still behind. Joe's behind and Ocon's behind. There is still... There's, fr there's three cars behind Mick. Mick's doing great... He's now our battery. He's now our battery. He's absolutely fucked. Right, Mick. It's, t it's time to pit, Mick. You've done your job. He's get he's gained his time, chat. And now he gets to run his own race. Okay. So I put him on harvest. And then focus on apex speed. 
Right, K Mag really needs to catch this lot here now. Oh, yeah, the dots do get a bit close on the radar, I will admit. Understood. I mean, K Mag's in the points after the stops, right line, chat. Right line. Mick, Jack, can I pit now? We are checking. We are checking. I think we've actually done okay on that management. Because we've got K-Mag. Well, that, there is no one in DRS range behind K-Mag now. If you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Go with that. Mick, you can stay on aggressive whilst you harvest and push. Everyone else has to stop around K-Mag. Our pit crew's shit, isn't it? Can we discuss the pit crew? We lost half a second on K-Mag. How bad was the stop chat? I actually missed it because I was too busy focusing on the other little bits. Look at K-Mag. You know he gets to run his own little race in the middle. He's having a grand old time. 3.5 again. Tell you what, if that happened at my Alpine team, there'd be a strange face in heaven. For, for all the uh, the members of the team. All right, Mick can now go on to neutral. Uh, we're okay. Mick's still going to be marginal at the end, but everyone else is going to pit around. We might get a Mark II chat. Chat. There might be a version two of what we had before. The big thing for us now is this pit window with K-Mag, to be honest. Like, our drivers are kind of now just running their own races. Was Perez in P1 for a second? I'll tell you what, the race at the front's entertaining, isn't it? It's just the Red Bulls and the Ferraris battling it out. What's my favourite race I've done? I um, Good question. I had a really good ending to a race at Saudi Arabia. I actually tweeted it out um, when I was managing Mercedes where I was... I managed to get a podium for Hamilton, but the end of the race was mad. I feel like times four speed's a nice speed when I'm streaming chat, when I can still chat with you guys. Leclerc's at the front now. Damn, it's crazy. So, what's everyone else's tyre wear like? I mean, Magneton's burning through his tyres quicker, but we're going to be going on to mediums again. I think these guys here might. Will they try mediums? They can't go to soft, surely. We'll see. I'm hoping we're going to end up with some clean air for K-Mag to come into. When he pits. Let's just have a quick look. So exit position will be 14th. Yeah, he's going to have clean air. He's going to come out, I think, in front of Danny Rick and have clean air to race in. This could be pretty good for a K-Mag in his strap. How long am I going to play for? I am currently drinking. Well, I finished drinking an energy drink, so all night. Is the plan. I'll tell you what. Mick is struggling to hold back the Aston Martins, which is a bit depressing, but he's on the harder tyres. In some ways, it wouldn't necessarily be bad if one of them got passed, because then you could just use the DRS to keep ahead. How will Ferrari mess up? I mean, if the game's realistic, they will mess up soon, won't they? Okay, K-Mag. What, is he getting caught up here? Yeah, half a second. His tyres are more tired. These guys are all on fresher hards. We we're about to enter in a lap or two when we want to pick K-Mag. He's got a little bit more that he could eat up on his tyres, but I'd rather save something for the end. I'll tell you what, safety car now would be big. Oh, Danny Rick spun out. That is a bigger gap. That's great for us with K-Mag. That gives K-Mag a way bigger window to come out in. Is Mick still on holding up? He might be. Oh, God, chat. Sorry, Mick. I mean, to be fair, chat, he's just saving his tyres. You'd think that that would get turned off or not be active, like, if he's quicker, wouldn't you? That's very awkward. I'd like to issue like a public Aston apology Martin to Mick. Have just a race I turned it off and now he's been overtaken. Pass with an overtake. Okay. Magnussen has all those cars behind him. 
I think we have to pit now. It's a bit sooner than I wanted to. Box. I think Box. I think it's the play. Copy, Box. Push as much as you can. Copy that. Mick has very much been forgotten about here, hasn't he? Poor bloke. Right, chat. What's K Mag's pit stop going to be here? How bad can it be? We will go to high fuel now. Yeah, copy. If it's 3.5 again, I'm going to be upset. Now, I won't be upset. I'll hide my emotions well. Fine. I'm fine. Not, t not tilted. Not tilted at all. How's mixed tyres looking? It's not as good as I was hoping it was going to be. Try to do some lifting coast. Might fire them all. I might for chat. You might be onto. Maybe we should just fire all the pit. I reckon I should do it personally. At least we've got this clean air to run in with K Mag. Also, all the b the leaders are trying to lap Mick, and Mick's just in the way. Mick, are you are you ruining the race for the neutrals? Char, would you like me to get him out of the way? Mick, get out of the way! Mick! Mick, get out of the way! We're not racing Ferrari! Mick! 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 Thank you, Mick. He's going to block these guys in a second. They're going to have fun with him. He's learning. He's learning. It's his first, he's, a, he's a rookie chat. It's his first season. It's not his first season. It's just not true. The big thing that I'm interested about is these guys here. Are they going to go onto softs or are they going to go onto mediums? And equally, are these... Because like, I think whatever tyre these will go onto, it's going to be the same thing. I think it's going to... If they go onto softs, it's going to be pretty marginal to the end of the race. They're going to have to run quite long on the mediums. Longer than we did with K-Mag on his mediums. I think they must be going onto softs. But if they're going onto the softs, their tyres are going to be pretty knackered by the end. But yellow in sector two... I think there's been a lockup. What us locked up? We're kind of just running our own races now till the next pit window. I mean, the weird thing here being that we um, we have no more pit stops, and everyone else is going to be stopping still. I feel like we're going to have to just do funky stuff on the strats a lot, like we did this race, if we want to get stuff. As has, funkiness is going to be the name of the game. Okay, people are starting to pit now. What did the Red Bulls come out on? Did the Red Bulls stack there, or was there enough of a gap? I missed that chat. So I mentioned double stacking being a bit weird sometimes with the AI. I've not noticed it myself, but it might have just happened there. Is that a new race position for Hass? Oh, K-Mag has just overtaken Joe. Is that on the track as well? Oh, it was. So this is the... Oh, wait. Maybe it wasn't. Uh, never mind, he's passed us again. I tell you what, chat. The plan has not worked. We are not quick enough. Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. Oh, we're going to do him again. There's not been any crashes yet, has there? I've just realised. No safety cars or even VSCs this race. Mix is practicing his racecraft by chasing after Carlos signs, which I respect. Then. I've seen a few people mention about DRS being OP. It's kind of OP in real life, but I do know what you mean. Sometimes it feels like trains happen a lot. Although what I will say is the trains seem to happen a lot of Bahrain. I've not seen it at other tracks as badly. What's mixed tyres looking like? Uh, we might have to save them at the end. I kind of want him to push now because it might allow him to... Well, not push now, but basically not let up now because it might get us him into play to help out Magnussen. Although I say that, 
There's not that many cars ahead who haven't pitted yet. I think he, I, f I think mixed race is shit, to be honest, chat. I've come, I've come to the realization. The, I mean, what position did Mick start in? It was like P16. So he's not gone backwards. He could still gain a spot on Danny Rick and Sonoda. But it's, it's not good. Have I had a red flag? I haven't yet. But I know it can happen. You killed his racer. I mean, you killed his racer that Magnussen had a chance. Although Magnussen right now is just racing with the Alfa Romeo and they just keep fucking up each other's corners. Okay, Danny Rick's in the pit. If Mick goes ahead of Danny Rick, we party. He's got DRS off signs. Get in there! Eat it, Danny Rick. Now he's just got to chase an odour. Looks like that was a position uh, gain for Alfa Romeo. Ah. Uh, has everyone in front of us now pitted? Hamilton, Bottas, Ocon still have to pit, but they're, they're way up the road. I mean... Only 10 points off points. Sixteen seconds back on Sonoda. Sonoda not got to pit again? Sonoda's got to pit again, I think. There is no shot he's getting to the end of the race. He's probably gonna pit this lap. I think Mick is actually gonna make two places up through all of this. This this fight here has wrecked us. TBH. We're basically hoping to catch these guys, but I don't think it's going to happen. And Mick's kind of just driving his own race. Mick's having a good time. Pass with an overtake. Mags, an overtake show. What's the odds on him getting overtaken back in a second chat? I'm waiting for it. You know what, Kevin? Actually, I can't, I can't up his tyres because he might not make it to the end of his tyres. Life okay. What's your woes, tyres? Goes on fresh and mediums. He just, just lost the position. They're going to be going back and forth for a while. Uh, let's go. How are you finding the game, mate? It is so good, Owen. It's so, so good. Did Ferrari just play Pines? Pines. <laughs> Pines. Signs chat. Was that a lock up on the track? Are we catching Gasly at all? Did no. We don't need it in coast. Although Alonso might Have be struggling. Surely, I don't think he is. I'm, I'm trying to talk it into existence. He's not struggling. I need a, the equivalent of a water bottle to throw is what I need right now. Wait, K-Mag's in the... Chat, K-Mag's in the... What happened? Who pitted? Did I miss some people pitting? I'm so confused. Chat, how is he in 10th? Who pitted? Ocon and Norris. I did not realise Ocon... Wait... K-Mag, you're racing for position, mate. There could be a point. I didn't realise that they still needed to pit. Was I just being an idiot? I was just being an idiot. Alpha Four Romeo seconds behind as well. Chat, this could be 12 seconds of... 12... 12, uh... Yeah, 12 laps of this. Mick's in 14th. Great race for Mick. Love... M Never doubted Mick. They've locked up and gone... On. Ocon's just gone wide. I actually know he's locked up. Try to do some lifting coast and then focus on Apex. We could be getting points, Probably. chat. We could be getting points. This could go on for a while, though. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Harvest energy here. We're going to spend a lap or two just behind, not using the RS, but we'll push. Charge just off. to charge the battery up. And then we're going to save it whilst... Driving in neutral to the end. I'm concerned about the tyre life. It's all about K-Mag v K mag just did it whilst in save. Okay, he's got a full Is battery. A new race position for Haas? Chat, it could happen. It could happen. Oh, 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 what? How did he just go? Was he bust? Is he just, he's just broken. What happened? To, did K-Mag just make a mistake there? Right, deploy. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Mode push. We've just lost it. I don't understand. I think K-Mag made a mistake, chat. Mick, are you having fun? Mick's getting caught up by Sonoda, I've noticed. 
Right, K-Mag, mate. We've got 10 laps left to save this. Latif... Wait, chat. Latifi. La you never know what's going to happen when Nicholas Latifi's involved. Nicholas... Get out of the way! Stay in the way. Right, now don't block K-Mag. Chat. God bless Nicholas Latifi. I love you, Nicholas. He's d We're back in range. We are back in range. Go Tifi. Sign in for Haas. We might have to get him in after that. I can't believe that that actually just happened. I, I, I believed. I wanted to believe it could happen. Do him! Come on! We're going to get done. It's going to go like this back and forth for laps. It is all going to come down to the last lap because they've been racing wheel to wheel all, all session. This is for a point. We have a channel predict point prediction on the, if we get points. This is important to the people. Mix still in 14. Mix about to go. Overtaken by Perez. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. We all knew it was going to happen. We all knew it was pissing going to happen. It's all going to come down to the last lap. The way that they're... I mean, Looks the risk like is that Lando Norris could get in the way. For Alfa Romeo. That does scare me. Chat. We could get a point. But it's all going to come down to the last few laps of managing the battery. For Alfa Romeo. You know earlier when we charged the battery, that was for this, this, this battle here. McLaren, don't think Lando position. can c c catch us. Oh, they're just going back and forth. Mix lost ground there. Mi uh, not Mix, sorry. K-Mag, he's out of DRS so range. Currently P16. Kev! Kev! What are you doing? That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. It's a bloody, it's a bloody disaster. Oh, Sonoda's overtaken Mick. Mick, Mick, I'll be honest, chat. The, uh, the one stop has not worked for Mick Schumacher. Well, for, uh, look, Mick, you've driven well. Don't care how you finish now. Back off. We could just retire to save his engine. Chat, would it, would it be cruel just to tell him to retire? We could just save the engine. Save the car, Mick. Save the car. Round of applause for Mick. He did his job. He is the reason K-Mag is fighting for points. We need a retirement. We've not had a retirement. I don't know how much... I actually want to see if he retires from the session, how that impacts the experience he gets. Stop the car, Mick. Stop the car. I, I kind of want to just see what happens here in terms of what experience he gets. We're experimenting. Chat, we are harsh. We might not have fuel for the next race unless we tell him to stop. This is the battle. This is the one that's going to matter. Mick is not a toy. Like, I'm going to mess around with him. Pass with an overtake. Oh, K Mag, please. K Mag, please. How's the tyre situation? It's fine. Everything's fine. Alpha Romeo just moved up a place. It's literally going to go back and forth. We're going to have to micromanage the last two laps. In fact, I'm going to do it from now, chat. I'm going to I'm going to teach you some valid lessons here. Right, we are going to harvest the battery this lap. Charge on. Go for that. We're not lapped yet, are we? No. Is there a risk we get lapped? No. This is all okay. I feel bad for Mick. I feel bad for Mick, but all the eggs are now in the Magnuson basket. Mick needs to get HR involved. He'll be fine. He'll get over it. You're not trying to defend the second DRS zone. You can put them into defend mode here, but I actually don't think it's that. I think you're better chasing with how the game plays at the moment. Basically, we're, just, we're, we're, we're letting the Alpha Romeo pull us along here whilst charging the battery. Once the battery's full, we basically have two laps 
where we can toggle on deploy whenever we want and try and manually get the overtake to happen. Because with, with the DRS, we're just going to stay in range. My biggest concern, actually, is the tie attempts, because running behind for so long is meaning that we've not really conserved the tires like we did for the first stint at the end when we ran cleaner. You can kind of see how we hovered above the kind of line and we're able to eke out an extra lap. That's not happened here. What's the difference between deploy and overtake? Overtake relies on the AI to do the overtaking whenever you want. My understanding is deploy is basically saying use the battery now. So with overtake, it's like situational. Like the driver will use his own common sense, whereas deploy is like just use the be radioing and go and use the battery. That is how I understand it. Joe's tyre wear is better than ours. We're going to neutral now. Charge off. Yeah, I can't really afford to because he's going to push his tyres at the end. Alonso and Gasly are actually running this very thin on the 30%, by the way. Right, they're 12 seconds up the road, so they're probably going to be fine, but... This is going to be a bit weird to end. This is going to come down to lap 56 is when we go with the deploy. The thing is, our car just isn't as quick. Tires can blow out. So lap 56 has started for everyone else, but this is still lap 55 for us. This ne the next lap chat is the biggie. What's the tyre wear on these other guys? See, they're, they're now in a bad spot. Okay, chat. This is where we now start to use the battery more. This is our penultimate lap we're about to start. Copy that. Has he let us by there? I think it's a trap. I think it. I think it's a trap. Keep it up. No, no, no! Don't celebrate it. He's trying to trick us. He's got fifty percent wear on these tires. He's going to do us in DRS on this straight. I could. He's going for it. Don't you dare! Bloody hell! This is. This is stress. If we get points with Haas first race, the Mick sacrifice. You know how Mick had did, held up that train. That has enabled this. I don't mind if Shuo goes ahead of us here. But I've been saving the deploy for this straight and then the next couple. Load push. Got it. Question is, is it going to be enough to defend against the DRS? No, that, that car is just quicker. So we're going to go to Harvest so we're not using any battery. Oh, there's a back marker. It's in a, is that Albon? Load push. Copy. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. All right, go, go, go. This is for all the marbles, chat. Channel points are on the line for if we get this space. Oh, he's run us wide. Right, chat, there's one more lap. There is one more lap. I don't know if I can push the tyres. So overtake is available if you need it. Cover that. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. He thought about it. He thought about it. That's Leclerc. Show Leclerc is today. Getting overtake. Full on. We're going for it, chat. Kev, if you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Come on, Kev! 
Come on, Kev! Come on, let's close the gap to the cars ahead. Come on, Kev, Stop close there. the gap! He's gonna have DRS here. He's gonna have DRS for this straight. Kev, do it for the believers. Kev, what are you doing? Deploy. Go on, Kevin! Push. Cover that. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. Is he clear? He's clear, but we've still got to defend the next two bits. Deploy, Kev, deploy. Mode push. I'm stressed Go as hell. Push. We're on board with Joe. I think we're going to piss into it. I have to. Ma These tires could are in a danger zone, though. I think we've bloody done it. I think we've bloody done it. Race one. And Kevin Magnussen is going to get points for Haas on the last lap. Come on. Let's go. It's a huge dub. What happened to Schumacher? We retired him. He did his job. I want to see how retirement impacts player, uh, player development, driver development, because I've not tested it yet. Biblical. What a race. Kevin Magnus Mick enabled that, good. though. A great Mick, in that middle run where he did the one-stop and helped made that train, that gave us that opportunity. Lovely trees, by the way. Great trees. There, having a very successful get the data. The get That's the buddy. I want to get. Where can I get them? Like one of those outfits. And it's brilliant to see them pay off. After the race, they sit in seventh place in the construction. Oh, standard. that was very stressful, Please wasn't it? That went down to the last. Was it the last lap or the penultimate race. lap? He got the overtake done. Bloody hell! That was that was unnecessarily stressful, wasn't it? Half a second ahead. That was that was unreal. Oh my word. We take that all day every day, chat. We've got points. Have that McLaren. So I'm curious now, what experience does Mick get from retiring? Oh, okay, he still does get the points. Interesting. So oh okay, so you can see it's a performance disappointing was Mick Schumacher's performance. Oh, okay, so he completed 88 out of 100. He gets 88 out of 100 possible points. So it basically it takes a proportion of whatever wasn't finished. So if it was a 100 lap race and you retired 12 laps from the end, you don't get 12%. Put it back. That makes sense. Oh, look at that. 10 successful overtakes. Oh, wait, no. Is that right? 10 successful. Why does it say. Oh, you get 10 points for a successful overtake, and he did that seven times. 14 successful defense, 11 failed defense. What did K-Mag do? 27 successful overtakes. That's just because he was racing back and forth. It's just because they were overtaking each other. He also failed 27 overtakes, but we don't talk about that. So these points, chat, you basically, your drivers level up. It's a bit RPG compared to, say, Football Manager. It's more like a role-playing game where when you level up, you basically get development points and then you can choose what they go into by just choosing whatever area. And based on a, pl uh, a player, I'm going to keep saying player instead of driver because of football manager, but based on a driver's growth potential as well as your facilities for the race simulator, it impacts what kind of gain the drivers get from races. Uh, do we have the console edition will have the same features? It has the exact same features. In fact, I've got a controller plugged in here, chat. So the game has controller support for PC. So if you're like, hey, what? how do the buttons work and stuff for um, kind of console? I can literally show you. Like, it, it works works fine. Like, you can flick through stuff. It, it, in a weird way, it almost feels like it's designed for controller in terms of how stuff's laid out. But you don't really feel it. Um, what was that scout report that came through? It was for someone who I've not even heard of. Isaac Hadjar. Play, drives in um, F3. Have a look at his profile. Is he, is he good? We're apparently... Wait, so did we scout him or not? I'm so confused. It's like we need to scout him, but I'm like, you just recommended him. 
Oh, you have the option to choose to scout him because apparently he's shown potential. I see. So it recommends people for you to scout. Will a mouse work for console? That's a good question. I genuinely don't know. Uh, good morning, work the. Yeah, work the is my first name. I've updated the circuit's data based on the Bahrain Grand Prix. Da, 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 da. Defending is a... No, we also noticed that defending performance of Mick Schumacher could be improved. You're telling me he was bloody useful at defending, wasn't he, last race? Oh, there's no keyboard and mouse support for con uh, console. There you have it. That's a shame, really, isn't it? But I, I guess it's just a more complicated thing to do. And I, I can't imagine there's that many people that actually play their console with a keyboard and mouse. Oh, chat, we've got Jeddah up next, which was a mad race for me previously. Also, I think when you play the game, you'll see this for yourself. But when you play the, the game, you are given some parts just for free. It's like, hey, we, we plan these upgrades beforehand. I think you actually have to manufacture them still. So I, I've probably done goofed by hitting continue. I think it's always suspension. Yes, yeah, so you can see here. So when you design a part, which we did before the last race... You then have the option to then actually build the part. I usually like to have three of any part. Oh, sorry, four of any part. So if you have a crash, you have them to swap out on the cars. Because sometimes they take a little while to make. But what that does mean is that for this race, we can give one of the cars better suspension. I think K-Mag's earned it. I think, I think K-Mag has earned it. Wait, did we... Actually, maybe we haven't dis manufactured one. I thought it said we manufactured one, but did I misread that? Oh, no, we do have one. Install on... No, 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 not car one. It's car two. Should we just not give Mick a suspension? Maybe we just don't give Mick a... Just get rid of the suspension out of his car. He doesn't need it. The poor poison isn't an issue. How to play the game now? So I got given a press copy of the game. So I've had the game for a, just shy of a week. I had a chance to play it. It's been good fun, though, so far. But the game is out tomorrow if you pre-order from participating retailers. I think CD keys, for example, I think they confirmed that there wouldn't be early access because the actual release date is officially the 30th. Just need an extra wide rear wing for Mick. True. I'll tell you what, chat. That result there was absolutely mad. That was such a good end for us. To get a point first race is really decent. Uh, does Steam Store give early access? Yeah, I'm 99.9% .9 sure Steam gives you early access. But I'm not sure on the retailers or not. Oh, does your purchase on CD keys key say tomorrow? I don't know then. I, I saw on Reddit some people talking about it, but I could be mistaken. So I might be wrong. Sorry, sorry if I've caused panic amongst the CD key users. I'd like to apologize. There's lots of people in the chat now going, I bought it on CD keys. Look, I'm sorry. But CD keys, please don't come murder me. I'm not spreading fake news. I'm going to go into hiding now. They're going to send people for me. Oh, my word. Right, chat. I'm going to quickly nip to the toilet. Then we're going to get into Jeddah, which is a very quick circuit, which concerns me because our car is not straight in a... Uh, stra our car is not straight. No, our car is not quick in a straight line. Look at that. Right. Anyway, I'll be right back. I think this button here goes to the BRB scene. If it doesn't, this is going to be very, very awkward right now. We'll find out together. It does work. Chat, say hello to yourself on screen. I will be back in literally five minutes. I'll put some music on whilst I'm gone. L look at, be nice and look after each other. We'll get a prediction going for the next race and quali. So don't go anywhere. The vibes of this song are far too good for me to interrupt, aren't they, chat? They're far too good. Why am I back? All right, let's mute up the music. Fa thank you. I feel kind of sorcery all of a sudden. Sorcery. Is that the right word? That's not the right word. What am I trying to say? Hello, everyone. I thought there was going to be a transition there, but I'm just back. Oh, right. I went and got a drink and stretched my legs, which is ironic because I then realized as I walked away that I was already stood up because we've got the stand-up desk. But we're going to do Jeddah next, which is a tr fast track. We don't have a fast car. And we're particularly bad in high-speed cornering. So this is probably going to be a pretty painful weekend. But we'll grit our teeth and try and fluke some points, I guess. I mean, how hard can it be? It's got it's got to be possible, right? Brawny, dude, thank you so much for subbing with the Prime. 
Also, Sam Bradley, did you sub earlier and I missed it during the race? If that did happen, I'm very, very sorry, dude. It was a bit, a bit of a mad, bad race, that last one. I can't promise you last lap overtakes like this, uh, like that all the time chat. Although, did people see the, um, the video I put on Twitter from my last lap when I was managing Mercedes? Because that, I, I, I can show it on stream. I feel like this is worth, worthy of showing. It, it was that good. Give me a second. I've got, I've got to actually get it up. Although it's, uh, the issue is, it's a Twitter video. Does it, does, okay, serious question. Twitter videos, do they actually run well for anyone? Have you ever been able to watch a Twitter video in HD? Because I'm convinced that Twitter just deliberately throttles their videos in a way where you can just never watch them in 3D. Uh, 3D, HD. Did I say 3D all the time now? I'm going crazy. Send help. Well, we'll watch it, whatever quality this is. So a bit of context here. Now, I think in the tweet I said that um, Perez was on soft. I actually think he was on newer hards. I thought about it more afterwards. But because it's a bit weird, the Red Bull has like a red inner ring on its um, kind of wheels that makes it look like they're running softs even when they're not. But this was absolutely mad. So this is last lap of Jeddah. Um, Leclerc's just starting his last lap. We're halfway through the penultimate lap. So I was having to do what I just did with um, Kevin Magnussen, where I'm basically managing the battery usage like crazy. Now, I am also trying to secure Russell a, a place ahead of Ocon, which I might not succeed in. But the big thing here is basically Hamilton's in P3, um, and we're racing against Perez, who in the Red Bull is way, way quicker than us. Like, crazily quicker than us. And you'll see here, so I'm, I'm doing the thing that I was doing before where I, like, set the battery to deploy, set it to neutral. I'm trying everything I can. I feel like you have moments like this, especially in this race where I'm juggling two drivers. I feel like... I feel like what it must feel like to be a, um... What you call it? Like an air flight controller? You know, an air traffic controller. Where you're like juggling a million things. Like, th this is how I assume they must feel. You can see here, so I'm I dropped behind Perez in the first sector, but I've saved like just a little bit of battery and just enough fuel. I can't promise that this will happen with us trying to get third with Haas in this next race. So I go into Harvest to save, then I go into Deploy going into this sector too, because it's so much quicker. I've not had a red flag yet. I've actually had a lack of safety cars. We didn't have one in that last race either. I didn't have one in my YouTube Let's Play at Bahrain. Which I'm a little bit puzzled by. I had a, to be fair, I had a lot of VSCs and safety cars when I've raced at Baku. So I don't know if it's just certain tracks. But yeah, this is last turn. Hamilton. Ba uh, batteries are going to be dead here. I'm putting the tires on attack. I'm getting desperate. I'm getting desperate at this point. Also, we... I just realized we've got subtitles on that Twitter's automatically generating. So this is last turn. It's a race to the line. I've put him on deploy. You can see the battery hits 0%. The tires hit 30, which is like the cliff face of performance. And we beat Perez on the last lap by 38 thousandths of a second. And then and then I fail with Russell. R Russell loses to Ocon, so... We don't talk about that bit. But lovely just hearing Lewis talk with, with his engineer and they're just all having a great time. Um, yeah, probably won't happen again. But to to get kind of points like that and a podium by 38 thousandths was mad. Okay. Shall we get into this? You really wanted to get, see Get In There, Lewis. I don't know if I heard Get In There, Lewis, as I was going. I'm now trying to think. It must be in there. It couldn't be realistic well, without it, could it? Welcome to one of the fastest circuits on the calendar here at Jeddah. Who are the teams I rave for? I talked about this before. I've Saudi never been Arabia one who watches F1 for teams. Is that weird? Is I've always gravitated way more towards drivers because I find it difficult to connect with teams when often well they're the changing drivers every of kind of few seasons. Like for me personally, I just prefer following careers of drivers. So for me, it's like Danny Rick is like the big one for me. Danny Rick, someone who I've always really just, in, I've just enjoyed the energy he brings to the grid. I got a bit annoyed actually when he said some stuff in an interview about 
uh, human rights and stuff. I think it was during the Saudi Grand Prix last year, which kind of annoyed me a little bit. It, it came across as a bit, not, maybe naive not the wrong right word, like ignorant, like deliberately so. But besides that, like, yeah, Danny Rick for me and, and Alonso, they're the, like, the two drivers I definitely have soft spots for. Okay, so I'm not going to take practice. I, I don't want to break the hearts of people. We did practice last time. I'm just going to say it. It's very tedious. I think the setups make a very, very minimal difference. And to be honest, if I did it myself, I'd probably just do worse than the AI does. So what am I drinking? I'm drinking lemon squash. Is that weird? Lemon squash? Maybe it's a little bit. Okay, what's the set of familiarity going to be? I'm expecting like 70 Hello, or 65 to 75. Race weekend unfolds. Free practice has concluded. We're not quick. We are not quick. Drivers will have to nice cup. Yeah, I stole it from stole it stole it from the local pub. So, cheers. I don't really like Guinness. Is that controversial? Chat, we're very far down here. I mean, that suspension that we've given Kevin's car is it's doing great. It's good stuff. Chat, we did pay out the prediction, didn't we? Did we pay out the prediction? I hope that we did. I think I think I did. Uh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? So, I've never seen the setup confidence that low. I've never seen the setup confidence that low. We're not having a good weekend. To be fair, if there's a track to have bad setup confidence, it's probably a track where we know we're going to be slow anyway. I think we're going to be getting through this race a little quicker than the last one. Oh, I didn't pay out the prediction, did I, chat? Let's pay out the prediction. Choose outcome. Will we score points? Yes. Yes, we will. Also, my, my headset's just done the BP BP for low battery, so I'm going to have to change the battery in a second. But before we do that, chat question. Will we get... You know what? Let's, do, let's change it up a little bit. Will Mick... Get into Q2. He didn't manage that last time, did he? Will Mick get into Q2? Yes, no. If you don't know, repeat. I, I'm not repeating the question. I'm not doing it. I'm going to change the battery in my headset real quick. So get, get your predictions in and you've got a minute to do it. These batteries are so awkward to change in this headset. You have to pull off a panel and then take out the battery here. Do, do, do the tutorial. Then we've got the battery. I'm going to go swap it with the one that's charging in the dock. Behind the scenes in Work the Space HQ. Chat, the worst thing is, I'm sat here thinking it's late tonight, but I know a load of you guys are watching. It's so cool to have so many people here tonight. And I kind of am just enjoying playing this too much. I think I've got another race in to me after that one. You actually didn't score points, you scored a point. It's a point is a turn. In F1, if you score points, it's just a case of you score, you finish in the points. That is the expression. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I appreciate if you don't follow F1, you might not know that. We're getting over the nitty gritty. Does it come out at midnight? It doesn't, I'm afraid. It comes out at 3 p.m. UK time tomorrow, I believe. This is my favorite battery replacement tutorial channel. You're damn right. You're damn right. Right, let's get into quality chat. Ready to check, Kevin. I am not confident about this at all. Good. Um, I could do something naughty, chat, but I don't even get. All, it's a quite a long track, though. We're not going to do well, right? No, actually, it's not going to work because the session's too long. I was going to try and send out my drivers, like with five minutes left, so they set their laps, and then when they're on the in laps, everyone else is on their flying laps, and they block everyone. But that's that's not gonna work because we're not we're, we're not quick enough. So they'll all just have set faster times in the first bit. To be fair, we could try it. Jack, what are the bottom three teams? Uh, in terms of actual performance, I think it's Has Williams and Aston Martin. Oh, 
I mean, we got points race one, so I'm pr I'm pretty happy about that, to be honest, chat. That was that was better than what I was expecting for our first race. Although maybe maybe the bar was just very low. I should probably also tweet out about the fact I'm still live, shouldn't I? I has not better than Alpha Tauri. I don't think so. I think Alpha Tauri's overall performance is better. Hey, Rolo LFC, dude, thank you for the six months. Let's go, Jack. One more race after this one. You're damn right. You're damn right. I really hope we don't come out in traffic here. You've seen the traffic situation already. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Chat, panic over. Nothing worse than seeing an AI car leaving the pit lane. It will absolutely shaft your race. Pretty sure it should have sent them out closer together so they could back each other up. Who are we racing against? Well, last race we got points. I think realistically this weekend... It's tricky, right? Because it kind of varies track to track. Our speed is just very bad in a straight line. Our, we, our biggest weakness is high speed corners and this track has some of the highest speed corners. It's a very long, windy track here. Yeah, if you've never seen Jeddah before, this is the track. It is very fast and it's, our car's not good. Is there multiplayer? There is not multiplayer, sadly. I'd love that down the line, though. It'd be such a sick addition, especially if there was a way where you could start where like all the teams are equalised. I imagine if you had like a 10-player game with your mates. The issue is it would take quite long. Like, How would you dictate how quick everything goes? Or do you just have it play at times two for the entire the entire race. RIP, why does it say this game's coming out on the 30th? If you pre-order it, you get early access. Okay. We set times. We're two, almost two seconds behind signs. That's not very pog. Although Mick hasn't got that suspension upgrade. End the session. Yeah, I think Alpha Tauri might be who we're racing this weekend, to be honest. Uh, do I want to use another set of softs? We're probably not going to make it out of this session. We might as well. It's not like we're going to have to plan like we did last time for uh, Q3. Hey, Fisho TX81. Uh, how long have you been streaming for? We've been live for three hours. Blimey. Time flies when you're having fun. We've only done one race in that time. I will say that much, although we did do a practice session, which we're not doing this time around. But yeah, we've been live. We've only done one race. We're managing has. We're not the best team in the world, but we got a point in our first race, which I will certainly take. Now, we actually got it for a bit of management, which is kind of nice. I feel like it. one of the, really, one of the things I really like about this game versus, say, Football Manager is... You know when you fucked up and when you made a mistake and you know when you've done something really well. Like, if you have a big tactical blunt... If, like if you change something in Football Manager and then score or concede, it's hard to sometimes know, hey, my change did that. Whereas in this game, it's so much more obvious when you do something that's good or you do something that's bad. Let's get out early. There's a risk of y yellows, I feel like, at this track. Although, are we just going to be stuck here waiting for everyone else to go? Yes. Everyone else is just driving out the pit lane. We're going to be last out here at this rate. Are we actually going to be last out? Is this what's... Is this our life now? Is this... Our t I hate absolutely everything. If we don't get across the finish line because we had to wait, I'm, I'm, I might cry. Yeah, our first runs are actually good. I'm surprised. Although it looks like... Based on these times and the fact... Like, Danny Rick's so bad. I think there must have been a lot of traffic that backed each other out, uh, backed each other up. Might not be a bad thing being last out. I mean, that's true, Morksol, but in my YouTube video today, minor spoilers. If you, if you haven't seen it, we're managing Alpine on the YouTube channel. But there was a yellow flag during the last set of flying laps, and as a result, we didn't get out of a certain qualifying session because of it. So I'd kind of, ra like, ideally avoid that. I mean, green se sectors early, though, is good. Did Albon not make the line, or did he just... Oh, no, he went earliest. Okay, this is this is big for us. So, I mix, mix the man to follow here. 
but he's gone green in his first sectors. The, the issue here is some of these times have been set by cars being blocked. Like you can see here, Danny Rick shot up. Although Danny Rick and Norris, both behind k -Max. there is speed in this car. Of course, Mick hasn't got the same suspension upgrade, though. And k Max threw a, through to the next sector uh, session. But this is the prediction, isn't it? Will Mick make it through was the prediction, chat. Will he make it through? Could he make it through? Joe could be the man to put him out. Mick is out unless he could say a faster time. And he does. He beats Danny Rick by 50 thousandths of a second to make it out of the session. He will be in Q2. He's done it for the believers. Spurite, are you able to pay that out? Biblical. We're going to struggle in the next session. Wow. He keep, we keep scraping through sessions by thousands of a second, and I'm totally fine with it. Although it's a bit depressing, isn't it, knowing that it's the Aston Martin and Williams, like, directly behind us that are causing us issues. Like, we, we probably, on balance, have... The third or fourth slowest car. We're probably going to be racing McLaren. Oh, that was mad. Seku la la la. I hope I said the right number of la's. Mate, thank you so much for subbing the Prime Gaming. Yeah, if you're first time here, firstly, welcome aboard. I am going to be streaming this again tomorrow. I am, well, usually a football manager streamer, but I am a massive F1 fan. I've been waiting for this game for years. And in case you can't tell, I quite enjoy it. <laughs> uh, there are not sprint races in the game, Simon. Chat, do we do a prediction on will we get a driver into Q3? I don't think we can do it. I, I do not think it's possible. But we could we could try. We could do a... Spur right, could you set up a prediction on will we get anyone to Q3? Anyone. Even Mick or Kevin. It feels very unlikely. I mean, what was it? Like three and a half temps off Gasly there? Two tenths off, I guess, Alonso is possible. Oh, wait, no, that's practice. Ignore. Ignore. Oh, it was only two temps off, actually. Why does that default to practice when you go on results? When you're in a, quali when you're in a quali session? That makes no sense. Uh, Fisho, TX81, mate. Thank you for some of the tier one. I appreciate the support massively. Jack, can you keep us updated on the Mercedes save? You keep doing it. Yeah, sure. I don't know how much time I'll have to play it alongside the uh, Alpine save and all the YouTube stuff we've got going on with FM. It's kind of a bummer you can't create a team. Yeah, I, I get that. I feel like they've got to... It sounds weird to say, right? But they kind of have to save stuff for future editions of the game. If they produce the perfect management game year one, we'd all sit complaining every year saying they've only reskinned it. Like, I'd rather they... Rather than being overambitious and trying to do too much and we wait years for it, I kind of rather get a game like this, which undoubtedly is like a really good foundation for like the next few years. Right, chat, prediction is live. Will we get a driver into Q, uh, Q3? Q3. While we do that, I'm going to just tweet out about the fact we're still live. I will also say, of course, if you are enjoying the stream, make sure to be following. Also, maybe follow me on Twitch. Um, it is at work the space. And uh, very imaginative. There is a link below the stream as well. Um, I tweet about the Formula One a lot. I will be tweeting this weekend a lot. I will be tweeting when I'm live in future of F1 Manager as well as when F1 Manager YouTube videos are going up. Uh, let me tweet out chat. Is, why is it one of the hardest things in the world to talk and type at the same time? Can anyone else relate to this? Like, it's like when someone asks you a question, you're able to listen to it, but you're writing something. You're like, wait a sec, I'll answer in a second. You would think I'd have acquired that skill at some point. Uh, totally Kravitz, mate. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Okay, late night F1 manager. Come hang with the Haas gang. I think that's a catchy name for the stream. Or for, for, the, for, the, for convincing people to join. I'll just include a screenshot of the game as well. Because apparently images, images help with engagement or something. I don't know. People like pictures, don't they? Visual learners and all that. Oh, is it because both functions use the exact same part of the brain? Ah, so I just need to get a bigger brain is what you're saying. Uh, okay. Okay, are we ready for this? 
I think I think we're ready for this. Right. We're going to go into the next session. We've got a prediction live. I think do we, So do we get new softs now? Do we get an extra set of softs every quality session we get through? Um, we don't. It's only if you get through to the last session, right? So in that case, we're going to use the lesser used softs for initial laps. 88, 90. We'll go with those. We'll save ourselves for a big one at the end. Yeah, it's Q3 where we hit the extra softs. That's where, that's where I was getting my wires crossed. Ah, oh. I'm not really seeing anyone managing Haas. Has anyone else seen anyone managing Haas? Also, I keep switching between Haas and Haas, and I don't know why. I wish there was a reason. I just, I'm just an idiot. Radio is good. All right, first session, old softs. Oh, not first session. First run off the session, old softs. This is going to be a quick. Let's get through this. Let's hope that we don't hit traffic. Is the big worry, to be honest. Okay. Oh, is Jimmy Broadbent doing has? Oh, that's cool. It's really interesting seeing... Obviously, I... Well, it's weird, right? I wonder if people from the other side of things see it this way. Obviously, I don't come from the F1 background. I come from the I like sports management game background. But I am a massive F1 fan as well. And so it's kind of weird. It's like worlds colliding. Like, I will watch a lot of Jimmy's videos because I enjoy racing. Obviously, people probably... Oh, don't block us. Please get out the way. 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 Thank you. I hate the fact the blocking is so awkward at times here. Is K-Mag going to get through okay? There's a chicane coming up, but I think we'll be okay. Please get by. Please get by. Please do not block it. Thank you. Okay, we're fine, chat. That is the most panic-inducing thing. There is still Gasly up the road, but I think we're okay. We'll stay on board to see the lap times that we get. Uh, you can't con create your own team, unfortunately, Gamer Mutation. What team do I support in F1? People have asked me this all night. I don't really support an F1 team. Like, I've followed the sport for 20-plus years. And for me personally, I've never been one to gravitate towards drivers. I've always gravitated more towards individual. Uh, sorry, never gravitated more to towards teams. I've always gravitated towards drivers. Did Lando get blocked somewhere? Lando must have got shafted by the Alpha Tauri to be two seconds down on us. I know that the McLaren is slow at the moment, but they are not that slow. I mean, if a few other people want to get held up by traffic, that would be good for us. In fact, look, you can see here, Sonoda coming through. He got blocked. Ocon's now getting blocked here. Okay, there is lots of blocking going on. Is, is, is Verstappen about to get blocked? I think he just cleared it. I don't think I was quick enough there. We might be a beneficiary here looking at these times, chat. We might we might benefit from the traffic. Although the issue is, is that there is a lot less traffic at the end of the session because everyone sets themselves out at the same time. So everyone's on a flying lap at the same time. Can you see here how Russell's trying to get through? Like Russell will probably set... A pretty bad time. It's same with Hamilton, actually. Hamilton's about to have the same problem. Yeah! Oh, my word. Weezers, thank you for gifting out two subs to the community. That is incredibly generous of you. Right, block him. This is the opposite of our previous situation. Block him. Ruin his lap. <laughs> Round of applause. Round of applause. What drivers do I enjoy watching? I loved... Well, until recently, I loved watching Danny Rick. It's been a bit downhill lately, hasn't it, as a Danny Rick fan? And also Alonso. I think that's worked in our favour. How's... Is Leclerc going to have any traffic? Leclerc's out on his lonesome. He's fine. And Perez is behind Leclerc. They're, they're not going to have any issues with the traffic. Right. Where is ha Hamilton going to come out? Behind Mick. Mick is quicker than Sir Lewis Hamilton. Fact. Fact can't be argued with it's the truth the data says so right we're now going to go on to the new softs chat there's no way we make it out of this session is there we're going to need a we're going to need someone to bin it probably and get get yellow flags out that affect everyone i think that is our best bet this is a reminder our drivers do not have setup confidence right now Uh, where are we? Cool down laps. 
It's weird chat. I like to get through the sessions quickly, but I also like chatting with you guys. And if I chat with you guys, I leave it running quickly and then I forget. Right, I'm going to send drivers out at 2.40. I've left it too late. We're going to get blocked in again. I think. Actually, no, we're okay. We're okay. Uh, oh, wait, no, we are the last out again. It's a bit annoying, isn't it, being has being the, the furthest down the pit lane. We always have to wait for everyone. Maybe I should just send the drivers out sooner. Well, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? What's the rate of crashes in safety cars? I definitely feel like there's a lack of safety cars. Like, it doesn't impact my enjoyment of the game, but I think it's the kind of thing where they'll need to tweak the numbers on it. I've seen a lot... The thing is, I had a Baku race recently where I had four VSCs. So I have had races where there's loads of safety cars, but I don't know if it's just certain tracks that get them more likely or what. I will also say, when you get a good crash, the crashes are really good. Yoski, you're not Derby are not battering Liverpool. I'm not having that. I'm not having that in the chat. <laughs> Caffeine FC, mate. Thank you for the 11 months. Right, chat. Big moments here. We have got across the line. Good news, everyone. We are going to set lap times. The question is, are we going to be able to set faster times? Is everyone else around us is going to go faster? There was lots of traffic during the initial runnings. Really? We want a yellow flag. We want someone to crash right now. Can we, like, throw a spike strip onto the track or something? Is that a legal strategy? Probably not. Hey, Luke. Good on you carrying your mate home from the pub. You're a good mate. Uh, I'm doing very good, thank you, dude. Can we have a crash, please? Not a bad crash. You know, I don't want any injuries or anything. I just want one that's going to benefit us. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. I do not believe it. You cannot make it up. Why do I play this game for fun? Why do I play this game for fun? What is that? I can't believe the time. How does that happen? Clip it. Clip that. Get it on the F1 manager Reddit. Oh my God. We know might not be able to repair him even if we do make it through. You okay, Kevin? Kevin, are you yeah, okay? Yeah. Cool. We could just let him finish his lap for pride, but we're not gonna. We will call him in. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. You're not gonna finish that lap. I know you were very desperate to finish it. Has he got damage on the car? Is there damage? He's missing half his front wing. Yeah, they're, they're, I can confirm there is damage. Mick's, Mick's still on a lap. Mick. The good news is Kevin was at the back of the pile, so he didn't get the yellows out for Mick. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Right, Mick, you've got to go faster for the people. He's not gone faster. He's in 15th. <laughs> I can't believe what I've just witnessed, chat. I can't believe what I've just witnessed there. Can you, is that the greatest thing you've ever seen? I think the game's listening. <laughs> I can't but <laughs> That might be the best clip you see of F1 Manager. Like, ever. I, don't, I Genuinely, I don't think I can do more entertainment than that. That will never happen again in the history of me playing this game. I will play hundreds of hours of this game, if not thousands. Talking about how I need a crash out the grid. And then not one time will my driver crash within five seconds. <laughs> Oh, dear. That is so funny. Oh, dear. I don't even know. It's race day with the teams and drivers ready I kind of want to tweet that out now, chat. Should we tweet that out now? I feel like that's the kind of clip that can go viral. And as an influencer, it's probably my job to put it out there. FIFA Apollo, mate, thank you so much for the three months. I am loving this game, except what just happened there. Good result here today. Tonight is a cloudy one, and there's a good chance of rain. The teams will have to be flexible with their strategy. God, I can't believe what happened. Well, the streets of Jeddah are a buzz. I can't believe what just happened. It might be the greatest thing ever. Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Is that the greatest thing ever? Is it the greatest thing ever, or is it the worst thing ever? 
Oh, let's get the tweet sent. Chat, do we want to watch the clip? I want to watch the clip back. We'll watch it back together. We could have two of my face in at once. What could go wrong? Double me. <laughs> Can we have a crash, please? Not a bad crash. You know, I don't want any injuries or anything. I just want one that's going to benefit us. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. I do not believe it. You cannot make it up. Why do I play this game for fun? Why do I play this game for fun? What is that? I can't believe it. Can we have a crash, please? Not a it's so crash. good. You know, I don't want any injuries right now. It's so good. Us. I don't believe it. I do That's literally the first crash we've had involving our drivers, and it's happened there. Can you believe it? That is unbelievable. Chat, I do need to just tweet that now. That might have to go on the Clips channel as well. Um, what do we title the tweet here? This is the best F1 manager man clip that will ever happen. I don't... Chat, I need a witty title. You guys are smarter than me. Yeah! I'm outsourcing it. D879 more. Dude, thank you for gifting two subs out to the community. That is incredibly generous of you. I can't chat. That is... A, it's one of the funniest things ever. But I can't believe it's happened to me. Ask and you shall receive. Hmm... Crash gate gone wrong. Taking the Mick. It would be better. If Mick had crashed, we could have gone with that. I like that, CJ Grace. I can't believe that has just happened. I'm going to change it slightly. I can't believe that has just happened. Hashtag F1 manager. We'll put, get, that, get that hashtag in there, right? Hashtag. What other, clip, what other hashtags you put in there, chat? Hashtag F1 Manager 22? Do people tweet with 22 of them? I don't know. I can't believe that has just happened. Hashtag F1. Hashtag F1. Hashtag fail. The thing is, if you put in too many hashtags, it's a problem, isn't it? Is the issue. You know, there's, there's an art to social, social media. Chat. I'm going to link the tweet in chat in a second once it finishes uploading the video. And then we're, we're going to send it out to the masses. Of course, while you're on Twitch, you should totally, totally follow me for, for more fantastic content. And by fantastic, I mean it's just me getting angry at video games a lot of the time. Oh, right. While that, finish, while that tweets, because for some reason it's taken a while. It's almost as if I'm streaming, so it struggles to upload the video at the same time. Chat, here is the clip. There it, there it is. Get it out. Get it tweeted out. That should be the first viral F1 manager Twitch clip ever. I can't believe it. Okay. So we're in P15 with Mick and P12 with K-Mag. I realise even if we got through that session, K-Mag might not have been able to get the car ready for the next one. I was trying to think of a good caption, but I couldn't think of Spun. You know what, Ryan? That is the punniest one we had. I'll give it to you. <laughs> uh, CMC, NNR, mate. Thank you so much for subbing for two months. And also, Callum, BWBAFC. What does that? Bolton Wanderers. Bolton Wanderers, BA, though. B West Bromwich Albion. Callum B, West Bromwich Albion FC. I've got it. I'm on it like a car bonnet or something. Crash, oh, the clips just automatically be tweeting there. Why is that started playing on Twitter on my other screen? Okay, strategy. You might want to edit the tweet. What's wrong with the tweet? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with the tweet? You, you, Jay, there's a. The, the, I can't even type chat. Why? This is why we don't tweet and talk at the same time. I've, I, I've, I can't do English correctly. I can't believe that has just happened. Why did I put in an extra that? You know, chat earlier, we had that conversation about, you know, doing two things with the same part of your brain. Turns out that even when I use my brain for one of those things, I can't do it correctly. 
I'd like to give a shout out to my uh, my editor who um, lets you know. Twitter, just add a add a, add an edit feature, please. Just add an edit feature. I'm gonna get rid of the hashtag F1 Manager 22. We'll try again, chat. I think a few of you mentioned it, which is fair enough. I am incompetent. You know that energy drink doesn't make my English better. It turns out, unfortunately. Okay, what are we doing strategy wise here? Mediums, hards, hard mediums. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Is Mick gonna get PTSD if if I play if I use um a one stop again after last rate? I feel like he might not be a fan of it. Also, chat. There, there's attempt two at the tweet. I'm sorry if you retweeted it or liked it the first time. I failed you. I'm sorry. Hmm. I think we go with that. I'm, I'm going to be honest. This is probably going to be a race we get through a bit quicker than the last one because we are not good here. Wets then enters. You know what? I don't think that's. I don't think that's wise. You know what? I'm going to go mediums hards on K Mag and hard mediums on Mick and hope that we get a safety car that benefits one of them. By by having them run the opposite strategies, we increase the odds of getting a perfect safety car. How fast can you get through seasons in this game? I think the average race weekend, it depends on how much you want to micro it, really. Because there'll be some people who spend ages, like, fawning over all the race stuff, and there'll be people who just go through it really quickly and are fairly hands-off. I think the average race probably takes an hour, hour and 20. So in a 22 race season... Well, is it 22 race season or 20? Chat, is it 21? Is it 23? Chat, how many races are there season? It's 23, right? Counting's hard. Anyway... Probably around 25 hours would be my guess. It is 23. I knew it was 23 as well. <sighs> I can't believe that Kevin Magnussen crash. Cloudy skies. Cloudy tonight. skies. The drivers now having taken I realise I've not actually grid. checked the weather forecast once just because I assume we're in Saudi Looking Arabia. So hats. why is it going to rain? I'll 22 because of no Russia. Remember, no Russian. That's a niche reference. If you got it, then... I say niche. Modern Warfare 2 is not niche, I realise, but... I'll claim it's niche. We're now moments away from this. I chat. I didn't update the driver's driving style and stuff before the race. I've got to pause immediately here. I'm really sorry. Sorry. Ruin the moment. Ruin the moment. Uh, aggressive. Push. Overtake. I feel like it should start on this. Oh, yeah, but Russia got replaced, didn't it? Didn't get just taken off. It is 23 still. Okay, they're pushing. They're ready. I don't feel like we should do a prediction on this one because after, after the spin, I'm upset. Let's get on board with Mick. Mick, how are you doing, mate? We can see Kevin up the road this way. I kind of wish, I kind of wish there was um, a free cam, you know, like Motorsport Manager, how you kind of can like swing around in 3D. I kind of wish you could do that with this angle. Okay, good job. That's one. Wait, have we made an overtake? Nah, Mick lost a spot. Never mind. Hey, Holly, thank you for the 10 months. I hope you're doing well, mate. Holly, can I get you playing F1 Manager? How's K Mag doing? K Mag's not the best chance. This is a fast track. I, did, I actually thought we would be doing worse than we are. Right. Come on, Kevin. I hate saying come on, Kevin. It reminds me of Lelujo. Go on, my son! Go on. Is he. No way. This is going to end badly. I'm getting flashbacks, chat. I don't like that sector. I don't, I don't like that sector. I just realised that where... Um, where Magnuson went off is where Mick went off, right? Right, let's put them into neutral. They've had a lap of pushing. Now they're going to just be stable with it all. Do an overtake. Do an overtake doesn't really have a ring to it, does it? 
I mean, KMAG's still in range, and I mean, there's a long train here. We need someone to be slow at the front. That's that's what we really, really need. Well, oh, I was mixed sector one horse. It's not even the same spot. There's not even any irony to it. It's just sad. But we could end up with a big DRS train here. Do a racing, do a Grand Prix. Right, let's see how this plays out. I mean, really, I think we're just going to be holding position. Although, K-Mag is creating a bit of a gap to the guys behind him. And um, Mix... DRS enabled. Mix got a Mix got a nice gap actually now from behind. Like Vettel is out of DRS range, so that's good. We're pulling up. We're definitely faster than the Williams and Aston Martin, everyone. But that McLaren battle I feared we might get involved in seems likely. Although Norris is maybe a second behind K Mag, although kind of depends on the train. Do a DRS. I feel like this is going to be a race where we are stuck in a bit of a train without the speed to get past Joe. I realise this is the exact same as last race, isn't it? Guan Yu Zhou and Kevin Magnus just have a rivalry by the end of this. They're going to hate each other's guts by the end of this season. Every race they're stuck behind one another, it feels like. Do a drive? That makes me feel like I'm doing, playing golf. Is that a new race position? Magnussen overtakes Gasly. What now did he do? Focus on the hats. Bloody hell, it's wheel to wheel there, is it? Chat, did he just drive through him? Did he just, did he just drive through him? I've not seen that before. That's... Pierre is a ghost. You know, Gasly? It's a Pokemon. There's a ghost type. It all makes sense. That, not I've that. not seen that book before. That was weird. Where is Gasly now? Okay, he's still only one... Wait, he's like three seconds behind, though. What happened? I'm so confused. So he's miles behind. Weird. He should get a drive through penalty for that. Very good. Is Pierre okay? We are checking. We are checking. I think he's okay, although Phantom chat. There's a lot of ghostly imagery going on right now. I actually think it might have been a weird visual bug where the graphics engine couldn't represent what happened because he did just stop completely, didn't he? That was weird. I've not seen that one before. Looks like we've got more race pace than the Alpha Tauris. But because we're in this long train with Mick, he's going to struggle. Actually, what tyres are people on? Whoa, chat. Chat, there is there is variety in strats here. There is, there is variety. Tsunoda and Danny Rick struggling as much as they are. I'm kind of surprised that... McLaren aren't swapping their drivers, although one of them is Danny Rick and one of them is Norris, so maybe the game's realistic. Oh, go on! Oh, chat, do we deploy here? I think we go for a deploy here. Push it, Mick. Push it. Push it. DRS. You could get two or three of them here. Go left, go left, go left. We are checking. Oh, I'm, say, I'm just saying we are checking for everything. We'll catch just drive guys. through him. Catch him. Okay. He's so nice, Mick. He's so kind on the radio. He just sounds like such a polite wee lad. Okay, that's one down. That's Danny Rick okay, on the softs off. as well. <laughs> as well. Bloody hell, I need a drink. Send help. Pass with an overtake. Oh, we love that. K-Mag is still just behind Joe. Do I want to push Joe a little bit? Probably not. I mean, we could be fighting with Joe for P10 again. Is anyone else getting deja vu? Uh, J-Lab, I am absolutely loving this game. I hope it comes through, like, just playing this game, how much I enjoy it. Like, this is like a game I dreamed of existing for years. And, like, don't get me wrong, it's not flawless, but it just excites me for the future of the franchise that this first version looks as good as it does, plays as good as it does. Like, it's not the perfect game, but if you're an F1 fan, if you like Magic Games, you're going to bloody enjoy it. Oh, my... 
Could he have gone around the outside then? Deploy down this straight to try and push. keep up. Because okay. we're going to lose DRS. In fact, we, I don't think we have DRS here. Do we have DRS? We don't have DRS. There is. They are fighting away in front of us. I mean, we're going to just catch them up because they're all fighting. Uh, it seems like a bit bare bones in a nice engine. Uh, I feel like it's treading the same ground as other motorsport kind of games, but I don't, I don't think bare bones is fair. I feel like it's a more polished version of Motorsport Manager. And Motorsport Manager is a game that I sunk thousands of, well, hundreds of thousands, maybe even a thousand. I don't know if I got to a thousand in it. Hey, Nicholas Gotifi, how's it going? Ignore my heartfelt gifted. Oh, sorry, ha Adam. I missed your sub to Hasshole. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I got caught up in the madness of the race or the crash. When, when did that come through? It's been chaotic. Apologies, Adam. My question is what, like, I can think of stuff I'd want to add to the game, right? Uh, do I want to be? Yeah, I want to be an overtake with both these guys here. I feel like I'd like formation laps in some kind. Sprint races, I would like. I'd love the ability to create customs and I'd like multiplayer. But I also appreciate the fact this is like the first game. And so maybe wishing for all that stuff and hoping it would exist is a tad unrealistic. How is mixed fuel 7.1? I think when you're stuck in traffic, sometimes it bugs out. Like, I think it's done on the fuel that was used the previous lap. And so sometimes if you get caught in a weird instant where you have to lift and coast for an extensive amount or maybe just not use fuel, it spikes up. It is a bit weird. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. When we get to the back bit here, the thing is there's a train behind Russell again. Russell is... Russell loves trains, is what I'm learning. Also, Mick is just sandwiched between the McLarens. All right, Kevin, deploy. No push. Copy. I don't have the ability to deploy with Mick. I'm gonna ask him to harvest while he's stuck in this traffic, trying to get the battery up for. Okay, uh, how long am I streaming for? Uh. Great question. I'll probably do one more race after this. I'm going to stream till late. How big's the game download? I, I can't. I think it's like 15 gig. I don't think it was massive. I don't know if that's like the answer you're hoping, to give me, uh, you're hoping I'll give. I actually can't remember the exact size. I think it was like 15 to 20 gig. It wasn't big. Uh, yeah. Mick! I'm fine. I'm fine. I've paused the game. I'm too angry. I'm, I'm so... Mick! Sheenie, you've not... Mick has just gifted a search up to, sub to Mick Schumacher Fangirl. The timing! The timing to gift a sub to Mick Schumacher Fangirl. How have you managed that? I can't... I mean, I don't even know what to say. Oh, big lock up there. Mick, you absolute plum. Now you've got the, the Aston... Should we watch Let's the replay? How did he get past him? Daniel Ricciardo involved here. Oh, he just went straight on. Mick, you donkey. Okay, Mick, charge off. Copy. Uh, I'm going to try and get this Alfa Romeo down this straight. And then if we don't get it, I'm going to conserve. 
And to be fair, yeah, he did keep it out of the wall. You know what? That is fair. Copy. Oh my word, there is five cars going into this corner. I'm just anticipating a crash. All right, let's harvest for a few laps. Cause these are, we're just in a big Shall train with Russell at the front. Kirby. I mean, Mick is... Mick is... Mm, I'm fine. Everything, everything's fine. Did Mick ruin his tyres there? Okay, he didn't kill his tyres too bad. Great play there. They've moved up a I've had it where you have like a crash and the like the tyres are just wrecked from it. Yeah, you do sometimes get like bad tyre wear um, wheels from locking up. Although we didn't get any there, which is a bit weird. And we have the faster car, but he is on hards. Strolls on mediums. Chat, should we just retire him again? Should we just retire Mick every race? Hey, Cheesy Cast, I appreciate the kind words. Yeah, Alpine was mega fun. Mega fun. I, I really do have a way with the English language. Big thing here now is that K Mag stays in DRS range whilst we're just charging up the battery. I have not had a red flag yet. I haven't. Uh, Ernie White, one, two, three. Thank you for some of the prime. Oh my word! This is going to be a bit of a patience game, I think, while we charge up the battery. Mick should be able to get should be able to get past whether or not he can. I don't know after what I've just seen. Also, anyone, how did you manage to sub twice in a row there? What witchcraft is that? Free Mick. There are red flags in the game. I've seen clips of them. All right, K-Mag's a bit tight on fuel. Every, every time we go down this straight, there is just a big battle in front of us. Um, Zozo Bristol, there are regens. Oh, my... The Alpine went over the curb there. Alonso might have damage off that. The good news for... Oh, Jero managed to go from being directly in front of us to now being in seventh. How's he managed that? The man's a god. Chat, would it be reactionary to just get Wang Yu, Wang Yu Zhou in so he stops ruining Kevin Magnussen's races? Or is that sensible? Okay. Mick's got past uh, Stroll, and so is Vettel, actually. So we're okay there. Uh, there's going to come a point here with Magnussen where I need to make a call. Cars in front are on hard, so they're just going to go longer. He's got to get past the two Alpines. I think end of this lap, we, we deploy, we push for it. Can the game be sped up in 3D? You can only go to times two in 3D, sadly. But I think that's just a gra graphics limitation. Uh, we're doing two one-stops. So we're doing a one-stop with Kevin Magnussen onto hards and a one-stop onto mediums to Schumacher. Our car isn't quick enough to score well here, realistically. We need a safety car at a fortunate time. Or at least that, that was the logic. Uh, F2 and F3 are in the game, uh, Alex. Anything below that isn't in the game. I mean, there's a few real drivers who aren't in either series that are in the game. Like, I know Kibitza's in it, for example. Hulkenberg is also in the game. I kind of hope it's the... Imagine if they could expand this game. Like, if you had the ultimate, like, sports management game. Like, W Series feels like it, like the kind of thing that could make it in down the line. But, like, imagine if you could make it a global thing. That would be so sick. That's beyond, that is beyond my dreams, I fear. But it's nice to dream, isn't it? Russell! Is Russell just holding up everyone to try and benefit Hamilton? That is like the only thing that makes sense in my head behind all of this. Mode push. Copy that. We're a wheel to a race now. I'm just checking the graphs. I'm going full on Ferrari when they were trying to deal with signs and tell him to pit during the French Grand Prix. See this? Do you see that there where the car was wiggling? That's the one thing I detest in this game. Sometimes when you're running side by side, it, it's particularly bad on this track because it's so narrow. You get what I call the wiggles, where you can like it kind of breaks the immersion. 
Official terminology, by the way. Get to the Wiggles. KMAG2 stop. Could could we? I'm not sure a two stop helps. Let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have a thought experiment chat. See, I wish there was a way I could do all this in real time. Because this traffic's bad. Yeah, I just wish there was a way I could do this with all the stuff going on in the background. Mm. 12 seconds slower, but are we losing 12 seconds at the moment? I'm changing mix there. Good spot. Chat, I knew that. Chat, I knew that. I was Chat, I was testing you guys. You passed the test. Congrats. I'm, pr I'm proud of you. I think we'd have to go into softs and clean air. And then on to mediums. Chat, well, can I just say, chat, well done on passing the test. So that's 11 seconds. Is it just worth a gamble? That'd be lap 29 he comes in. It comes in a bit later. You know what? I, I don't hate it. If we get an overtake here on this Alpine, I might bin it, though. I think we've got to try something to get the points. We, we just don't have the race pace. Same as last race. Actually, I guess the thing to check here is... Estimated exit position is 14th. He's going to come out ahead of Mick. That's kind of fine. I can just tell Mick not to fight him. If K-Mag makes moves here... I'm going to hit ignore for a second. If he makes the... Has he just done two? Stop the plan. Stop the plan. Do not pit. Do not pit. Okay, good job. That's one. Do, do not pit. There's no rain on the horizon. He got two positions there. All eyes on Kevin Magnuson here. They were just boxed in on the on the right side. Back to the one stop. I won't actually update the strategy. We'll just keep an eye on his tires and pit him when the vibes feel good. <laughs> uh, it's my leadership style chat. We pit when the vibes feel More good. Coast, please. Copy. What would I give this game out of 10? I'd give it an 8. I think... I Maybe... The thing is, though, I mean, there'll be some people who are expecting the world who will be disappointed by it, but I came in kind of with, I think, fairly tempered expectations. I haven't cancelled his stop, but I never... I never told him to pit this lap. Or did I tell him to pit this lap? Chat, did I tell him to pit this up? I don't remember. He's overtaken another person. Right, you know what? We're going to be safe here. Change strategy. Edit. We're, we're just going to... We're going to be sent. We're going to be sensible. Wait. Can... But let, why can I not change it? Can I d oh, delete it, then add in the stint? That's still a bit backwards, isn't it? Should we just go into Inters? Inters, anyone? We'll make it strategy B. Although it is it is the go-to strategy now. Sorry, sorry K-Mag, for the confusion. But you're driving very well. If he gets ahead of Russell, the way Russell's holding up people... Could be quite good. If you've got some margin, try It'd be a nine if I had regens. The, the game has regens. Uh, I don't believe there is the ability to use keyboard and mouse on controller, sad uh, on console, sadly. Oh my god, that train behind us is so nasty. The issue is that train is going to continue unless we get past Russell. And Russell is outside of DRS range. And because we're the front of the pack, we might just get swallowed. Has anyone pitted yet? Okay, a few people pitted last lap. 
They would have been the guys who started on mediums, I guess. Have they gone on to hards? Are they really running hards to the end from here? Chat, could they be running hards to the end from here? That feels bold. I believe, Josh, the uh, the full version is the same on console and PC. Like, I could literally... I'm not going to play like this, but I have a controller here, right? Uh... Wait, how do I pause the game on controller? I don't want to... I don't want to... Basically, there's a controller that I've got here, and it works seamlessly. It's the exact same game. I'm going to just put put that down because I've, I started changing stuff by picking up the controller. Uh, Leclerc's brother is in game. I'm not sure about all the drivers, though, chat, I'm afraid. I've not had that extensive or a look through it all. Alonso's ahead. A good overtake from I'm surprised that these people pitting. He just got squeezed against the wall. It's a disgrace. Now they've just vanished up the road. I feel sad. Alpine just advanced. Can we call Michael Massey, please. I want an investigation. How's Mick looking on his tire wear? It's pretty much the, exactly where it needs to be. That's fine. We're not running tight or anything. It's not like last race where we need to make a stint last longer. That last lap reading isn't very useful because it included when he got pinched. Have I seen many penalties for the drivers? I haven't. That's actually if one of the things that I think they need. I don't know if it is a thing or if I've just missed it. I, I have seen penalties given for big, big crashes. I had one when in my Mercedes um, kind of save that I was playing myself where I had Russell starting P7 and Hamilton P5 and Russell locked up at the start and went through Hamilton and took out Hamilton. So both my drivers out on turn one and then Russell got a penalty as well, and Hamilton had to pit. So both drivers got absolutely shafted for me by taking each other out. I kind of wish I could have been like, please don't punish him. He won't crash again. Uh, K-Mag is losing ground on these guys. Although Joe's in the pit. Do we... Do... Hmm... I'm just wondering with K-Mag if I want to pit this next lap or the one after. I was going to pit the one after, but Ming's running two laps longer than Joe. It comes down to what traffic Joe comes out in, actually. That's probably going to decide what I do here. Try to do some lifting coast. He's not in traffic. There's clean air. I'm going to pit K-Mag. Just going to cover it off. We're not racing the Alpines. They're on a different strat. Uh, I think there are some of the Formula E drivers in the, well, at least former w, uh, Formula E drivers in the game. Some of the Formula E drivers who are reserve drivers for F1 teams. So, like, I know Buemi's in. I think Van Dorn's in as well. I'm not sure about Nick DeVries. If you're both drivers DNF, do you need to still sit for it or the whole race or can you skip it? I've never had that happen, so I don't know the answer, I'm afraid. Right. Is Russell going to pit this lap is what I'm wondering as well. No. Russell loves to run long. I realise that lap I should have told Magnussen to push way harder on his in-lap. That was my bad. I was too busy chatting to you guys about what drivers are in the game. Man, that lock-up for Mick is so bad. Like, he's, he's behind, like, I mean, I don't know if it would make that bigger a difference because we've just not really got the pace. What was the st chat? What was the stop time on K-Mag? I missed it. Joe under curse. Joe under curse. I hate everything. I 
I hate everything. I assume he went onto the same tyres as us. He did, excellent. It's going to be the same as last race. We're going to have to do it again. I watched a few races of this game today. I know you had a single DNF in the grid. Um, I've had a DNF where I made my driver DNF. I'm trying to think now. I don't think I have, is the honest answer. I wonder if you get them later in the year. I have had issues where, like, an engine has really got knackered and my drivers have slowed down to a crawl. I say a crawl. They've slowed down massively because of engine issues and I had the option to retire them and did. But I don't think I've seen that from the AI. Probably because they changed the engines. Uh, do drivers bring in different sponsors? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Uh, do you know when we can play it? 3 p.m. UK time tomorrow. So whatever time it is for you now, add... F how many hours? <laughs> how many hours? 15 hours? 14 and a half hours. I feel like in clean air, we're probably quicker than Joe. Oh, they're probably feeling the same thing. We're so close to one another in pace. Alpha Tower gained a I'm going to charge the battery while we're directly behind. Ghastly really Overtake Shoe. Uh, Ghastly Overtake Shoe Maka. Sag. I'm sure his mix not paired yet, and he's still behind K Mag. Um, what do we want to do with Mick? I think we just leave him out, right? He's going to be out for like another 10 laps, but I mean, it, Mick's just not very quick, I'm afraid to say. And the car's just not quick on this track. I think we're into the phase where we can play a bit quicker now. The man to keep an eye on is Magnussen and Joe having their little battle. Russell's gone into the pits and come out ahead. I thought that was going to be the case. What happened to El Plan? El Plan is just the YouTube save game. This is our Twitch save game. I don't even think we're going to be racing for points. Overtake is available if you need it. Gone to neutral now. It's charged. Charge off. Big man on campus, Chuck. How are you doing? Okay, more lifting. Thank you for the kind words, dude. I appreciate the whole year of support. That is mad. Yeah, if we get a safety car, mix alive that's basically what it comes down to magnus and Azure are just gonna battle like last race we have a, such a similar car it feels like to them Like right, we pass they pass we pass they pass i feel like i don't know if it's drs is overpowered or if it's just a case of car right, slipstreaming is good but I do feel like you get stuck in these battles quite a lot where you're as quick as like just cars with you although joe is really slowed down there He's now two and a half seconds behind. No DRS. We should... I want to see what happened Let's here. Joe ended up two seconds behind. Did he here. get compromised? Ooh, I think Kevin was a bit naughty there. there they go. Moving up a position. I think he was a bit Just naughty there. Maneuvering. But we'll take it. We had some naughtiness to choose. Get in there! Come on! I want a, I want a helmet. I want a Haas helmet. How do I get one of those? Can I have one of those, please? Right. While well, we've got this two and a half second gap, this is the time, I think, to really, really push. And I think we can be a bit aggressive with our tyres. I just don't want to let Joe catch us. How am I liking the game so far? I am loving it, OJ. I am loving it. I, I, like, it's not perfect. I wasn't expecting it to be perfect. But as someone who adores F1, it's just great. Like, I loved Motorsport Manager years ago. I didn't think we'd ever get another Motorsport game when this game was announced two years ago. I got a bit excited. Didn't necessarily expect it to uh, come around. But now it's here, I'm very happy.
Uh, can you shoot a car's fuel like for Aegis and Massa? You can fiddle with the fuel amounts. But if you you will just run out of fuel if you use it up too quickly. Okay, if we can get the McLaren here, we're in the points. I didn't even realize Norris must have pitted really early. Did Norris... Oh, Norris hasn't stopped yet. Norris is doing... Oh, God, the Alpines as well. Chat, we could be in a good spot with Kevin here. Although I kind of need him to get past this without being held up. Mick's lockup was annoying. So Mick is racing Norris, realistically. Norris is about three temps quicker at the moment. Oh, please get past him, Kevin. I'm going to stick one attack. Just keep pushing now. Also, we're going back on neutral. Nice work. I've had a save game, Brad, for Tom going with Mercedes, and it's been really, really fun. I, th I think Mercedes, if you if you just want to wet, what's the word I'm looking for? Wet your appetite, dip your toe in it a little bit, you know, and just maybe start saying short term and see how you enjoy it. I think the uh, Mercedes team is a pretty good starting point. Uh, okay, Norris is already way behind. We're in a really good spot with K-Mag here. Really, really good spot. I'm sorry to Mick again, because Mick is just getting forgotten about on the sideline. Mick, we need a safety car. Ocon and Alonso have got to pit still. P8's on here, I think. I think P8 is on. I don't want you know, I don't want to get carried away too early. Uh, how often will the, the Alpine videos be on YouTube? I'm looking at trying to get two to three out a week, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but the one I did today, I recorded this morning and edited today for the three o'clock embargo, and it took me about seven hours, which is way longer than a football manager video would take. And whilst I think I could do it quicker in the future, obviously I had to kind of figure out how I was going to do the first episode. So maybe it'd get a bit faster, but it was still a lot of work. But yeah, the Alpine episode, if you've not seen it on YouTube, was really good. I do think, for as dizzy as I can be at not reading some of the, the graphics correctly, and certain screens are just a bit confusing, I feel like, anyway. Like, actual race strategy, I'm usually not too bad. Uh, Rambu, the Pentagon is to be starting on Monday, I think. Okay, we're in a good spot. I could do with Norris holding up Joe, but I have a feeling Norris is going to pit probably this lap because his tyres are slew. Although we're quick with K-Mag, although we're pushing him. I'm saying all low a lot. There's lots of all those. I feel like my brain is a soup of emotions. Can we not recharge K-Mag if he needs a bit of a boost late in the race? I'm hope. Oh, safety? No, just the one That's running right. Locker. Sad. Leclerc running wide. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Leclerc making an unforced error. And Could this. never happen. Yes, there. That's the lockup. Never, could never happen. Could never happen. The team are devastated. Guangzhou, although very good. Maybe that's what we should call him from now on. If we can get within DRS range of Russell, I might look to recharge the battery. But recharging it limits our straight line speed so much versus just having it on neutral. And that's going to be kind of important. Okay, this is big. Alonso's coming into the pit. That means that Ocon's going to have to do an extra lap. They're not stacking them. I know in some of the early preview stuff, people reported like seeing in streams, like the official streams, the stacking issue. I'm sure I saw it on the stream. I'm sure some of you guys did too. Where they, the AI seemed to stack cars when it didn't need to. I've not seen that. I don't. I think we oh, maybe saw it once coast. last race, but like a situation like that was a prime contender for one where the AI would double stack. K-Max ahead of Alonso. And okay, Alonso's outside of. Um, DRS range as well, which is big, although the fresh tires could be a problem. Hey, Millie, dude, thank you for the 100 bits. 
How soon am I going to need to pit, Mick? Uh, two more laps. Two more laps. Maybe three. Yeah, Alonso's on the medium, so he's going to be quick. I don't know if Russell... I was about to say, I don't know if Russell's managing his tyres. He almost certainly is, because now K-Mag is way slower. The Alpines could be quick to end. It's going to be interesting now to see uh, where Ocon comes out when he pits. If he's behind Alonso. In an ideal world, the Alpines come out next to each other and just squabble. While we vanish up the road. But I don't think we're going to catch Russell. Uh, I'll get Mick to push when he's about to pit. Because 30% is like the, the cliff face where tyres really start to run into issues. If I pit a lap, I can probably pit a lap earlier than the Strat. The Alpines never squabble. Don't know about that, Chief. <laughs> if I speak, I'm in trouble. Alonso's already catched up by half a second. Uh... Oh, God, are you going to pit soon? I can't believe you didn't. Did he not pit last lap? I think we can whiz through a little bit more here. I'm going to pit Mick next lap. Alonso is catching K-Mag. And I don't like it. Right. Oh, we waited for a safety car. It was the only way we were going to get Mick into this race, I think. But unfortunately, not happening. Have a note. Thank you so much for subbing with the Prime. I do appreciate it hugely. It's really cool to see, like, new faces. I guess people push, are coming in for push. F1 Manager. Maybe yeah. they've caught it on YouTube earlier today. But, yeah, it's great to see so many new people there. And also, Chuck, I just say, I don't know how many people are watching right now, but I saw we had over a 1,000 people at, like, midnight. I, I don't know what we have now, but mind-blowing. I appreciate the support hugely. There will be more F1 Manager tomorrow night. We so if you're planning on playing all evening, Coffee. I'll probably be around at some point in the evening streaming. Mick, it doesn't matter if the tyres are overheating, mate. You're coming in this lap. What's K-Mag looking at? Alonso's a second and a half behind. Ocon, a... wait, has Bottas got to pit as well? Oh, he's managed to get out before. I was hoping the Alpine might hold him up, but the Alpine's way further down. What team would I suggest as a first career? I think Mercedes are pretty good. Mercedes' prediction is third. They have the third fastest car. It kind of just makes sense. Like, if you're wanting to perhaps do a save that's a little more forgiving. Oh, Mick. Mick, I just feel sad watching you, mate. He is pitting, right? Chat, what was the pit time last time? It was like three and a half seconds. In my LP next time, I'm getting pit stop times like 2.8. I feel like in this save game, they've always been bad. There is team visions, like there is short-term goals and long-term goals, and you can get sacked. Chat, what was the Schumacher time? I literally missed it. Where's Ocon come out? Oh, Ocon is way down. They, they left him out too long. But now he can really burn up these mediums. But we are in P8, track position-wise. If Joe could do us a favour, obviously our big rival, Guan Yu Zhou, if he could do us a favour... Hold up Ocon for a bit. That would be beautiful. Also, I don't think there's a I don't think there's a a, a resign button in game chat. I did look for it. Uh Mick might be able to use up a bit more of these tires, but I'm not really sure who he's racing here. So I'm not sure he's racing. He's literally racing nobody. Can we get Fs in the chat, please, for Mick? And his time here at Haas, because I've had two races with him, and I just feel like he's... It's it just... It, it's, it's not gone great for him, basically, is the issue. Should we just retire him again? Should we just make it a thing? There'll come a race at the end of the season where everyone else has taken engine penalties, and he will start on P1. And all the times where I've retired him early will be worth it. Alonso's about to get into DRS range. 
Nobody liked that. They're on mediums, aren't they? So Ocon's already got past Joe as, as well. I think, if we're being realistic for K-Mag, P10 is what we're going to get here. I think this is just a case of waiting for the Alpines to catch us. There they are. They're coming. I don't think we've even got the pace to hang behind them once they get past us. Although Joe's causing some issues for... Uh... Ocon, K-Mag, just defend him, mate. Do your best. Look at him. What? Look at that number eight go. 14 laps of doing this, K-Mag. You can do it. I mean, imagine if he actually does it. Imagine if he actually does this. He's not. He's Oh, oh he got overtaken and then he got it back. Is that a new race position for Haas? It's not a new race position. He's been there before, I'll have you know, but he is now back behind Alonso. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Should probably keep an eye on the fuel usage as well. K-Mag. Mm, chat, this could be another situation like the last race where I need to save the battery. He's, they are overtaking each other repeatedly. Job, yeah, Does driver That's does it overtake. get in a driver involved negotiation? Yes, it does, and drivers won't negotiate down from like bigger teams, like unrealistically. I mean, K Mag, if he just runs P8 for the rest of this, this this would be mad. What positions did we start? Is it P15, P12? I'm glad we didn't do the two stopper. That would have been an error in hindsight. Alonso up the inside. Are those mediums going to get burnt up? Probably not. I think Alonso... Actually, Alonso Alpine didn't have DRS advanced. there. Uh, I'm going to harvest. I'm going to harvest on the high fuel mode. Try and get some charge so we can go for it at the end. If we start losing ground, though, I need to be ready to change it back to neutral. Joe is holding up Ocon really well, though. P9 is definitely likely at this point. Famous last words. When he spins out again, you know what happened. I, I haven't seen any AI driver, driver transfers myself, so I can't really report on that stuff, gang. I've not played that many seasons. I say not played that many seasons. I've not played beyond Canada in any one season. I've tried with a few different teams just to see what's what. This is okay for us. I mean, we're on harvest here. We are saving battery for the end. I'm hoping that there's going to be a crossover where his mediums wear out to a more like a greater degree than our hearts okay that battery is high enough now still pushing i always refer to this as engine mode that's not what it is it's basically how much the driver's lifting and coasting like you literally cannot change engine modes anymore in formula one but i still call it that i know someone pedantic's been thinking that this whole night as i've been saying it How are his tyres looking? See, in, I kind of wish you didn't see the percentages. Or at least there's an option for it. It'd be kind of nice if I didn't know what he has. Because in real life... I, I guess in real life you might have, like, guesstimations, right? But, like, it wouldn't be, like, an exact number. I'm kind of happy just to sit behind the Alpine here. Just have him pull us along. Is this, a, is this an Albon? A wild Albon. Albon, get out the way. Thank you. I realise we've just been watching this going on. Where's Mick? Mick, how you, Mick's just driving his own race. Mick is just a Sunday driver right now. He's just getting experience. Okay, more lift and coast, please. I wonder how big of a difference the suspension upgrade we bought has had here, and also if that has um, kind of contributed to Magnussen. But I'm wondering how big of a difference Magnussen's attributes have made, like versus Mick. Well, so they did different strategies as well. You can't even really compare it. Do not mind that, though. Although Alonso could just be letting us by here. By the way, Joe and Ocon are still battling. And Ocon's the guy who needs to get past. 
How many laps before Ocon did Alonso pit? Because that tyre wear is like 10% lower. Maybe you should retire Mick soon, chat. Maybe that's the secret. We have to like sacrifice Mick to the, the F1 gods. Work last race. Two laps. Okay, it was two, la uh, two laps. I thought it was like two or three, but I wasn't sure. 5% over two laps. Well, 10% over two laps. I think Alonso must have been pushing more than knock-on has been. For that kind of wear. <coughs> We're approaching over a bat marker. I think it's Gotifi. Is it Gotifi? Uh, I think it's Gotifi. He's a bit close, isn't he, behind? Means we've got battery that we can use at the end. By Ricardo. Too soon. Too soon. Mick's just doing. Mick's just having his. He, he literally, chat. We're just not going to look at Mick anymore. He's doing his own thing. Is it Latifi? It is Latifi. Latifi, get out of the pissing way. Thank you. Right, now now swing over and block Alonso. Now block him, you wazzock. He's good for nothing. Hey, Dan, how's it going? This game, I can't go over how nice it looks. Like, I feel like a lot of it is masked by the motion blur, but it just looks great. Like, the sense of speed is so good. I don't know if you've realised watching the stream today, chat. I like riding the onboards way more than the third person, so I always find this a bit disorientating when, like, you're changing camera angle. Like, it's kind of fine for, like, an actual broadcast, but when you're trying to micro stuff and really follow turn to turn, I feel like you lose sight of stuff when you need to be able to see it. Actually, that's a point. Yeah, Latifi did give us DRS. Alonso might do us here. Thing is, it's quite difficult to overtake in this section. Or at least the AI seems to have issues. You can definitely go wheel to wheel here. Kind of surprised Alonso hasn't tried that. This to So you there's two ways you can go deep here. Or you have the main straight. He's thinking about it. K Mag, you've got five laps to hold on. No DRS this time. No Gotifi to help us. In some ways, I kind of hope Alonso goes ahead of us for a lap so we can save more fuel. Because at the moment, I'm having to be driving the well more aggressively just to hold him back on the fresher tiles. Should have helmet cam. So you do have a few other cameras. So there's this over-the-shoulder cam, which I quite like. Obviously, it's not helmet cam. And you have also got a ca cam on the front nose, which is cool. Okay, chat. Bit Mick. I've forgotten about Mick. Mick is fine. It's all about K-Mag. The battery is charged. I mean, he's kept Alonso behind now for like seven or eight laps. Although I am realising our tyres have faded quite a lot. What's the tyres what's the tires saying? He's just got past us. Why did I check the tyres? Um, I can't turn up the tyre mode. If, if anything, I need to conserve tyres. Is anyone else running as low as us on the hards? Max Verstappen is. Okay, that makes me feel more relaxed. Ninth wouldn't be bad. Yeah, that is absolutely correct. Like, ninth would be pretty decent, all things considering. Like, if you told me we were going to get back-to-back -back points first race of the seasons, I uh, probably would have taken that. I think we do what we did last time. We save this battery to the end. I feel like if we burn for our battery, we give Alonso the chance to come back with DRS. Whereas if we can just sit behind him now... It seems to be the best way to go. So we've got three laps left after this. Imagine if we just overtake him here whilst in neutral. Tires dropped by 2% that lap. We're going to be fine. No way. 
Is he actually going to do it? Wow, Kevin. Wow. Nice work, Kev. Love that from you, Kev. K-Mag is a late race specialist, although Alonso could be playing tricks here. Is that a new race position for he could be playing tricks. We cannot, we cannot get carried away. Chat, I need to sit down after this race. Also, Super Nintendo Caribou redeemed a hydrate. And Havino, did I miss your sub? Sorry, there's lots of stuff going on. I do, I, chat, I, I do previously apologise if I miss stuff. This game takes a lot of brain power. I don't think we'll break DRS even with the battery, to be honest. That's why I'm holding on to the battery. I kind of want Alonso to go back ahead of us. There's no chance we can break the DRS, I don't think. So our best bet is to just hang on here. <sighs> Two laps left. Two laps left. We should just, should we tell Mick to push, chat? Chat, you know what? For you guys, I'll tell Mick to push because he's got lots of life left in his tyres. Have fun, Mick. Go for fastest lap. It's all about K-Mag, I'm afraid. Our tyres are not good, though. We lost, I think, 2 or 3% last lap and another 3% this lap. It's going to be mega marginal. Two laps. Two laps. Mick's tyres are getting one. Mick, it's fine, mate. It's fine. You're, you're good. You're in your own little pocket of space, Mick. Just drive fast. If anything, Mick, I want you to drive fast instead of make a mistake so we get a safety car that we finish under. Of course, Formula 1 would never end under a safety car. Back to the race, back to the race, back to the race. Um, too soon? It was like six months ago. It's fine now, right? Oh. This is stress. This is stress. We are about to enter the final lap here of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Alonso on fresher tyres, chasing k -Mac, who looks destined to get at least P9 at this point. We're going to deploy on this straight chat. This, was what, this is where I've been saving the battery for. On this straight here, we are going to try and stay ahead. I think it's our best bet. So deploy here. Alonso's going to try and move. We've got to hope the deploy holds him back. He's doing it. He's not got DRS here, though. The, the, the true test is this next bit. Let's go to harvest so we're not using it anymore. Charge on, please. And deploy. Kevin. Kevin, hold on, Kevin. Stay ahead of him, Kevin. Push, Kevin, push. No! Copy that. Right, last lap. Wait, no. There's one more lap. Chat, I can't count. We've got another lap. We've got another lap. I should... Can we deploy here? We shouldn't. We shouldn't. In fact, we should harvest here. Charge on. Copy that. So that we can deploy on this next straight. Yeah, there's a good fight for P1. Apologies for the fact we can't watch it, folks. Our tyres are bad, chat. Our tyres are bad. The tyres are not good. Has Verstappen done... Verstappen's done that on 31% hards. I know I'm meant to focus on my own race, but they're in the race of a set... Oh, this is Sector 1 still. Back on us. I can't push. I can't push. Can't the tyres are too bad. Max is still I'll ahead, but he's up. on the exact same yeah, situation we are with K-Mag. Go on. This is where we push. This is where we push. 30% last lap. That's not good. We are in the danger zone. Come on, Kevin! Up the inside. Not good. Okay, back on harvest. We've got one more chance in the last sector. We, we don't have the pace to overtake anywhere else. The tyres are going as well, though. I 
can go to aggressive. Anything more is a risk. Okay, if you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Come on, Kevin. I want to. I don't want to. I don't want to spin out here. But Max is stopping. Held on, by the way. Bottas is chasing Hamilton to the line. There, I'll tell you what, I feel sorry for the race director. Mick got lapped, by the way, so... Max Verstappen, over F's the in the chat. Line, and today's winner. Right, it's oh, all boy. on you, K-Mag. It's all on you. I don't think we have it, chat. We just don't have the pace. If we're going to do it, it's going to be right at the death, but our tie, we could get a puncture here. I'll tell you what, there might be a chance. Oh, come on, K-Mag! Come on! No way. He's thinking about it. K-Mag. You've got... Don't dive here. Chat, he could still do this. He could still do this. K-Mag. Come on. Come on! No way. Yes! Come on! Unbelievable right. scenes. Oh my word! Oh my word! That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Chat, pushing the tires was the right call. It was a gamble. We could have had a blowout there. Kevin Magnussen is the GOAT. He is literally the GOAT. GOAT Magnussen, not GOAT Ethi. It's GOAT Magnussen. Doesn't work the same way. What was that, like a tenth of a second? Oh my word, that was so close at the end. Oh! This is a good result. Oh, give him a, can I give him a hug? Come here, Kevin. That's right, the team really deserves to That was mad. Before looking ahead to the next race. That was a crazy race. I thought that was going to be a boring one. Standings at the end of this weekend. And for the next round, Formula One is heading down under. Oh, we're off to Australia. I don't have any Fosters. Why would I want Fosters anyway? Foster shit, shit drink. Where's Mick? Mick, how have you gone? Mick did go up a place. So as, from, as much as people will say that I am harsh on Mick and that I treat him badly, he did go up a spot. I mean, Magnus had got most overtakes there. Four. Not bad. Oh, chat, I need to sit down. My legs hurt from standing up for two races in a row. We have been live for four and a half hours, but I do want to do one more race. Are we allowed to do one more race? We'll be done by 2.30 in the morning. Talking drink, what's my favourite alcoholic beverage? Oh, good question. Um, I'm a fan of ciders, to be honest. And also, this is going to be controversial. I, I, chat, you know me. I like energy drinks. I quite like Jaeger bombs. I actually like the taste of Jaeger straight and energy drink straight. So the combination's great. Okay, so Kevin Magnus is doing so well. We get to give him a point. I need to sit down. I need to sit down. Oh my word. I can't, I don't think that's going to happen again. I feel sorry for poor Mick. What do we do with Mick? Mick's been crap. I mean, the most polite way, he's just not been very good. Uh, what, are we, what should we add something into? Overtaking? I feel like overtaking is what he does. Also, once you click plus, you can't then take it away, chat. And my face is in the way, I realise. Let me just let me hide my face so you can see what we've done here. I've given I put one on overtaking. Not not the wise decision, not the not the correct decision. But yeah, to be fair, Mick did get sacrificed in Bahrain. You know what? That is a fair point. Special mention has to go to Hazu. I'm meeting everyone's expectations. Currently P6 in the constructors. But according to the board, we're exceeding it. Mixed defending. Every week they tell me about mixed defending not being good enough. Every week. Mixed defending's not good enough. Yeah, I know. I know. Tell me about it. Can we replace him? I wanted Albono. Okay, the next race is in two weeks. Um... Is K 
Kevin Magnussen got a three-year deal in real life? Fair play, Kevin. I mean, based on this, they know what they're doing. I can't even question it. I kind of want to get Albon in. I feel like Albon's very good in game. 80 rated. Chat, is it too soon to replace Mick? I'm going to try Albon, but I feel like they're going to ask for too much. And if this doesn't work out, then um, I'm going to. I'll, I'll, we, I don't know what we'll do. Oh, oh. He hates me. We'll come back in another two races, Albon. Oh, the new chassis got developed. Happy days. Right. Here's where we might actually be able to get some speed. So we now have the template for the chassis. Um, we can get four of them in. It's going to take 18 days. Oh, I could rush it. Lower experience. It costs more to do. But it would mean we get one before the next race. Hmm. Oh, we could rush it. What's the eruption? Emergency. Oh, we can pay 1.5 million and just get it done immediately. That is quite expensive, mind you. I'm really sorry to Mick. He's going to have a way worse car because that only one of those chassis is going to be done in time. Although, that's a K-Mag binned it in that quality session. If he bins it again here, we could run into a situation where we have to swap it. Oh, yeah, I probably should get Mick that suspension as well, shouldn't I? Scouting has finished on Teo Pacher. Tell me more. Growth potential high. Can't defend. Oh, he can defend. My face is in the way. And chat, this is the issue with the uh, the face cam here. I think Mick is the worst rated driver on the F1 grid. Or Piastri. I think Pia is Piastri worse? I think Piastri is worse. He's not good at racing. Good control. Shh, crap smoothed us. It's got to be said. Um, You know what? We don't need to side anyone now. That car get part get done. Did the part get done? Uh, it did. Chat, if I install it on K-Mag's car, is that fair? I mean, life's not fair, to be fair, so. Also, we can install the suspension on um, Mick's car now. So Mick, get, Mick gets the suspension upgrade but we've only got one of the new chassis for this race so i'm gonna give it to k-mag uh oh performance goals chat we could reach q3 i'll tell you what if we don't reach q3 or if we do wait oh there's an incentive to reach q3 that's fine i'm not expecting us to reach q3 finish position of 12 we get a bonus oh we'll take that Okay. I'm not sure what to think for Albert Park here. I mean, apparently top speed, low speed. Well, you can see there. Basically, all the speeds are important. Who would have thought? Also, if we just have a look at our cars now. Uh, and then show ranking on the grid. So is this car one? How do I look at car two? How do I change which car we're looking at? Chat, help me here. I'm being blind. I'm being an idiot. Was it? I feel like it was... Oh, change car. That was the grid average. I was, I'm an idiot. We are still way down the grid, aren't we? Mark the 
Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Hey, Kajero, dude, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream tonight, dude. Thank you very much. Have you been uh, streaming some F1 Manager? And also, goes what I'm saying. Welcome on in, Raiders. We definitely got that upgrade installed, <laughs> chat. Have we? Have we? Have we definitely got that that upgrade installed? Because I'm looking at these rankings and they're not very good. I mean, we definitely do have them installed. It's just it's not a very good upgrade. Maybe it's the mecha Maybe it's the race engineer. Welcome to Melbourne for a oh, is that the issue, chat? Do you reckon it's the race engine? Mick did nothing wrong. Is that what we're, we're suggesting? Throw from the beach here at the Albert you, Park you could Circus. be onto something. Party mood in the grandstands, but in the paddock, expect. Uh, all right, chat. You know what's happening. We don't do practice here. Real pros don't practice. You heard it here first. I mean, our car, I don't think, was in the top 10 for anything. So the fact that we ended up um, getting points back to back is pretty good. But I feel like there's going to come a point where we have a reality crash. Qualifying and the fight for pole begins. Or a crashed reality. Whatever What's a reality we'll crash? We'll have a reality pole, crash, whatever that is. Still so much to be contested here today. Qualifying. I didn't check the weather chat. Oh, look at the setup knowledge. Oh, chat. Heavy rain. Heavy rain on Sunday. Now, I will say, I've played this before and been told it was going to rain on a day and then the rain never came because that can happen. You're, you have a forecast centering game and it can be wrong. So that is a thing. Do we want to get a, a prediction on the go here? Spur right. Are you around still or James, can you set up a prediction? James, can you do it for more than 30 seconds? <laughs> Let's do a prediction on. Will we get... Hmm. I think, will we get a driver into Q1? Uh, Q3, sorry. If we get one into Q1, that'd be good. Will we get a driver into Q3? We didn't get anyone into Q3 last time, did we? Maybe Mick's going to come alive in the rain. Radio check, Kev. Radio, Radio check, check, Kev. Radio's good. Your stream crashed. Ah. Uh, can we get a prediction on will we get a car into Q3? The weather forecast is always wrong. Is it actually? We'll find out. To be fair, I reckon weather men and women are just paid to lie. And you might be sort of thinking, Jack, this is a mad conspiracy theory. Why would weather, you know, weather men or women present as geologists? That's not, is it a ge meteorologists? Why would they be paid to lie? I'll tell you why. Clove hanging companies. I know. Clove Because, but the thing is, if they said it was going to be rainy when it was going to be rainy all the time, everyone would get a tumble dryer instead of a clothes dryer like rack for outside. So the clothes dry drying rack companies tell the geologists and the meteorologists to lie about the amount of rain and the fact there won't be any. So people persist with putting clothes outside and getting them caught in the rain. I know what you're thinking. It's not true. Look, you're just wrong. Uh, there is a prediction. Can Jack actually get a car into Q2? I mean, we wanted Q3. Did I say Q2? We should get someone into Q2. Did I say Q2, chat? Or did I say Q? I said Q2. Apologies. It's on me. We'll redo the prediction. We'll, we'll redo it. Sorry, chat. Ch I'll hold on my hands. It's not the first time I've made a mistake today. I mean, it could be umbrella companies as well. You know what? I hadn't thought about that part of the uh, the conspiracy. Right, chat. There's a new prediction incoming. There is a new prediction incoming. Don't panic. I think. We should be able to get one car into Q2. If we get uh, sorry, Q3. If we could get both cars into Q3, that'd be mad. 
We'll do a prediction on is it going to rain on race day once we've seen the grid. I'm waiting on the prediction chat. J James, are you sorting the pr prediction? Is it, is it happening again? I'll do it, chat. Will we get a driver into... Oh, have you have you sorted it? I'm confused. Has the new prediction gone... Has the, has the new prediction gone live? Oh, it's gone now. Chat, right, prediction. It's out there. How did second race go? We got... Uh, was it eighth or ninth place for KMAG? I think it was ninth. Um, Who am I sending out first? Good question. I don't think it matters too much. I'll probably send out KMAG first to be honest, because I think he is going to be quicker with that chassis. Another Alpha Mick. Yeah. Although he did go up, but he did make up one place from where he started. Will we get a car into Q3? 100,000 channel points on yes, 51,000 on no. Where are the believers? I say where the believers. Most, most people are a believer. Getting both cars in is going to be the real challenge, I feel like, here. Mick is going to get points this week. I mean, if it happens, blimey. Right. The prediction hasn't yet finished, but it's not going to be impacted by me sending out the cars now. It says that X in the... Oh, I've got the game paused still. It's a bit weird. When you pause the game, then change the speeds, it stays paused. Right, chat. We're pra praying for no traffic. Now, oh, they're a bit close to each other there. Did I send them out that close together? Oh, don't you dare. Do not... Did you just see what I've just seen? Mick overtook Magnuson and then Magnuson got stuck behind the Alpine. I didn't even slow it down. I didn't have time. I might as well call... Him. K Mag in now because he's not he's not going to set a time that's worth sticking with. I feel like Mix just performed a hit like a hit job there. Mick is literally trying to save his job by like <laughs> sabotaging our other driver. We should just call Mick in now, really, shouldn't we, to prove a point. I don't even know if he would have got a good time there based on the fact he had to overtake K-Mag. Bizarrely. Uh, we'll just send K-Mag out on the same tyres and hope he can set a better flying lap. Mick's going to be in this lap. All right, K-Mag. Don't get blocked this time. He's fine, chat. There's no one to block him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll just... Uh, hmm. Hey, you know what? We'll send Mick on the same softs if we need to. Okay, k Mag should be okay, I think, here. Because it's Q1, there's that extra time, which is nice. Also, chat, the weather forecast. The weather forecast should be fine for this session. It looks okay. I never know what the, is that chance of rain, that 25% with a drop, or is that humidity? Answers on a postcard. I still don't know. Mick ahead of Hamilton. Boom, get the camera. Everyone's blocked each other. We're getting blocked by the Ferrari here, aren't we? Yep. Yep. Cheer, cheers. Whichever bloody Ferrari that was. Wait, that wasn't his flying lap, was it? Is this his... Oh, never mind. Take it all back. We might have got away with it there. I think it was Leclerc who was blocking maybe a little. You reckon chance of rain? You could be onto something. I mean, that time is good. I think, but it's so traffic dependent. Okay. Okay. Reality striking in. We need to... Oh, wait. Did I... Cool car... Why is Magnuson doing extra laps? You're coming early. What are you doing? What do we refuel him for? I'm so confused. Okay, chat. Question time. Are those times good enough to get us out this session without us using these softs? We could just sit out the session if I think I'm safe. But I don't think we are. I think we're going to have to go again.
Everyone who's predicted that we'll make get someone through is like, you've got to go again. Everyone who's like, I hope that you fail is going, no, don't send them out again. It'll be fine. Smile. I'm not biased. It's very 50-50. I think Mick has to go out now. In fact, okay, though that last shuffle down. Maybe even they've got to go. Perez is not going to get another lap in here, but he should be fine. Uh, I'm going to go now. Is anyone else getting deja vu? Anyone else? I hope we get across the line. That's happened twice now where I send the drivers out thinking that'll be fine. I've timed that well. Okay. Don't overtake each other on the straight. Did everyone else go out on fresh softs? Yeah, okay. Actually, maybe they didn't. I don't know what, I think everyone else went on U softs. Maybe I should be using U softs there then, if that's what the AI does. So K Mag's getting a, a. Is he even close enough to get a slipstream? I think there's too much of a gap here. Neither of drivers really benefit in each other. Just gotta hope we don't get a yellow flag here in the last sector. If someone goes off, it could really cause us issues. Chat, we should get both through, you'd think, here. Stroll's improved, but not by enough. Albon hasn't improved. Ah, it's going to be close. I think it's a good job we stopped when we did. Latifi and Vettel, I wouldn't expect to see improve. The one is Joe, really. Danny Rick goes up in his home race. What's Joe going to do? He is stuck behind a Williams that's going very slowly. Latifi has not done well. I think he's compromised Joe as well. I think we're going to get away with it. He says. Okay, Joe made good time. Mick. Mick. Mick's out. Mick is out. Mick is just not very good, is he? Four temps. Was he four temps down there? Mick is just... I don't... I don't want to take it out on any individual, but it's just consistent disappointment, isn't it? And he's finished like three temps down there. He's only quicker than the Aston Martins and the Williams. Wasn't good by Magnussen either. To be fair. Right, next session. We've got rain. It's a wet race. Anything could happen. How long before we go and get Piastri? <laughs> I love the flow of this game. This is actually... I was a bit worried with this game um, when I was playing it like in my own time. I've hit send out there. We are on fresh softs, I hope. Um, I was a bit worried when I was playing this game that it was going to be a difficult game to like play and stream just because you have to concentrate quite a lot. And whilst that undeniably is a challenge of streaming it, it is like... The fact that it is a game where you do actually have to use brain power. And unlike Football Manager, I've played for thousands of hours. I can kind of autopilot it. The fact that you can just like slow the game down to your own pace is so, so nice. Right. What can K-Mag do here? We're looking for... Oh, actually, what was the safety time last time, chat? What was the time to get out the session there? I should, I should pay attention more after the first session to what the... The driver's finishing in P10 of that session. We're getting so we know what we might need to target. The good news is we got a clean lap in without traffic. That's all I care about. Going out first so sponsors get TV time. You know, it's the old has approach, that one. Right, K-Mag first. Stop the count. Red flag the session. Okay, never mind. Was it a second behind the Red Bulls? The Red Bulls are quick, aren't they? Christ. Wait. Oh, we do not have any softs. I have to go into the ones that are ATA. Although it's probably not going to not gonna matter because if it's a wet race, we're not going to be using these slick tyres anyway. The Red Bulls and Ferrari are just in their own league in the first season of this save game. Like if you manage either of those teams, you are literally just doing battle against one another. Okay. 
Everyone's done a lap. We're in P11. There's a chance for the believers. I'm going to go early here. Have I gone too early? I don't think we've gone too early. Oh, I could get stuck in traffic. I might have gone too early. I just don't want to get stuck in the pit lane again. You know, a yellow flag could happen. So it could spin and crash like what happened last time. Kevin Magnussen has a reputation for it. So if we send him out first, at least he's crashing and ruining everyone else's stuff. All right, Kevin. Kevin, 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 Kevin. This is your moment. Let's see what he could do here. So we're, we're sandwiched between the McLarens. So Norris is the one to really pay attention to time-wise. <sighs> we need to save. I mean, it's, at one point, is. We need to see a time of 36.7 here for sector one. Well, it doesn't have to be that, but we need to see a point, a point seven bodes well. Oh, sorry, did I say a 36, I'm out with 26. Wait, chat. What? Have we just biffed it at the first bit? Have I just confused myself? What happened there? Am I going crazy or did the time change, chat? Have I, am I hallucinating out of tiredness or did that go weird? Where am I? Send help. We need another green sector at the end here, Kevin. I am nervous. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Imagine if he just doesn't improve. I'm fine. I'm, f I'm fine. I wish I had vodka in this bottle right now. We are going to be P11 at best. Ah, uh, Joe. It's always Joe. Always Joe. Always. It's ruining my life. He did improve technically, that is true. Not by enough. We need to refuel soon. There is something weird going on with Magnuson's fueling. Magnuson's just doing extra laps. The session's over and he's just going around in circles. Will chat get a car into Q2? No. We get down to it, last minute chat right, chat, is it gonna be wet? The Ask forecast said rain. And they'll be happy the forecast said rain. Video. Are Let's we about to have a spicy race? Although we didn't see a standout performance from Alpine during qualifying, everything still open to them during the Does he race. still have... Oh, he could ask the fuel for... We had the weird long, lap for your bug, didn't we? May have to contend with rain at some point during the race. Oh, they're talking about rain, it's but it's not raining yet. Ahead, then, for the teams and their drivers, it's not raining yet. So let's see what happens. Right, tell me about the weather forecast. Still saying heavy rain on the preview. Oh, chat. It it is gonna lash it down for a period between laps maybe eight and well, it, it's gonna drizzle. Oh, is that gonna uh, that heavy rain, is that gonna require wet or are you gonna be able to stay on the inters? Or what is gonna be Maybe seven or eight laps. It's going to rain. I mean, I think we start on softs and then just vibe. I think that has to be the plan here, right? There's not much point planning a strategy, I feel like. Until we know when the rain comes. Hey, Chess, how have you been finding the game? I saw, obviously, I was in your stream earlier, so I saw how you were getting on. Like, did you play much of it? I, I left. When did I leave? I think you were you were looking like you might get some points with Danny Rick and Lando. The, the McLarens are surprisingly bad in game, I feel like. I'm just, I'm not even going to plan a strategy here because it's going to rain. The drivers have now taken position on the grid. And it's looking... I didn't change the modes, Get did I, at the start? For the Australian Grand Prix. This happens way too out. much. I wish oh, you got I wish you go. got a prompt for it. 
Um, this is going to be interesting to see when the rain comes, because I'm going to attack and I might leave the drivers really pushing here. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Right. Let's go. Let's just put our head down. Has Mick lost places already? For God's sake, Mick. Okay, good job. That's one. Mick's down in seven. Chat, he's so bad. I don't want to throw That's shade right at the bloke. There. At least Magneton's overtaken Norris for P12. Mick could never. Is it bullying at this point how mean I am about Mick? He has just been absolutely useless. You know that Gordon Ramsay? You know the meme with Gordon Ramsay where it's like him on Adult Master Chef and then like the kids version is like what he's saying like, you f***ing donkey. And then there's the flip where he's like, oh, oh dear, dear, God, just come here. That is basically me with K-Mag and Mick. K-Mag bins it during practice and I still give him a hug. So it's weird. I think the overtake, when you have an overtake, the drivers selectively use up to two megajoules of the, the battery store, right? Whereas when you, when you have it on deploy, it basically force uses it. Because you can see here, like, Magnuson and Mick both ran it for a similar amount of time there, but Mick was not racing as close to people, so he didn't use it as much, is what it feels like. That is a nice move by K-Mag. Oh, how hard do we push these tires? I think we really pushed them. I think we really Pass pushed them. Overtake. I'm a bit worried about overheating, because then they'll deg quicker. Temps are already kind of high. I feel like we just have Mick at the back and we just leave him doing his thing. We just tell Mick to have good vibes. And then Magnus and we actually manage. I've not done a race where it's gone to full wet yet. So I've had like very light drizzle where I didn't have to go on to inters. I'm going to be just paranoidly checking that weather forecast, aren't I? So you can see here, if I just pause, so you have the graph, which is the track predicted track water. So you can see it's been a long time before the track dries out, and it is going to get very, very wet when it chucks it down. Heavy rainfall. It might be full wet. I might... I might take a gamble here where, with Mick, we don't push as hard. With Kevin, we'll come in as early as we can and go on to the okay. inters around here. Sorry, around here. With Mick, we're going to keep him out on the dries and go, try and skip the inters altogether. DRS enabled. Does that make sense? I think that's the best way to do it. We're not in the points. So in terms of just covering things off, I think trying to maybe skip the inters with Mick because with Mick of the rain. I mean, Mag, K Mag, we just go on to the inter straight away. Uh, Jack, how do I get this email? I got sent a review code by Frontier. So, big, big thank you to them. I've been playing the game. I got it last week. I've been able to play a little bit of it, but I didn't get a chance to play a turn over the weekend, to be honest. But well, I've really, really been enjoying it so far. I'd rather split the strategy in this kind of situation and have one car go straight onto the wet and one go into wet. Because I'm not sure what the right play is. I've never had a race where I've had to go on the Inters yet. I've had it where it's rained and I stayed out on dry and it worked. So with that in mind, I think we're better off covering off both options and then we learn through trial and error this time. Do I think this game is better on console or PC? I've not played it on console. 
Um, I have a controller, which I plugged in and I have a bit of a play around with. For me personally, I just like a keyboard and mouse. I don't think you can do all the microing that I sometimes do on final laps with a controller. I don't know if I should be worried about the fuel usage here, or because we're going to be on wet, the drivers aren't going to be pushing as hard. So maybe it's less of a deal. Good overtake, Mick. Give him a round of applause to Mick. He's doing an on-track overtake there. Yeah, good job, Mick. <laughs> the fact they've got, yeah, good job, Mick. It sounds so sarcastic. I realize we're the only two people on softs. Does everyone else know something that I don't know? Because we do have the worst facilities. What if it just doesn't rain? Chat, what if it just doesn't rain? I'm now... I'm, I don't want to say, I don't want to say I'm panicking. But no one else is following us. No one else is doing what we're doing. It doesn't look cloudy. Hey, Mag, by the way, just battling with Joe. Been, been here before. Right, chat, I need you all to get up out of your chair. I'm going to do the rain dance for me right now. Another car spun. Wait, who spun out? Are we going to see a car on the side here? Oh, it's a Ferrari. It's Carlos oh, Sainz. Has Here's spun out. Let's have another look. Sainz what happened? Oh, he just clipped this, the curb. Yes. This and he's got to let everyone go by because it's so early on. We did the rain dance and it caused Carlos Sainz to That's spin. To be a big blow to the team. I mean, well, Ferraris love spins, don't they? So, Mick has just overtaken a Ferrari on track, everyone. Actually, I say that. Oh, no, he has. Yeah, Sainz had to let everyone up by there. Mick's just overtaken Danny Rick. You know what, Mick? I take it all back. You are, you are a god. Good job. Good job, Mick. Good job. Okay, Mag's up into the points, I realise, with all the uh, stuff. Chat, is the rain coming? We need that rain. Is the, is the number above the percentage chance on it being right? Oh, it's the rain percentage. Rain, but is that chance of rain? Who knows? I don't. I mean, Mick is now two seconds down on the guys in front. I'd really, 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 really like some rain. The fact that AI is not on the same tyres as me makes me worried because I can't really afford to pit. We expect rain again. Coming. Chat, rain is coming! It's coming. It got very gloomy suddenly. That's another thing that I dislike about the game. There is not very good transitions between times of day and weather. Or sometimes I just notice the sky just pop change. Hmm. The question is, it's going to be a light shower between laps 9 and 14 and then it's going to get heavy. So when it's more than four millimetres of rain, you should be on wet. When it's one to four millimetres, you should be on inches. If it's less than one millimetre, you're fine. I don't know what the scale of this graph is. Why does this graph not have a scale? Where is one millimetre? Moderate rain, then light rain. I think... I think we skip the inters. I think we skip the inters. Uh, yeah, good point. I should watch the fuel. I'm hoping because it's going to rain, the drivers won't be able to push as much in it so we can work out a bit of a def deficit now. I love the wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, by the way. Do you reckon Inter's all the way, chat? They still... It's not predicted to rain for another few laps, but it is getting cloudier. Hmm. I mean, at the moment, I'm kind of fine with where we're at. Battery life's good. The soft so far have lost about 30%. And McLaren with a slightly more than 30%. Oh, Mick's just been overtaken. These softs have lost about, what, 35%? Seven laps. So if we did want to go straight onto it, lap 
Lap 14 is the lap where I expect it to get particularly bad. I wish I knew the axis on this graph. Look at the track square next to Oh, it says it here. It literally says here for us. Oh, well, in that case, chap, we're fine. I mean, there is a train here. No one's really pulling away ahead of Alonso. Of course, Alonso's at the front of the train. Actually, no, Bottas's. I take it all back. Chat, this could be a pretty chaotic race when the rain comes. I've not had any DNFs yet, RPM. I've noticed a lot of people mention that. It's not, it hadn't even really dawned on me. The rain has started! That millimetres is filling up quite quickly, isn't it? When it gets to one, you should be on inters. They said it's going to rain, then it's going to even out for a bit, then wet. I think... Do I pit now? I'm going to take a gamble. On K-Mag, I'm going to pit for the for the, for the the inters. I'm going to keep Mick out. Mick is the test dummy. I'm sorry to the Mick fans. Box, Kevin, box. I, I, need, I need to learn. Box, that number's going up quickly. Oh, do we pit both? Because it's not good, because it's gonna. I'm gonna have to pit both. I have to pit both. If it was gonna just steadily rain more and more and more, I would change things. The rain has come early though, according to our forecast. Oh god, people are struggling. Also, lot, Perez and Leclerc have gone on. Wait, Ferrari didn't pit Leclerc. I don't know if it's gonna get to four mils quick. Because my, my forecast says it's going to even out. What tyres are people coming out on? Okay, Max has gone on Inters. I trust Red Bull to make the right strategic decisions. He is not driving quick here, is he? I need a speedometer. I mean, Ferrari must be gambling on going straight into the wet. And to be fair, their number is still going up. So as if it gets to four, four is the range for wet. But according to my forecast, it's going to stop. Did anyone go on to wet? Ah, oh, people went on to wet. Do I go on to the wet now with Mick or Kevin just to cover it? This is chaos chat. So much of this now depends on if this rain weather forecast is correct. Because if it does stop raining for a few laps, then the Inters are going to be the right choice. But if it just gets wetter and wetter and wetter, we are in trouble. I want to see how Danny Ricks do. He's stuck behind Latifi on mediums. If you don't need it, no lifting coast. Copy. So I just pit both for wets. Everyone else is pitted again. Everyone else is it. Everyone in front of us is pitted again. Chat, we're pitting. We have to accept that we made a mistake. Every, every, everyone on the grid has gone. We need wets. It's taken one lap. The rain has arrived early. Do you reckon keep Mick out? Box, Kevin, box. There's, there's nothing wrong. Chat, I'm sorry box. to the Mick fans. I'm going to keep Mick out. Mick is the crash test dummy. Because the rain is not going up anymore. Now, obviously, it's got to... Dr oh, it's, it's going up again. <laughs> but there is light rain now. It's currently heavy rain, but in three minutes, it's going to go lighter. Chat, Mick is up. Mick is up to seventh. Can it dry out a little bit? Perez... Wait, Perez has pitted for Inters. Leclerc pitted for Inters as well. This is mental. No one seems to know what the right strategy is. It's very much like F1 in real life when the rain comes. The track's getting drier. It's going down. 
Now the question is, is it going to dry out enough for the inters to then make sense to go onto the wet? So imagine if all the guys who have gone onto wet to now pit again. Also, K-Mag's now down in 15th. But is he quicker than the guys on inters? It does look like it, doesn't it? What's the life like on the wet? Is what I want to check actually here. Okay, the wet could literally go to the end of the race, but it's going to be dry by the end, so uh, K-Mag can push on Take these. That's one. Pass with an overtake. Then you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Go for that. It's drying, chat. It is getting drier. Okay, Mick, let's just put our head down. I'm going to go in a grip. This is... This is Chat, I don't know what the right play is here. We've split our strategy, which I think is the best thing to do when you're an underdog team here. You cover both bases. I'll be honest, I put K-Mag onto the wets because I think it's probably the right play. But you can see here, the Alpha Tauri is not pitting on Inters. Alpha Tauri are keeping Sonoda out because they think that the Inters are the right play. And to be fair, it might be about to go back into the Inters range. The key here is actually going to be, how quick does this second wave of rain come? Because if this second wave of rain comes, it's going to screw all the teams on Inters quite badly, including ourselves. But we're still not in the Inter range. Oh, last lap times, the Inters were quicker. Good job, Kev. That's one. But Norris is catching us. Chat is chaos. It's chaos. That's a new race position for Haas. See, you say I foot K-Mag, but... He could still, like, the, the second rain is about to come hard. To the point where Mick's going to have to go onto wets at the right time, I think, here. Unless I'm just going to leave him out on inters through this, which, I mean, just doesn't make sense. I think we're, Leclerc's now pitting. All the cars on inters are now pitting again. Is Leclerc coming in for the wets? I need to know what Ferrari are doing. They're going wet. How many stops has everyone done? Mick, Mick, come in for wet, Mick. Did we get it in in time? We did. I'm not waiting the laps, chat. I'm sorry, Mick. I'm sorry. Do the opposite of Ferrari, look, chat. You might be right, but I think the Inters are a bad idea. No one else is staying out on the Inters. K-Mag's in the points. Okay, Kev, no management required, so push as much as you can. Copy. Oh, Mick's down in 18th chat. I don't think the Inters... Maybe we could have gone another lap on the Inters. You could be right. <laughs> you going for... You know what, chat? I'll hold up my hand and admit it. In hindsight, Mick was never going to be in the points if he pitted, so we were just better off leaving him out a lap. Should we just put him back on the Inters now? <laughs> I'll admit it, chat. I got that. I've got that wrong. I know I've got that Copy wrong. Back off. Copy. Look at the stops everyone's made. With 12 laps in, it's chaos. Imagine if you went straight to wet to the first stop. I did go straight to wet with Matt K Mag. Actually, no, I didn't. Did I go? Did I go Inters with K Mag? Chat, it's absolute chaos. No one knows what's happening. The Inters are definitely the quickest tyre here at the moment, but no one is on them because everyone's just waiting for the rain. Poor Latifi's only made one stop and he's still in 17th because they put him from, straight from the uh, dries onto the wets. It's a team game. Danny Rick's in second, I've just realised. Sign spun out and is still ahead of Mick. Sad rain. Sad rain. Chat, maybe I am Bonotto in disguise. There's more rain about to come. Unless this rain that has a 90% chance doesn't happen. Strolls in P6. I'll tell you what. I'm looking very jealously over at the, uh, the wall of the Aston Martins right now. I'll admit it. More lifting coast, please. 
It's about to rain heavily again, according to the weather forecast, which definitely hasn't been wrong through this entire race. I mean, there's no DRS, so that's the one thing that works in our favour here. Poor Mick, chat. Poor Mick. At least he might be able to overtake Latifi for some experience points to become a better driver. I will say, Stroll is acting as a fantastic train builder here in the rain. Shout out to Lance Stroll at the front. Because right now he is the cork in a bottle. <laughs> if we go to Stroll's POV here, look at this. <laughs> Just a train of five cars behind him. I'll tell you what, chat. No one is on Inters right now. And if we'd stayed on Inters, we could be in a great position in terms of overtaking on track. What if it just doesn't rain? The weather forecast has been incorrect. Okay, chat, hear me out. Mixed race is dead as things stand. Hit him on inters. Fair, 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 fair Box, cool. Uh, Mick, is, Mick, is our, Mick is our crash Mick test Box. dummy. Maybe not crash this to me. He's our guinea pig. He's not crashing. We're just we're just poking him and testing cosmetics on him. It's far more, far far more. What's the word I'm looking for? Concert conservative is not the right word. Far far less bad. It's starting to rain again. Chat. I'm hovering over the. Uh, delay the pit. Oh, there's options to delay the pits. strategy by the way leave him out leave him out chat we've got to make a call here Th my forecast is saying there's going to be a dip and whilst there might be two laps of it full wet it's going to dry quick I'm gambling I, 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 he's in he's in I can't cancel it chat Understood. half of you say you're getting him and half of you say leave him out if we leave him out we, we'd gain nothing from it If we leave him out, we gain nothing. He's just going to be stuck at the back all race. <laughs> at least with this, we give him a chance. We, if we leave him out, like, there's nothing to gain from it. Chat, there's another millimetre on top of it. Man, <laughs> he's just on his own. F's in the chat. 4 point Chat, it's still getting... It's going to dry. It's going to dry for a lap and Mick's going to come into his own. If Mick crashes, we can use it to our advantage. <laughs> is that K-Mag? Oh, okay. Vettel is dropping back quite a bit. No more lifting close. Alright, K Mag, you have a go now, mate. You have a go. <laughs> we'll, we'll just ignore Mick at the back. It's at six, but it's just going up. Shut. <laughs> I didn't. I'll be honest. First time I've had proper raid in the game, I didn't know it'd go this high. Did anyone else know it'd go this high? How's your lap times, Mick? He's only 14 seconds slower than everyone else. True Pimmick again. <laughs> Chat, we've tried a bold strategy. I'll admit it, it's not worked. Mick on hearts. It's still going up, but the rain's going to get lighter. Look, Magnuson's in ninth. We said we'd do split strategies to mix things up. Oh, the only thing that can happen now is that K-Mag crashes. We look like fucking. I beeped the. <laughs> didn't beep the word. We look like fucking wankers out there. Isn't isn't the has DNA, DNA? We're doing it right. You've never seen a strategy this bad. Have you not been watching Ferrari this year? We're behind Albon. We were behind Albon. 
I mean, look, we're in eighth. We're in eighth with Magnuson. Now, unfortunately, yeah, Mick might be about to get lapped. I will admit that. That could be a factor down the line. There's a, there's a yellow in sector three. Please say it's not us. It's not us. We're fine. What happened? Another car is probably Albon ran wide. Oh, it was Stroll. Oh, Stroll's way down the grid. Wasn't Stroll quite high at one point, chat? I'll tell you what, the Aston Martins are bad race cars, is what we've learned here today. The track is drying. Slowly, very slowly. I mean, Mick, I'll tell you what, if we turn this around in Magnuson, we could still get big points today. How's Mick doing? Mick's only dropped about four seconds on the show. What was his last lap time? Chat. He went faster than Stroll, who locked up. Look at the positives. Valtrait, oh, thank you so much for subbing for three months. Chat, it's drying. Put Mick on slicks. You, you just want to put a Mick... Mick on slicks as Mick and slick rhyme. I know your game, chat. I think... I think in hindsight, we would do things differently. But, we had fun learning. And at the end of the day, isn't that the main thing? Everyone else has got to pit for wets at some point. Or slick uh, inters at some point. We're already out there doing it. It's better, chat, that we completely f*** up our strategy in this race whilst we're has, rather than when a world title depends on it and we're Ferrari. The moral of the story is, don't pit Mick Schumacher three times back and forth on wet and inters. <laughs> oh, dear. I will say, look at the positives. Can you imagine seventh? Although, I think Verstappen will lap Mick soon. Although, the tra track is dry in chat. Track is drying. Everyone else is going to be on the Inter soon. We start the trend. I'm trying to get Magnuson to charge up the battery slightly here. But we might get overtaken by Hamilton and Sainz, but they are just in faster cars. I'm more worried about the pack behind, to be honest. Oh, bit of wheel to wheel racing. Hamilton on the inside. It's a race position gained from Mercedes. Go back on neutral now. But they Shot all hold pit stop Go ahead of Mick. I'll admit it. He is still. It hasn't dried out as quick as we hoped. It hasn't dried. I will hold up my hand to say it didn't dry out like I hoped it might. Is that what you want to hear, chat? I made an error. Should we have pitted so frivolously in the past? Probably not, but we lived the dream. Oh yeah, Leclerc and Verstappen are both noted as down as first place in 2D. Weird champ. Chat it is drying, you know, give it another like 10 years and it might be dry enough for Mick. Uh, how soon do we pit here? Mick's getting lapped by everyone, chat. He's getting lapped by Danny Rick. Is this is a new low? McLaren have played a storm at here, by the way, in the championship. It's not good for us. It's it, it, it's not good unless Mc, uh, McLaren drop down. Is this game available right now if you pre-order? No, it comes out tomorrow. I mean, look, Magnuson's in eighth. We didn't have, we didn't have anyone into Q3 this time around. This, it's been a great race, everyone. I know, I know Mick's not done well. The Mick fanboys in the chat, they're the vocal minority. Re real believers know. Wait, is Mick about to get lapped by... Ah, 
Oh, Mick just did some great blocking on the Mercedes. Do him now. Oh, if Magnussen gets him here, it's all because of Mick. Mick Schumacher is a god. Look, that was the plan chat all along. That is why Mick Schumacher was here, to compromise Lewis Hamilton and get us the place. Round of applause for Mick. Is that a new race position for 200 IQ. Two, we were never going to get them both in the points. Mick is technically in the points. <laughs> if by points you mean he's been lapped by everyone in the points. Hmm. I don't think it's time for Inters yet. How many more laps though, chat? How quick is this track going to dry to four? I think one more. I think at least one more. Still ahead of Hamilton. See, the thing is, McLaren might be screwed here. I'm going to pit this lap. I don't know how big the window is Box. from the four mil... To the other Kirby ones. <laughs> is Mick about to get... Has Mick been lapped by Latifi? Is this rock bottom? No one else is pitting. No one else is pitting. Damp tracks, one to four millimeters, inters. Chat, trust. Trust me. When, is the, when have I ever failed us before? We got clean air to come out in. It's fine. It's genius. Probably straight to six. Nah, it's drying out too slowly, I think. It's going to be like 10 laps. Trust me, chat. What? Okay, what lap? I didn't actually catch you. What, what position were we came in? Was it seventh? Look, Mick is going to gain time now, and we're all going to go, wow, Mick, Mick is, Mick's great. I might have thrown it away, I'll say, but it could be good. We don't know. This is, Like I said, we've never done a wet race before, so this is all learning. The question now is, is like Ferrari and everyone pitting, is anyone going to pit for the Inters yet? They look like they're going to wait for the crossover. We'll see. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone else to come on the Inters. Have you ever been in that situation where you're like at an event and you look around and everyone's wearing something that you're not and you think, am I, am I missing something? Can anyone relate to that? We want to see latest laps here. So this, that was the pitting lap, so ignore that. This next bit's the key bit. As we go down the line. I should have waited another lap. It turns out that four isn't like a golden number where you cross over and it's perfect. But we've learnt now. Oh, that does include pit exit. Good point. Very good point. So what we'll say, chat, he's catching them in 2D. They're not pitting still. Are they going to wait for the crossover? That seems bold. Well, it's very sunny suddenly. Rain has stopped. Is the AI now about to pit with everyone because the rain stopped? No. Okay. Yeah, Mick did a really good time. If Mick's doing a good time, it must be it must be good conditions. Okay, Mag. Okay, two seconds quicker. And it's just got more cloudy again. Is it time to put Mick on the slicks, everyone? It's a joke. It's a joke. We're not doing it. Might not have been very funny, but it was in my head. Mick's about to overtake Latifi. Wait, no, that's him unlapping himself, isn't it? Can he unlap himself? Mick, go on, my son. Unlap yourself. Be free from the goat. He can't do it. He literally cannot do it.
It's time to complete the Ferrari shot. Pit Mick for a wet. You guys could be a genius. I mean, if this track dries out, I imagine the full wet pace is going to drop Charge off on. more and more and more. Copy. You'd think, right? Like I said, this is a bit of a learning race because we've not done anything... Um, I've not done anything on, like, a wet race before, so I have no idea what the drying up is like. I mean, we love faster on the track. It's just a case of, are, is the track drying out at a Can't rate job, where... Like, it would have made sense to stay on the wets. Does Mick just kept, keep getting blue flagged every time? You know That's what, chat? I don't want to... <laughs> We could just retire him. <laughs> no, 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 we'll keep him out. We'll keep him out. Charge off. What's the... Copy. <sighs> we still got to make up time here. Although, we're only like 10 seconds behind... ninth place. This is going to be interesting. Although, their times are very quick even on the wet. How are they doing such quick times on the wet? How does that work? Is that just because Magnuson was stuck behind for so long? I guess he was charging his ERS. Is the ERS that powerful? I wonder if it now rains at the end or something. The track's trying for all them too, but they're on like wet. I'm not going crazy, am I? That feels weird. Because we were catching on them for a while. I mean, I guess we're catching a little bit. It definitely feels like you can go from the wet to the slicks, just looking at this and how this has behaved now. Wet to turn it into us, maybe. But I don't feel like wets go like go to in. That's like I know that's happened a few times in recent races. That's like not a normal thing. Oh, actually, that is a point. Maybe the tires are just overheated. Let's have a look. Uh, they're okay. We'll put it on aggressive. Mixed it, Mick. Mick, Mick, can you do it? Okay, Mick is quicker than Latifi, but he keeps just getting blue flagged. Kevin, okay, you've got some margin. Try to increase the pace a little bit. Mick, Mick is just a lost cause, chat, I'm afraid to say. My only hope, I guess, is that some of the teams pit, like, now? To go onto the slicks from the wet, and we have, like, a small window where we're quicker. Because right now, we are, like, slower than Russell on wet. Which feels weird. Uh, should we pit Mick? See what he does on the slicks? He can be out... out I mean, look, there's literally, there's literally no reason not to do it. Other than actually cancel that. Uh, change strategy. Add new strategy. Um... <laughs> Chat, what a race he's had. He's had a great time. Wait. Okay, hards would probably do for most people. I wonder if we can go a little longer on the... Um... I wonder if we can go a little hard, um... longer on the inters when the track's drying and then switch. And then maybe go into mediums instead of hards. Uh, yeah, we'll pit him now. He's gonna have to conserve his tires a bit, but he's just a bit of a. Okay, we'll. Box he's just a bit of a we'll crash test. Out. Not. Cra I keep saying crash test. He's the guinea pig. Mick. If I ever get a guinea pig, I'm calling them Mick. Okay, Magnuson is going, like, a little bit quicker than everyone else, except the cars at the front who are just doing their own thing. 
for whatever reason. None of them are pitting. Check K Max tire temps. Uh, I guess they are just overheating from us pushing him so hard. Mickey Test Mouse, true. As Mick, Mick is just Mick literally cannot unlap himself. Seems like the AI doesn't allow you to unlap stuff because it just gets confused by the blue flags. We're not that far off the full dry times at this point. I think maybe we did just overheat Magnuson's tyres. Alright, good luck Mick. Have fun. What we can read you with now is a safety car to pick pit Magnuson in. Or a VSC. I'd like one VSC, please, Formula One manager. Uh, what's both drivers' best finish? So, we're only in the third race of the season. I think, what was Mick's best finish? Magnussen's got an eighth place finish and a tenth the first two races. Mick, not done so well. I've got work in five hours, but this is so addictive. I'm so sorry that you're not going to be predictive at work. I kind of want it to rain again. It'd be quite fun. <laughs> I miss the rain. We pip K Mag this lap. Go mediums. We might as well take a few gambles now. We're going to have to gamble to get into the points, I think. I'm interested to see if anyone else comes in this lap. I'm surprised they've not gone in sooner. What's Mick? Mick is down two laps, chat. Mick is... Mick. He's been lapped twice. He's literally, he's literally been lapped... Should we just retire him? Should we put him out of his misery? Don't forget Mick pitted. That has impacted his time. Like That time there is with his pit. We've got to do something a bit different here with K-Mag. Chat, why did it not pit that lap? Oh, I said the strategy, but I didn't hit pit. I'm an idiot. Are other people going to pit here? Okay, people are pinned. Might have, might have missed the window of opportunity. How's the round? You can see the wet's there. Bolts are like 50%, but they're running it like in full, like the full heat here, which just seems odd. We could save Mick's engine. It actually isn't the worst idea. Mick, you've done your job, mate. Chat. Do we just do it? I think it's just the right thing to do. We've got to save the engine. He's two laps down. I'm surprised that the the wet stayed that good for that long. Are, are other people surprised by that? Like, am I just an idiot? I would have assumed there would have been a point where the wets actually slowed down. The Inters had, like, a crossover point, but it just felt like that never happened. Now, whether or not that's because the wets wore down to Inters. Stop the car, stop the car. I'm kind of... That was weird to me. But I've not had that many races in the full wets like that. 
It was the fact that we weren't able to like even go like half, more than half a second quicker. The mediums are going to be a bit marginal here to the end. You've basically destroyed Mick. Maybe this whole series is just about seeing how resilient Mick is to adversity on the track. They've put Verstappen on the hards. That is weird. I wonder if they just didn't have a set of mediums. Because a few of the cars started on mediums. Load push. Just wanted to deploy down this straight. But he's, he's not deployed there. Never mind, back to neutral. I mean, third team's not that bad. Where did we start this race? Chat, where, where were we at the beginning of this race? It feels like a lot. This has been a weird race. This has been a long race, it feels like. You're doing a great job for preparing Mick at Ferrari. Was it 12? I don't, I don't know if we've actually lost places since we started. I don't know if that's an achievement or not. There's no one behind us. It's just a case of can we catch Bottas? I find it odd that oh sector three, someone's gone. I don't know who that was. Sounds like someone's locked Leclerc up. Leclerc locked up. You wasted my points. Oh, I'm sorry, Keith. Please understand, chat. I have not intentionally thrown. I am just bad at the game. See if K Mag can push to catch up with Bottas and Co, but I don't think he can. I think mean, I think this is our race, folks. I think the entire of our race is now just gonna be watching Magnus and try and catch Bottas. It's been a while since we had a dead race. This is our life now. Verstappen's about to lap us. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes, etc. I think I think this is a 13th place finish, folks. There's no there's no last minute heroics for Kevin. It can't happen every race. At least if we get lapped, it's one less lap we have to do, right, on the on the engine. So think about it that way. I'd love to know about the uh, the tire kind of situation, how that all works with the wet. Like, is what we experienced there the norm? Because it did just seem a bit odd. Hey, McKay George, I'm doing good, thank you, mate. I appreciate the resub as well for five months, that's it. Big time. Is that a lockup? My concern here is the fact McLaren about to score some good points, having not scored many points at all. Look at poor Mick. He's just watching everyone else go around. Last lap. We're here. We're stuck by the Ferrari. We literally can't do anything. Get to the end. Yeah, signs to be fair has done mad. Well, well done. Enjoy, enjoy your win, Max. And today's winner. 13th. I'm wondering where we started. According to what we saw, there's never a need to go to Inter afterwards. Yeah, that's kind of what I was a bit confused by. Yeah, no other retirements again. But Mick's retired twice, so I'm just, you know, I'm just compensating to make it a bit more realistic. I'd like to apologise to the believers. I'm sorry I couldn't get your points when it mattered the most. But it was a bit of a chaotic race. Future reference, if it rains hard and it's just going to stop and then not rain anymore, just stay on the wet. Get me out of the race. See you in a bit, James. Take it easy. 
Have we had a, we've not had a safety car or VSC, have we, chat? I was saying that earlier. I hadn't, I've hadn't. i been having a lack of them. Good enough result. I kept getting them at Baku. I had like four in one race at Baku. This was a reasonable weekend for Haas. But reasonable weekend? Things out if they want to push beyond that. They are a solid team and will be looking to solve Solid issues. team. They have Hopefully issues. We'll start seeing stronger results from them soon. I reckon it, the difference is the chassis. And the chassis made Mick two laps slower. I mean, look, chat. Kevin, Kevin Magnussen finished where he started. So, as far as I'm concerned, it was an average performance. And Mick, Mick you know, didn't gain or lose anything. Where's the Constructors' Championship going? Oh, I knew that McLaren kind of situation was going to hurt. Seven. I'm okay. Everything, everything's fine. Yeah, it was a, it was a rough, it was a rough race. The fact we made four pit stops and still ended up where we started <laughs> is kind of funny. Apparently, one of our staff members has low morale. Oh, it's the guy's really bad. Oh, the other... Why are all the race engineers so sad? Oh, chat. We've got a regulation vote. As you know, we may change the regulations that define Formula 1's rules between seasons to make the sport fairer for competitors. They want to prov uh, propose a new minor technical reg. Um, da -da -da -da. The impact areas of the career dynamics will focus on reducing overall downforce generated at maximum cornering speed. So you can vote for high speed downforce changes or low speed downforce changes. Which benefits our car the most? I don't know. What are we already bad at? Because we should probably vote for the one that's opposite to what we're already bad at. <laughs> Is what I'm thinking. Uh, we're already bad at high speed. Which is what's important for the next track, so that's going to go well. So which do I vote for? We're already bad at high speed, so I guess we want option A. Because otherwise that's penalising something that we're already bad at. So this will reduce all the team's designs in that area. We want to reduce the things that are good at. Otherwise, we have literally zero for high. No. It will, I guess it does penalise every team. Oh, it's a percentage. Chat, you guys are bloody fucking... You guys are fucking geniuses. I'd like to issue an apology to the chat. I was not even paying attention to the fact it's percentages. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to claim... And I think it's a quite a good claim. It's to do with the fact that it's currently half two in the morning. So we want to vote for the high speed changes. Right. If the low speed one gets voted, I'm just going to go cry. Is that... I think that's an acceptable response. We're praging, chat. We're praging. Oh, the new suspension's ready for Mick. Also, K-Mag. Oh, wait, no. K-Mag doesn't have a point. But Mick, as chat, where are we putting Mick's development point? It's a big moment here. Defending? His overall racecraft just isn't very good. I guess we'll go defending. I guess, I guess we'll go defending. I kind of want to get someone new in. I'm bored of Mick Schumacher. He's going to be replaced in real life. We're making a lot of money per race. And I think a great driver like Alex Albon could make all the difference. 
He he really doesn't want to join me, does he? Alex, I can't pay you more than five mil. Look, I am. We are not going to be making as much money as we were, but we will have Alex Album. He's personally not interested in inter entering negotiations. Brilliant. I can't talk to him anymore. Uh, wait. Show only available for negotiation. I mean. Eventually, Albon will join us. I think I've got my heart set on Albon. He's the only man for me. Oh, chat. The new front wing's ready. That is mega poggers. Mega poggers. Uh, new project. Manufacture. Front wing. I think both drivers are going to have a new front wing for the race. Put an email. Oh, that's the one I've already done. Okay, so the new suspensions are installed on both cars. Uh, is everything installed as it should be? To make, making sure both cars have got the best thing. Oh, chat. We never put the better chassis on Mick's car. <laughs> I really hate Mick Schumacher, it turns out. Even subconsciously. Now, no one mentioned the fact I didn't put the chassis on, so it's not just on me. Wait, what got voted for? Oh, chat. Life's good. The majority of geniuses. Actually, did we only have one chassis? The races are kind of blurring into one, I'll be honest. Right, so both teams have the chassis installed. We have one of the new front wings. All right, you know what, chat? I'm putting it on Mick's car. Mick is going to have the better car for this race, and if he's still bad, then we know who to blame. Uh, what track is it next? That's the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Then is it Monaco? Oh, it's Miami, then Spain, then Monaco. I'll probably take a new gearbox at Miami. Logan Sargent. I mean, yeah, Logan Sargent is Logan Sargent is American. But he's also a lot lower rated than Mick. Although he's still better than Fittipaldi. Like, Mick's got this average growth potential, so he's not really improve, going to improve that much. He's not going to be, like, our future number one driver. We looked at Pacher, because Pacher's got high growth potential. But, that's probably not smart. Try Drogovic. How good is Drogovic? Uh, we literally don't know. But we'll do a detailed scout chat. I really should do a. De I realise we should do a detailed scout on uh, Albon, so we so we actually know what he wants. Do we think Mix Head Engineer is a problem? Because he isn't very good. But then again, the ones actually available for negotiation aren't very good either. We can't really attract anyone who's an improvement. What a sad state of affairs. You reckon mixed team principles are a problem? No, no, no. Not having that. Not having that. We're, we are... What was the expectation? 
Expectation for the year is sick for above. We are below the target, folks. Imagine if I get sacked. That would be mega awkward. <laughs> but to find out if I do get sacked, you ought to come back tomorrow because I, I do I do need to go to bed, folks. <laughs> it's it's half two in the morning. I appreciate all of you hanging out with me late. Of course, if you're in the States, you're now sat thinking, it's not late. If you're from the, the, you know, the other side of the world, you're thinking, it's early in the morning. What do you mean? I'm just having breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't do one more race, chat. The races are not quick in this game. But I have had a hell of a lot of fun today. It's been a it's been a laugh. More energy drinks. I don't think so. Uh, gang, I hope you've enjoyed this today. I've had a lot of fun with it. We had some laughs. I still can't believe the, the, the spin out thing. That is incredible. Um, I might upload this stream VOD to Twitch to my second channel because I have actually enjoyed it. I think it's gone pretty well. Um, and yeah, I will be back live tomorrow night. I'll probably be going live similar time to today, maybe slightly later. I'll let you guys know on Twitter exactly when I know what's going on. But I didn't expect to be streaming for six hours, but I've had so, so much fun with it. It's been really, really good. Yeah, heading into the Belgian Grand Prix tomorrow. Oh, Big Dodd, have a fantastic weekend. Yeah, if anyone is going to the race... Have a really, really good one. We should raid over to someone who's streaming F1 Manager, I feel like. We should we should raid over to someone who is streaming F1 Manager. But where where do we go? Let's head over to Captain Richard. We should I want you all to go over to Captain Richard and suggest that he signs Mick Schumacher. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, Mr. Money 99. Dude, thank you so much for subbing. Just says top man. Also, McKay George, McKay George, did I miss your message where you said, how do I rate the game so far when you resubbed? I feel like I didn't answer, actually answer that question. I really love this game. I think if you're an F1 fan, you're going to click with it. You're going to enjoy it. I feel like if you don't know F1 that well, there is a bit of a barrier to entry. But the thing at the moment is I'm just enjoying learning. I'm enjoying kind of learning through failure. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to leave things there for today. Um, obviously, if you didn't see the Alpine video I uploaded to YouTube, go check that out. That was really, really fun to record earlier today. I will have episode two of that probably up on Friday, if not over the weekend for sure. And, yeah, you know, we're going to be live in more of this tomorrow on Twitch. So I'll, I'll see you guys then. We're going to try and get mixed some points. I hope you're here to witness it. Until whenever that is, take it easy. Have a lovely rest of your night. I'll see you all soon, folks.